Yo! What's going on, everyone? <laughs> what's going on? That's scare you guys. Um, Johan, what's going on? Sogazella, what's going on? Jamie, what's going on? <sighs> Hyper J Jane here, what's going on? David Liao. Joshua Pam of the UK. We got the Prime Minister of the UK in the chat. Jesus Christ. Karen, what's going on? Noel Dino, what's going on? Cheesecake, says Hyper JJ. Uh oh, he's gone insane again. He's just talking about food again. Um, what's going? Sorry, I, I was checking something. Um, what's going on, Tim Games? Tim has a green name and a blue G. Yo, Tim Games. Oh yes, sir, Bob. That's what I like to see. A G next to Tim Games' name. Uh, that is just insane. That is just fantastic. Beautiful stuff, Tim. You look more natural now with that green name. I'm used to seeing you with a green name. It feels a little bit more uh, natural. <clears throat> What's going on? How many budget do you have to sign someone? So well, we're not thinking about signing anyone just yet, boys. First of all, thank you for the 10 plus likes on the stream already. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Today, we're wrapping up the, the, this season for sure. <laughs> we're going to wrap up this season for sure. I think it's been a successful season. If we take a look at the league table, I don't think there's any way we get relegated from here. Like, we're 19 points clear of the relegation zone. I don't see ourselves getting relegated. And that was our only real goal for this season it was our only real goal to be fair is to not get relegated so i think we've done a good job in that regard and i'm pretty happy with what we've done so yeah i'm pretty uh, i'm pretty happy with what we've done boys I, I think we can chalk this up to a successful season to be honest with you i don't know what you guys think but i think what's going on robbie what's going on ellis thornton have i missed anyone noel dino what's going on teku what's going on uh how do i make my name like that says david liao well what you need to do is you need to become a member of the channel Next to the subscribe button, you'll see a join button, and you will need to join to become a member of the channel. Now, right now, the, the members don't get too much uh, in terms of perks and stuff like that, but as the channel grows, the channel will get perks, the members will get perks, and uh, in terms of live streams, the, the thing that I can think of that's the biggest perk is that when we do end up playing pro clubs, they will get preferential treatment, but there will be other things for members as well, trust me. I got some ideas for the members, uh, potentially some members-only streams. Or maybe playing some games in general with them, not just, not just FIFA. So, let's start simming this game with Everton. We'll jump in. I didn't even pay for it. It just gave it to me, says Tim. Well, that's exactly what I like to hear, Tim. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. I wish you guys could get free memberships, to be honest with you. Um, Brian Clough, what's going on, my man? I think I've just been ignored. I'm not okay with that, says Brian Clough. Brian Clough, what's going on, dude? Um, not ignoring anyone. I'm just catching up with the chat. Samuel Perez, what's going on? HyperJJ says, if I'm not on the pro club's team sheet because uh, bench included, I'm going to be pissed, says HyperJJ. Brian Clough's unsubbing. No, Brian Clough. I don't have enough money, says Roxanne. That's okay. I mean, it's one pound a month, but that's okay at the same time. Maybe you just don't have any money because you're like maybe a kid. What's up, Gardy? What's going on, Bogdan? Um, they signed Mendy, Hermosa, White, Roberto, Ariola, Tielemont, and Pepe. Wow, that is a pretty stacked team, isn't it? I just realized that. I didn't even realize that, Sorgatzilla. Wow. Everton have a pretty stacked team there. They got Vera 2 as well, even though he's not that good. As we're closing on 20 likes already, guys. Thank you so much for the likes. Much appreciated. Much appreciated, guys. How is everybody today? Yeah, yeah, joke. joke. I knew you were joking, don't worry. Ellis Thornton with a Golazzo. Everton are made for career mode, says Flickerfly. Are they actually? Do they just ball out in every single career mode? Jazil says, uh, Football Fair 23, I saw your, you saw you Goldbridge channel today, says Jazil. Oh, he was on Goldbridge's channel. Beautiful. Hello there, says Football Fan 23. What's going on, Football Fan 23? Bogdan, what's going on if I didn't say hello to you? Um, also, what's going on, Flick? Flick of in the chat. Uh, Pops of Vinyl says, Hi, Guardy. What's going on, Pops of Vinyls? Hey, Guardy. I'm going to be for like 30 minutes or so because I'm watching Dream SMP. Uh, I don't know what that is, Teku, but that's good. 
That's cool. All good. Uh, Luigi Jr. says, hi. I'm good. I'm eating pizza, says Flickerfly. I had pizza for dinner last night. Woo! I love a wood fire pizza, man. It was really good. I had like three different meats on it. Bit of a uh, bit of a uh, salad. I don't even know what was on it, to be honest with you. And um, some sort of weird like pesto-y sauce, but not really pesto. Just this weird like, I don't know what it was. It was it was really good, though. That's all I know. I waited for this stream for three hours, says Sockets. Why would you do that? You know what time I start streaming. Gardy, the anticipated Black Clover episode is out. The time skip was today. Hyper JJ, why are you spoiling it? I didn't want to know that there was a time skip. Come on, man. Jazeel, my sister picked a random channel to watch because I didn't know who to watch. That's Football Fan 23. What's up, my boy? Says Mateo. What's going on, Mateo? I'm in the middle of watching Formula One Drive to Survive, says Pops of Vinyls. That's a great series. That's a really good series. It's good if you don't like Formula One. That's a good series to watch if you don't like Formula One. Or if you want to get into Formula One, but you don't know how. That's a good, that's a good way to start. Uh, I wish I did pay for the membership, but I didn't pay for a system games. That's really strange, Tim. I don't know how that's, um, I don't know how that has renewed. Maybe it's just renewed and it's going to charge you regardless. I don't know. I, 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 I hope not, but hey man, if you got a free month, I don't care. I wish you guys could all get free months, but whatever. Uh, Johan says, how's my boy, um, Awu doing? I have no idea, to be honest. I think we scouted him. I think, I don't know if we finished scouting him or not. Guardian, remember only chat would be a bad idea with half your mods, uh, without memberships. No, Jamie, I'm not going to do a members only chat. I, I never said I was going to do a members only chat. Uh, so no realism mod says Mateo. Not today. Not today. Boys, I just honestly, I, yesterday just flew by. I wasn't actually doing anything important, but yesterday flew by. I was enjoying just relaxing and uh, I didn't get a chance to actually install it myself. Like I still need to install it. I still haven't. That's the problem. I still haven't installed it. So I would do it today, but I, it, it's not, it's not ready to go. So I'll, I'll try and get it done for tomorrow. I don't think I'm doing anything today. If I get... The problem is... You know what annoys me the most? Before FIFA or FIFA contacted me with the beta, there were several days where I was so bored, I would have done absolutely anything, including installing the Realism mod. Um, except... Uh, but then, as soon as he sent it, I've had, like, a really busy day. Or not bu they're not busy days. I'm not doing anything. But I've had j days where I'm really enjoying just relaxing. I've got a lot of videos to watch. I got a lot of entertainment. There's been um, New Japan Pro Wrestling has been on later at night. So my days have been a little bit shorter and watching New Japan at night and then going to sleep. And it's like, I I'm not bored enough to install a realism mod, to be honest with you. And that's a pretty shit excuse. Like, I should just install the damn mod. But um, uh, Flick, we're talking about uh, FIFAs or FIFAs. He contacted me, contacted me with the... Uh, ooh, excuse me. Excuse me, what's with the lag? We're talking about uh, Fifers or Fifers. He um he contacted me with a beta to uh, test out the beta. He literally he contacted me. I don't know how he found me. He reckons that I was in his recommended to follow on um Twitter, which was really weird. I was like, really? Like I don't use Twitter, so like I don't know why. What's going on with the lag? I don't know why Twitter would recommend like me. Do you know what I mean? Because I, <laughs> I don't use Twitter. I'm like very inactive on Twitter. I don't know why they would reward that with somebody following me. But anyway. He ended up following me and, and letting me know that, uh, you know, he's, and he's happy for me to stream it. Like, what is going on with this lag? I don't understand. And he's happy for me to stream it. So he's like, yeah, go for it. So I'm going to start a new series with the realism mod. That'll be coming out either, I'm thinking tomorrow. And then I don't know what's going to happen with the streams. I think I'm off. All right, let me, if I think about this correctly, I'm off on Thursday and Friday, guys, but I'll be streaming Saturday and taking Sunday off. So you're gonna have, only gonna have one stream in the next four days. So hopefully that one stream will be, I mean, I'll be here tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow and then I'm not streaming Thursday. I'm not streaming Friday. I don't think I am. I might be, but I don't think I am. And then I'll be back Saturday. So maybe Saturday will do it. I, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I also want to continue that Arsenal Invincibles challenge, if possible. We got to eight games undefeated. That's our best streak. Um, yo, guys, we're closing in on 20 likes. If you haven't liked the stream yet, please consider doing so. Tim, didn't you play before and you said it didn't go through? Yeah, I have a theory it did go through, but it was glitched. Guardy, me and uh, my friend are finally simping over someone other than a fictional character. Wait, Hyper JJ, you're, involve uh, you're evolving. Nice. Hey, dude, you're going to get to a stage where you simp over both and you'll just be happy with that. Trust me, that's where I'm at. Uh-oh. Oh, good pass. I think he might have been offside. No, he's not offside. He is. Oh, wow. He is offside. Oh, I called it correctly. He is offside. Wow. I think he... I, man, that was a close margin, but I thought he was offside, to be honest with you. Actually, you know what? We've got to start using Marquez... Uh, Fontoya Marquez as a winger because... 
Our only other option for winger is Venez, but he's not even that quick, to be honest with you. Um, so we might have to start using Bamford. Oh no, not Patrick Bamford. Get out of town. Hey, Guardian, I'm still doing a sell to rebuild, and I'm first place in La Liga. And round of 16 in Champions League. Nice. Guardi. Oh, I already read that one. I mean, Jamie, your theory might be correct. Maybe Tim did pay and it didn't go through for some reason. I don't know why that would be the case, to be honest with you. But regardless, I'm happy that Tim has a G next to his name, man. Because that man... That man just looks natural with a G next to his name, wouldn't you say? Doesn't it look natural to have Tim with a G next to his name? That's what I think. Ah, what are we doing? With only minutes on the clock and I'm giving the ball away back to Everton. Who, by the way, are just playing a nice counter-attacking uh, game here. Oh, Smalling, just get it out of there. Good block by Backer. Here we go. Oh, what's with the passing? It's the snow. I bet you it's the snow. That's what it is. Yep, that's what it is. It's the snow. The boys are so cold that they can't pass the ball. Is that how it works? Probably not. Great play. Great play by Everton. What am I going to do? That's a great play. Uh, F. Banford. The blue one is sick. Yeah, I, I like the light blue one. I have to say, I so far like the pink purple one that Joe Hay has. I think that's for three months. That's got to be my favorite one. And you know what? You have that one with you for three months because you don't get a new one until six months, which is green. So, yeah, that pink one you're going to have, uh, uh, Joe Hay's going to have for like three months. I think that one's the best one. I think pink is the best one. Pink, purple, whatever you want to say it is. Are you planning to sign Eric Garcia in the Barcelona career mode? Um, the Barcelona career mode's over. Gardi, did you see that Manchester United is going to buy a center back from Leipzig, Eric Sean? Gardi, everyone is simping for peak, aka the cart titan, and I'm not interested in her at all. Which one's peak, the cart titan? Whoops. Peak. Attack on Titan. Which one was that? Really? They're simping over her? Why? You said erection? Did I actually? Say it answer. I didn't say erection. What are you talking about? Um, it says my membership runs out on February 4th. Wow. That's really weird. I have no idea, to be honest with you, Tim. I, I just enjoy it while you have it. Maybe they'll take it off you again. Welcome to the club, JJ. I am still simping over a girl uh, since fifth, says Teku. Tim, so nearly a month, says Football Fan 23. The players' legs are frozen. That's why they're not passing well, says Pops of Vinyls. Yes, exactly. There we go. That That's what it is. Yes. Their legs were frozen. Their legs were frozen. Can you look at how Awu is doing, says Johan? Sure. Sure. We'll look at how Awu is doing. I think he might be fully scouted. I could be wrong, though. Emmanuel Awu. I think he did get fully scattered. Yeah, 72 rated. He's pretty shit. Guardi, you said... Did I actually say erection? I got you again. One day less... Um, one day less than a month. Oh, Eric Sean. I see. Eric Sean is erection. Okay. You got me again, Jazeel. How many is that? Escobar loan agreement? Okay, let's go. Let's Escobar loan agreement. We're, we're happy to let him go for a year. Same with Billy Hammond. He's going to go for another year. That's pretty good. Two youngsters going out on loan. I'm happy with that. I don't know, Guardi. People are weird, says Hyperjet. I thought they'd be simping the um the little girl, to be honest with you. Whatever her name is. The one that wants to be the um, Armored Titan. Got her name. To be honest with you. All right, we'll sim again. And we're, ju we're just going to jump in when we're 1-0 up, to be honest with you. Uh, when we're 1-0 down. Because at the moment, we've got no real threat of getting relegated. And we're not really fighting for a European spot either. So people hate Gabby, really. Wow. Is this on, like, our attack on Titan or something like that? Um, the player's names, Gardy, he did get you, says Jamie. No, no, I know he did. I know he did. I know he did. Who is going to win the Premier League, says Saw Godzilla. In real life, I think it'll be Liverpool. In this save, in this save it probably still is going to be Liverpool as well, yeah. Because Liverpool are doing... I think they're, they're clear of United and City. I think it's a three-way race for the... Um, oh, my gosh. one nil down already. Uh, do you hate Gabby? I don't hate Gabby, per se. She's not my favorite character. I don't think I hate her, though. She, she could be worse. I'll be back in 15 minutes. I'm going to watch some art content, says Pops of Vinyls. Nice, dude. Jamie, I got 45. Salah was my captain and really disappointed, says Jazeel. Southampton will win in real life, says Tim Games. Yes, they're going to win the Premier League in real life, the old Southampton. 
Three underscore TB says hi. What's going on? Three underscore TB. I don't think I've seen you in chat before. What's going on? Tim, I don't know. I don't think Southampton will win real life. I think that's a pipe dream. Sorry to sorry to be the breaker of the the bad news. Arsenal win the title? Yeah, for sure. I, I think Arsenal also could win the title, the championship title. Okay, we're gonna jump in here. Uh, JJ with the facts, Arsenal will win in it, says three underscore TB. Yes, Arsenal will win the championship, I agree. Oh, what are we doing? Thank God I only had one Liverpool player, says uh, Jamie. You know, do you, when you guys play fantasy, like, uh, maybe this is because I'm United and United's been bad the past couple years, but I find it really hard to put my own team's players in there. I don't know why. No, a decent shot from uh, Bentley. And a great save from Casper, the captain. That's a decent shot from Bentley. We've been talking a lot of shit about Bentley, but that's a decent effort from Bentley. Hi, Guardy, what's going on? Quick clips. Uh, whip it in, yeah? Bang. Smalling. Oh. We can never win corners, man. It's like never, ha ever happens. Ever. But you know why? Because Leonidas used to be in a good position in the corners. Now they've, like, taken him out of that position. I don't know why. And they put Smalling in there. But Leonidas is better in the air than Smalling. Even though Smalling's, like, six foot three or whatever the hell he is. Like, he's giant. Like, Leonidas was still better in the air. But now Leonidas is not in the prime positions for the corners. It's Smalling. So that kind of ruins it. Look at Doku's pace, man. Oh, he didn't go down. Thank God. That should have been a penalty if he went down. Leonidas, great ball out to Reese Nelson. Nelson running down the wing. Oh my gosh, no. We had such a nice counter-attack and we ruined it. Oh, Doku, good pass. Over the top for Windle. Over the top. Get rid, backer. Nice, important touch there. Get rid. No, it's a corner. Um, That's a karate kick from Bentley. Yeah, it was. That was a proper bicycle kick. Uh, like a front-facing bicycle kick. Hey, Gardy, I want to ask, when did you start YouTube? I don't know what year it was, to be honest with you. I got no idea. The funny thing is, uh, you guys laugh at Chelsea. We are only seven points off the top of the table. Arsenal is 10 points off. So technically, Arsenal can still win. Technically, yes. Technically, who's last? Technically, they can still win the league. Sheffield United could still technically win the league, yeah. If you're talking about mathematically, then anybody can still win the league. Nobody's ruled out, so. Go on, Fleming. Go on, son. We've got some interesting uh, whippage here, I reckon. Near post. Oh, Addy Emmy with a goal on the near post. Grab the ball, Addy Emmy. Why does nobody ever want to grab? There you go. That's a nice goal, boys. God, you got Nelson. Thank you. Did you loan or buy? No, quick clips. We've brought him. We've bought him. Hi, sir. How are you? What's going on, Arman? Good to see you, my man. Um, Gardy, sorry for lurking most days. I'm at work listening and supporting the stream. Hey, Sammy Prez, man. No need to apologize for watching the stream, man. Whether you're active in chat or you just lurk, that's perfectly fine. I'm all right with that. What a finish, man. What a finish for my man, Adiemi. Yo, Greenwood. It's like flow is Jamie. Uh, moderate Jamie, mate. Haven't seen him in a while. Oh, yeah. You haven't seen... Yeah, Jamie is... It's I flow is Jamie Ahern. Uh, should I check? Your first public series is a FIFA 15 Sunderland save. Yeah, so when's that? 2014. So that's six years and a bit. Jesus Christ. Six years and a bit is when I started my channel. But I did take a two-ish year or two -ish year break, so I don't know. Like, I st it still is six years old, but I haven't been doing it for six years straight, so. Do with that, do with that information what you will, as they say. Windle. You get the ball off him, boys. Come on. Bang! Oh, it chips it in. How do you find the ball? Leonidas... Balls to Mendy. Oh, good ball to a player. That's a goal. Oh, man. How did that happen? It came out of nothing, man. It came out of nothing, that goal for Everton. Came out of nothing. De nada. True? For all my Spanish speakers, is that correct? De nada. All right. Let's go. I haven't even seen Thornton touch the ball all stream today. There we go. Finally, we get Thornton on the ball. What can he do? Our man, Ellis. A Bradford legend already at the age of... What even is he? 20? Literally might only still be 20. And he's already a Bradford legend at 20. Oh, they've given the ball away. The press is too much. Bentley with a shit pass. What else is new? 
No, nah, that was my fault, to be fair. Um, You see, Greenwood is being a dick as usual once uh, Manchester United wins. Wait, what? Gaddy, I'm still waiting on season three of FIFA 16 Barcelona Caribbean. No, you're not hyper, JJ. It's been five years. It's never coming back. Gaddy, do you think we can beat City tomorrow? Yes, I do. If you didn't take a break, B Ford would have been sucking money off you without seeing the features as Jaseel. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jaseel, stop that. Come on, man. I can talk shit about him. Doesn't mean everybody else can talk shit about him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, if I had the subscribers, yeah, he'd still want to make content with me. If I had the subscribers, he would still be hitting me up for sure. Hey, man, he's a businessman at the end of the day. It's a, he's a businessman. He's a numbers man. All right, Nelson. Through to Adeyemi. Bentley making a run, and then he just runs into the central defense instead of going out into the gap. That's fine. Thornton will hit you up. Good little turn from Thornton. Here he goes. Puts it back on his left. Thornton. Ooh, Schmeichel with a great save. Gadi Dena, that means thank you. Does it actually? I thought it meant nothing. How do you say nothing? How do you say nothing? Denada doesn't mean thank you, does it? Wait, how'd that stay in? Denada doesn't mean thank you, does it? Nada is nothing. Okay, so just nada. So why would Denada mean thank you if nada means nothing? Does that mean thank you for nothing? Oh, the ball is not the best and Schmeichel comes out and grabs it. I thought Denada would be like... That is so ridiculous. Wait, what? Denada is kind of like, no problem. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Right, 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 right. No problem. That's where the nada comes in. I was going to say, why would thank you include the word nothing in it? But yeah, no problem. Right, 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 right. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's offside. Fleming, through to Bentley, Bentley with Adiemi making a nice run there, finds him, brings it back central, Adiemi on his right, he's been in some goal scoring form, and he thought that he could take it on his right foot, his unpreferred foot, and it just goes wide, just doesn't catch it right, does he? Gotta getting schooled by Flick and Hyper JJ, I'm not getting schooled, I don't know how to speak fucking Spanish, I'm learning. I was asking them what it meant. I wasn't I wasn't claiming I knew what it meant. Bang. Adiemi. Oh. Benley making an okay run, but we found Ellis Thornton. Oh, why didn't he play the pass? Need to brush up on my Spanish for La Liga career mode, says Flickerfly. Ooh. I like to hear that. Como estas? Muy bien. Like that? Oh, that's on side. He's on. Oh, what a save by McLeod. Adian, what's going on, my man? What a save by McLeod keeping us in this game, even though I don't think we're going to get back in it. English doesn't make sense. That's why. Why is Megan pronounced Megan, but vegan is pronounced vegan? Only, only, even if only the V changes, says Hyper JJ. What? Why is Megan pronounced Megan and vegan pronounced vegan? Oh, oh, good idea. Good idea by Nelson. Man, the defense for Leicester has stepped up big time as well, eh? I could swear in Spanish, says Hyper JJ. Me too. Puta. It, what is it? Is it, uh... Chingue madre. Is that something? Is that fuck your mom? De nada. <laughs> um, what my player thinking to do? Lol, Sam, please. What? Why are you pronouncing Megan like that? M-E-G-A-N, Megan. What the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> I don't understand. What are you guys talking about? Hey, Samuel Prez is loving the Spanish swearing. Hey, is Chinga mad at fuck your mum? What, what is it? How do you say it? Someone tell me how to say it. I want to know. I'm going to say it to Jaden Bentley. 
Lingard. Plays the through. Nelson. Bang! To Bentley. Bang! Oh! Do Australians pronounce Megan like that? Megan is pretty out. Like, Megan? What are you guys on about? Everything you're spelling is Megan. Are you guys trying to say Megan? Because that is not how you spell Megan. Megan is like M E A G H A N or something like that in Australia. There is Megan, but it's spelled completely different. It means go F yourself. Somebody who has a shout. Somebody has a shout out for Mr. Beast has 150k subs now, says David Liao. Okay, Australia is weird, says Flickerfly. No, we actually speak the language properly, not like you bananas. You guys pronounce. You guys uh, changed aluminium into aluminum. And, like, you completely changed the word. Anyway, regardless, English is a weird language, but, um, what does that have to do with anything? English is a really messed up language. Like, there's a lot of, that's not a, that's not a good one to really, um, point out. There's a lot better ones to point out in terms of inconsistencies in the language, trust me. Australia is really weird, FFS. What? Australia is not that weird, really. It's just a mix of UK English and Austra and uh, American English. That's it. Like something we don't we use like instead of color has a U in it. You know what I mean? Instead of C O L O R. No, see, hyper JJ America just thought you know what we're America. We got big balls, or so we think. So we're gonna start changing words and doing our own thing because we just have to be different and we just have to be retarded. So that's what they started doing. They started changing words. Here we go. No, I wanted to throw to Adiemi. Oh, that's alright. This might still work out. Thornton. No, I shouldn't have gone first time. Mate, Australia is funny, says Jamie. Yeah, we are pretty funny at the end of the day. English is a West Germanic language that originated anglo frisian dialects brought to Britain in the mid-5th and 7th centuries AD by Anglo-Saxon migrants from what is now Northwest Germany. Hey, what's going on, Alex Belgium? Good to see you, my man. Thanks for the history lesson there, David Leo. Good to know that. I didn't know it was from the 5th to 7th century. My bad. I thought it started with the United States of America. I thought they were the first uh, country to speak English. Go on. Let's at least bring one back. Let's make this look a little bit more respectable. No. Okay, they're not going to let us get one back. That's fair enough. If I, was if I was Leicester, I wouldn't let us get one back either. We don't deserve it. We deserve to lose 4-1. We've sucked this game. Uh, Ozil in talks with DC United in MLS, apparently, really. Can you say good day, mate, in the accent? Okay, good day, mate. Uh, yo, what's going on, Chad Patterson, my man? Amar says, remember me? Yes, I do. Is it gray or gray? I don't know. Either one. I think we use either one, to be honest with you. Boys, we're closing in on 30 likes. If you haven't liked the stream, yet, please consider doing so. Guardy, you look older every day, lol. Maybe that's because I'm aging every day. Uh, Danish is weird, says Johan. Yo, Pat. Bro, I am. Um, you are ignoring me, says Amar. Yeah, I'm ignoring you. That's why I've read your name out twice now. <laughs> you guys need to practice some patience, to be honest with you. To be completely honest with you, chat. You got to practice some patience. Believe me. You got to zen it out. All right. Uh, Guardian, England is the first country to speak English. What? No, they weren't. Chad, I'm calling you Pratt, says Jiz Oh, Pat, I see. Sorry, I'm so used to PAT just including an R in there as well. Good eye, mate. Good eye, mate. Chad, uh, what's up, Guardy? What's going on, Leon? Right? Yes, I'm new to the stream, says Flickerfly. <laughs> yeah, this Flick guy's a, a new mod. He joined yesterday, or today, sorry, and I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna give him the mod. <laughs> don't bother looking up his chat channel. There's nothing on it, trust me. I don't like to say Chad, so I'm saying Pat. Wait, what? Uh, uh, hi, HyperJJ, says Alex Belgium. Okay, so Escobar and Hammond have gone uh, to, to get loaned out. Let's take a look at uh, the youth squad. Anybody that we want to drop? This this guy here, 50 rated. Thanos. Oh my god, it's Thanos. Do we dare drop Thanos? Can I ask a question? Do we dare drop Thanos? Even though he's not that good. He's going to kill us all. I think we don't drop Thanos. Randy De La Cruz Herrera says hi. Sorry I'm late. No need to apologize. Guys, thanks for the 25 likes on the stream. 
Closing it on 30 likes. Uh, Bamford, I don't even know what you have to say. Uh, I ain't jealous, but how TF does he get a mod straight away? I don't know. I liked his name and I gave him the mod. That's it. That's all it comes down to. I, I just really liked his, his name. Guardi, when, uh, when are you ending the Bradford career mode? I don't know how many seasons we'll do with it, to be honest with you, but I'm having fun with it at the moment. It's a great career mode so far, so... I, there's no there's no time restraint on this. Whenever I feel like finishing it, I'll finish it. You know what I mean? Like, whenever I'm I'm done, whenever I think I've done enough, I, that's when I'm going to stop it, sort of thing. If that makes sense. You know what? Let's put Bamford on the on the reserves, man. He doesn't deserve to be in the team. Uh, let's also maybe give some players a rest. Let's go play Co uh, Connor Wood instead of Backer. Get Lopez on the bench as well. Give some players a rest, man. Arezzo. Let's bring Arezzo on the bench instead of Fleming. And we'll have him maybe make his debut if he hasn't played already. Um, look up Tiago Dijalo. Never heard of him. DC, uh, Flick is a YouTuber, mate. You can't try sarcasm with me, mate. What do you mean? You have Lingardinho? Yeah, until Bradford is in the UCL when we end this masterpiece. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> There's no goals. If we end up just being a mid-table team for like five seasons, then I'm just going to be like, eh, we're going to end it now. If we end up winning the Champions League, I'll be like, eh, we'll end it now. If we end up winning the Premier League and the FA Cup, I'd be like, nah, well, it's whenever I want, guys. It's not, there's no limit. There's no, there's no goal. The only goal was get them to the Premier League. That's it. There's no more goals other than this. Whatever happens from now is just a bonus. End it when you win the Champions League or the Prem, says Leon Wright. DC, uh, yes, he is. Wait, what is it? DC, he's a YouTuber? No, he's not. Flickerfly's not a YouTuber, man. Trust me. Don't, don't check his channel out. There's nothing on there. If you look up his channel, you'll find nothing. He's just a guy that I just gave mod to because I felt like it. No relegations here. Yeah, exactly. Does anybody from your office watch your stream, says Adian? No. Not that I'm aware of. They could be watching right now. I don't know. Maybe it's their morning entertainment. Gardi, do you think I'll be a mod for you one day? Marcus Rashford will be the less left wing in the world. I have no idea, to be honest with you. Even when I was picking the mod, when I needed a mod, I had no idea who I was going to give it to. It's whenever I need a mod, and whoever's in the chat at the time, and I see the name, I said, oh, that's somebody I can trust, then I give the mod out. But honestly, you guys put way too much value on the mod thing. It's not that important. Also, asking for it is the worst thing you can do, because it just kind of... It makes me distrust you if, that, if you're here just for the mod. You know what I mean? Um, Reds Gaming 07 says, hello, Gardy. What's going on, Reds Gaming 07? Uh, DC, check his channel, says uh, Jamie. Don't check his channel. Gardy, I just started a Salford City RTG. Any tips? Yeah, Leon Wright. Uh, exploit the hell out of the free agency, the youth, and pre-contracts. That's probably the three best things I can say. End it when Thornton wins Ballon d'Or, says Jazeel. Well, he's going to win many of them. Marcus is jealous, says Alex Belgium. Don't trust me, says Sam Marriage. Oh, but Sam, you're already a member. You already got that nice green name. You stick out from the rest of them. You're already, you're already special. I wanted to ask, uh, what are your favorite shows, says Arian. Oh, you mean at the moment, or you mean like of all time, or... Right now, I'm really digging The Mandalorian, to be honest with you, and Attack on Titan. Those two are my jams right now. And Black Clover. I've really been grinding Black Clover a little bit now, so... Uh, two of those animes. In terms of real, like, actual shows, um, yeah, Mandalorian for me right now is the only one. I used to watch Vikings. I think I'm off that now. I'm not watching Vikings now. I might go back and catch up. I don't know. Um, Suits. I used to watch Suits. I don't watch that anymore. I used to... Well, I, I watched Mad Men. Now that's over, so... Ooh, Mando. I love Mando. Can't wait for Bad Batch. Hey, Sam Marriage is speaking my language, man. I can't wait for all of those shows. I'm literally going to watch all of them. I don't think there's a... I don't think there's an, a, a series that they're making that I'm not excited for. I'm excited for all of them. I'm, I'm willing to give all of them a try. That doesn't mean I watch all of them start to finish. If I don't like it, I won't watch it. But man, I'm really excited for the Obi-Wan uh, thing. I'm excited for Boba and Bad Batch as well. Looks really, really good. I want them to do more shows that kind of like focus on, on the dark side of things. And, and, and the, I want them to do shows that focus on the, on the you know, the First Order and the Galactic Order and stuff like that. So Suits is one of my favorites. Yeah, it, it, it was okay. It got bad, man. They just, as soon as Mike got ex exposed for being a fraud and they did all that, it's like, that, that should be the end of the show. Stop. Stop the show now. It's it's too much. Rodrigo God is in the chat. What's going on, Rodrigo God? Good to see you, my man. I'm pretty big on Star Wars. Me too. Who does not like Star Wars, says Tim Games. Um, I was going to sign Jesse Lingers, 30k a week and 300k signing bonus, and stormed out. Mate, Jesse Lingers wants a bit more than 30k, that's why. Uh, Guardy first watched Clone Wars, mate. Yeah, I need, to, I need to maybe watch those. I don't know if I'm proper, like, invested in, in that, to be honest with you. 
I don't know if I'm proper invested in Clone Wars and stuff, but I should. I should probably go back and watch it. Is it on Disney Plus? Are they all on Disney Plus, Clone Wars and stuff? Book of Boba Fett will be awesome. I think so too, Sam Marriage. I think so too. I think it's going to be a really good show. Uh, DC, you've changed your name. Yeah, I don't know why DC United has changed his name. Guardy, should I be in a movie? Yeah, you absolutely should be in a movie, DC United, yeah. Guardy, have you watched In, in Between Us? No, Tim, I haven't. Should I take this penalty? Nah, let's trust Reese Nelson with this one. He's going to slot this away. Bang! Look at that. You have got to have full confidence, boys. You got to have full confidence. Uh, do we have one more sub to make or we made three? No, we made three. Sorry. Um, Jazeel says, hi, I'm new here. How are you? What uh, days do you stream on? Is this your only series? Yeah, Jazeel, what's going on? Yeah, watch the Spurs game, says Sorgodzilla. I wasn't really too interested in the Spurs game, man. They're playing Brentford. I'm not too interested in that. Yeah, one nil at halftime. I'm not. I'm not interested in in the Spurs game, to be honest. It should be an easy W, right? Like, um, watch Clone Wars from season three slash four. That's when it gets good. You'll get a glimpse of the Bad Batch in the last Clone Wars season. Yes, Guardy, they are on Disney+. Plus. What about Rebels? Is Rebels worth watching? I might start watching that today, to be honest with you. I might start watching them today. But then, I don't know if I'm going to install this Realism mod if I'm too busy watching uh, Clone Wars, you know what I mean? Uh, Bamford's disappointed we left him out. Maybe if you weren't so bad. Like, I'd play you if you weren't so bad. When is Brewster coming back, man? I miss Brewster. How many months has he got left on his injury? I still think he has one or two months. Uh, let's have a look. Nothing is easy in football. Yes, Guardi, they're on Disney+. Plus. I've not started Rebels. I'm way behind. I want Brad, uh, Brentford to win. Yeah, me too. Still got three months left on his injury, man. Oh, man. Play the Arsenal Invincible Challenge, please. Yeah, Sogodzilla will probably be doing that on Saturday. We'll probably be doing that on Saturday. We'll do the Arsenal Invincibles on Saturday, I think. Um... Let's go. Hey, Guardy, what's going on, Benny S? Buy a new PC, says Mateo Fredbo. Why? What's wrong with my PC? There's nothing wrong with it. Glory, glory, Brentford, says Wadu. Jesus. I've heard Rebels is good and Ahsoka is badass in it. Yeah, I heard Ahsoka's really badass in um in Rebels. And she that's like she's like people's favorite character in like the whole Star Wars because of that. Guardy, will you ever do a Man City 100 point challenge? Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> maybe. I think the next one, once we do Arsenal, the thing I want to do after that is the United Treble Challenge. And then maybe we'll do the City Centurions Challenge. Yeah. That's not a bad shout, Adian. That's not a bad shout. Then I don't know what's after that. Maybe we do like a Real Madrid three in a row Champions League Challenge. Woo! How about that? I gotta write this stuff down. I gotta write this stuff down. Also, I need to get a thumbnail made for that uh, Treble one. Oh, what? Come on. I clicked out before the game started. Get out of town. I'm sorry, it's going to be clicking in and out this whole time. <clears throat> because I'm trying to... Yeah, i got to contact my guy to make me a thumbnail for the uh, United one. i got to go. If Robbie comes back, tell him I said hi, says Tim Games. Will do, Tim. Um, see you later, man. Thanks for dropping by. Hello, Guardy. What's going on, Jamie Robinson? Good to see you. Guys, we nearly at 30 likes on the stream. You guys are killing it today. Thank you so much for the support. Absolutely insane. Damn, Star Wars is pretty cool, but um, is any of them beating Goku? Didn't think so, says Hyper JJ. Uh, for me, Star Wars is not really about strength, to be honest with you. But no, none of them be are beating Goku. I don't. Is there anybody that beats Goku in a fight? Like, Goku is literally the strongest being ever depicted in anything ever, right? Am I wrong about that, Hyper JJ? Like, is there somebody that's ever depicted as stronger than Goku? Watch Demon Slayer, says uh, Wadu. Okay, Demon Slayer is good. Okay, I'll watch. I got, I got two animes that I'm going through right now. I'm going through Black Clover. I'm going through One Piece. I've taken a little bit of a break on One Piece because Black Clover has grabbed my attention. So I'm watching Black Clover now. But uh, once I sort of get up to date with Black Clover, I'll go back to One Piece. Try and uh, get up to date with One Piece. Then when I'm up to date with both, then I need a new anime. So I don't need a new anime right now. I'm, plen I'm stacked with animes at the moment. Uh, tons of people? Really? Who is who is depicted as stronger than Goku? 
You really are chill, YouTuber. This is my first day here, and I really like you already, says Jazil. <laughs> Shut up, Jazil. Uh, what is the realism mod, says Arian. Oh, you've never heard of it? Okay, Arian, well, when we do the stream, make sure you tune in. Um, I'll talk about it then. It's it's a mod that's been made by, by obviously, a modder. And uh, there's different things that are involved in it. But, um, in fact, you know what? Um, Arian, do you have Twitter? If you have Twitter, look up FIFA or FIFA on, on Twitter. F-I-F-E-R. And just have a scroll through, and he probably has a post explaining the realism mod, or you could probably find more information there. F I F E R on on Twitter. It's a, it's what it's a really great mod for career mode. It it's it basically puts into career mode what most of us want in career mode. He's been doing it for a couple of years now, and trust me, with that mod on, FIFA is a lot more enjoyable. Um, so yeah, it's it's yeah. There's many people like uh, there's people in super like Zeno, all the angels, grand priests, even Beerus. One Punch Man, I meant, says Mateo. No, uh, wait, what? One Punch Man beats Goku? No, he doesn't. Goku would eat One Punch Man alive. Goku would literally beat him with like his eyes closed. Zeno is stronger than Goku. That's all. That's true. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, outside of Super, outside of that universe, I mean, outside of the Dragon Ball universe, is there anybody in anything else that's depicted stronger than, than Goku? Jon Martin Petrov, man, I missed one stream and you have Matty Longstaff, Lacazette, and PVA. Wait, what? No, we don't. That's Crystal Palace. <laughs> Yo, and Martin, that's Crystal Palace. A lot of progress. That's not us, man. We're on the right. McLeod, Lamptey. Sturgeon, Smalling, it's still the same team that you know and love. Asta and Mimosa are better than Asta and no Noile or Noire. I can't say the name they, the, the way they say it. I just say Noel. I can't say it the way that they say it. Noire! Brooklyn plays! What's going on, Brooklyn, my man? What's going on, my guy? What video are you doing tomorrow, says Sorgodzilla? Tomorrow will probably be another one of another Bradford. Or maybe even the Arsenal Invincible Charge. If I get the realism mod set up, I'll do it tomorrow. Do an Ajax Champions League challenge? Bro, I have autism. Holy F, it's late. Give me some slack, says Johan Martin. <laughs> oh, man. That's so good. You thought we were on the left. We're getting spanked, by the way. What am I doing? You thought we were on the left. That's so good. Let's try and bring this back. We probably won't, but let's try and bring this back. What's going on? All of a sudden, we're on a losing streak. All of a sudden, I said we're not getting relegated, and now the FIFA's like, you know what? Maybe we will relegate you. Maybe we will relegate your ass. Bang! Oh... Arsenal, please. What's going on, Felix Jordan Binder? What's going on, man? One Punch Man has never showed his real colors, though, says Mateo. Hey, man, you don't have to debate me. You have to debate Hyper JJ. If you think One Punch Man can beat Goku, you have to talk to Hyper JJ, not me. I know that he couldn't. I found him. FIFA, right? Yeah, exactly. He has a realism mod trailer on YouTube. Exactly. Yeah, Adrian, check it out, man. Check it out. It'll be free eventually for uh, everybody. But uh, at the moment, it's still in beta, so he sent me a beta for it, so... Lev Levi can beat uh, Goku. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Levi can beat Goku. He'll just um, he'll just start flying around in the trees and and get his swords out, and that's it. Goku's done. <laughs> I'm new to the stream. Oh, by the way, I saw Pogba better than Bruno, and I had to go to the hospital because I couldn't stop. Says Jamie Robinson. Stop what? Anime or football? Um, for me, it's I think football. For me, I I I think uh, as much as I love storytelling. The, the competition of football, for me, is just, is at a different level. The the, the global support of, of a single sport like football, I, I don't know. There's something magical about a football and sport in general. So for me, I think I'll always take the competitiveness of, of sports over the, over the storytelling of anime. But a lot of people, I think, discredit how important storytelling is, to be honest with you, and how important fantasy is. And how big of an escape that is for a lot of people. I think a lot of people don't uh, don't give enough credit to anime and other TV shows. It doesn't just have to be anime. But uh, for me, I always take competition over over storytelling. I think at least competition that I find entertaining. I might find. So I mean, I, I I like all sport. Like uh, I will literally sit down and watch any sport if it's li on live. I will watch every single sport in the world. I'll watch golf. I don't care. Like, I'll watch anything. Um, but, yeah. 
I've never seen you drunk, says Jamie Robinson. Bang! He's talking to Jazeel, not me. I don't know. I could. I don't think I could ever drink on stream because it's like six or seven in the morning when I start streaming. That's a pretty early time to start drinking. Maybe if I did like a, a twenty-four hour stream, you guys would probably see me drunk then because I do like a drink every so often. Uh, how important is hentai to us? Oh, so important, yeah. You know, I never got into it. Like that was never my thing, hentai. That was never my thing. Look at the scoreboard. Yeah, I know. It was glitched out for a long time there. This is another L. With Cop and L after. Oh, they got Kamavinga. Yo, this Palace team is kind of good. NGL. This Palace team is kind of good. Juventus career mode signing idea, says Sorgatzilla. I can Fenway stronger than Goku. That's probably true. You guys got to realize a human is like, what's the human power level? Like one or two or something like that. Like, Goku is literally stronger than a, a human when he's, like, a baby. Like, just born. Wait, we're gonna get one back. Goal! Look at this, the comeback's on. I'm having a daughter uh, in a few weeks, says Rodrigo God. Is that right? Yo, you know who else had a kid? Your boy. I wonder where he is. I wonder how his kid's doing. Has anyone here done the John Stones SBC? If so, is he good, says Keaton Brickles. What's going on, Keaton? Sonic and Goku are similar characters, says Jamie. No, Sonic is probably better than Goku. He's stronger than Goku. What team should I do, says Sorgatzilla. Did you look up Alaste? Yeah, we did. We did, J Jamie Robinson. We did. And average human power level is five. There it is. You also have Bracalo as well. Exactly. Yeah, Flick. It's a stacked team. Palace have a great team. What is it with Premier League teams just like stacking up big time? Thanks for the 34 likes on the stream, guys. If you haven't liked the stream yet, please consider doing so. Thanks for all the support. Much appreciated. Keen says, hello. Goku is... Goku in just Namek Saga is 150 million. Yeah, it's... The power levels in in Dragon Ball are the most obscene things I've seen in my life. Like, <clears throat> they should probably just stop because it's like, where else are you going to go after like your god level, right? Literal god level. They're going to give me one more attack? Probably not. No. I doubt it. Actually, they were going to give me one more attack, but I messed it up. That's all right. 3-1. I'm trying to do Juventus Champions League five in a row. Wait, what? Five Champions League in a row. Wait, what? Oh, we got a free kick. All right, we'll just float this one in. We'll just float it in. Is Mike Smalling on it? He is, and he just goes over the bar. Um, I'm trying to do Juventus five Champions League in a row, says Reds Gaming 07. That's insane. Is he good, says Jamie Robinson? Yes, he is good. They stopped power levels. They got too high to measure. I mean, they're literally in like the what? What do you reckon they're in? The billions? Trillions? Where are they at right now, uh, Hyper JJ? Harry and Jones uh, would beat Goku, says Mateo. Harry and Jones. Yeah, I think so too. I think Harry and Jones probably would. Kaneki, uh, towards the end of Tokyo Ghoul, can put up a fight for a couple of minutes versus Goku, says Johan Martin. I've never watched Tokyo Ghoul, so I don't know. I can't speak. A McLeod transfer offer, and they're only offering us 1 million, plus a player. Um, Yeah, I mean, McLeod for me right now, not to Bill Bow, not to Bill Bow. Oh, first of all, that doesn't make sense, because they need to have, um, because they only have uh, Basque players, so we're not going to do that. Sorry, Petrov. Even though I have Kaneki PFP RN, I won't. Uh, he won't last three seconds, says Hyper JJ. Those are my kids in my profile pic. Is that what that is? I didn't realize they were kids. It's so small, I can't even tell. To be fair, uh, Phil Jones is stronger than Goku. Have you watched Naruto? Says Wadu Heck. Yes, I have. Naruto, I have watched. I've watched Bleach. I've watched. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I've watched Full Metal Alchemo uh, Alchemist. I've watched Hunter Hunter. I've watched. I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Obviously, Dragon Ball and Z and Super. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know. I'm currently watching Attack on Titan and Black Clover and One Piece as well. I, don't, I feel like I've missed one. I don't know what though. Uh, give me a Champions League team, says Sogodzilla. I thought you were doing a Juventus career mode. You're going to turn his hair white and just eat him, says Jan Martin. Pepe the center back would destroy Goku without touching him. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, it's Pepe the center back for me. That'll do it. All right, let's bring on uh, some uh, fresh faces here to get some other players playing some games. We're just going to keep simming these games, boys. I don't think we're still in any danger of... Uh... <clears throat> I don't think we're. I still don't think we're in any danger of, of getting relegated. I'll check the table after this. Petrov, when Goku had power level of 290, he was already faster than light. His speed blitzes. 
FMA or FMA Brotherhood, says you. I watched Brotherhood. Pokemon, yeah, Pokemon. Bleach is very underrated anime, but it is fab. They really ruined it. Bleach was gonna be a fantastic anime, and then they really... Pardon my French. Fuck that up. Uh, a lot of Pokemon beat Goku. Yeah, I think so too. Sign Bayard in. I signed Bayard in for my Juventus Karimo. Nice. Rodrigo got his right. I actually thought that was a BTEC Real Madrid crest from far, but you got some nice kids, dude. Congrats. Wait, what? Really? I didn't realize that was kids. I thought it was like, uh, you know, <laughs> you know what? No joke. Rodrigo God. You know what I thought that was from far away? I thought it was Balotelli flexing. I'm not even shitting. You know that you obviously know the photo. I thought it was that. I'm not even lying. I actually thought it was something like that, like Balotelli flexing. Oh, well, congrats on the on the upcoming daughter, man. I hope everything goes uh, well. Bleach is a part of the big three, says HyperJJ. It's that, that's Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, yeah? Those are the big three. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. From far away, it's got like a little bit of white and then like uh, brown, and I thought it was Balotelli flexing. Uh... <laughs> Hey, what's going on, Quinn and Joey? New Bleach season will be coming now for its sequel part. Wait, what? I had to screenshot on Zoom, says Jazeel. Really? Uh, my mother haven't said that in 14 years. Wait, what? There's a sequel to Bleach? What do you mean there's a sequel to Bleach? I don't understand. Boys, we nearly have 40 likes. You guys are absolutely smashing it. Thank you so much. I don't understand that. Hey, Gadi, what's going on, Ashish? What's going on, Ashish? Wait, mother say bro? My mother hasn't said that in 14 years. Bro. Rodrigo God is not a mother. I assume Rodrigo God is a father. Okay, we're gonna jump in. 2-0 down, we're gonna jump in. Why are we struggling so much all of a sudden, man? Last AOT went shit as soon as they started explaining shit. I feel like it was scarier when they didn't got anything about the Titans. Uh, Johan Martin, I know what you mean. It was more mysterious and more like uh, you really didn't know what was going on. Whereas now you got a pretty clear understanding of what's going on. I just think that's the evolution of the show. I, 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 I don't think they could keep it mysterious forever. Eventually, you have to learn about what's going on. Well, I guess maybe you don't have to learn. But uh, yeah, eventually, they were always going to show what was like behind it all. But yeah, I know what you mean. It's it's less scary in, in the mysterious way, but it's more scary in terms of... Oh, great goal by Jesse. In terms of just like how these people are being used as like weapons. Did you just assume his gender? Yes, I did. Because 99 plus percent of my audience is male, so. You would get the info of new Bleach in YouTube, says Wadu Heck. Uh, I am trying to get Wilford Zaha on my Juventus Cremo, says Red's Gaming 07. Everyone's doing a Juventus Cremo. That was offensive, says Rodrigo God. I don't really care. What team do you support, says Sorgatzilla? I support Manchester United. I will assume your gender. I will assume you're all male, and I don't care if I offend you. Straight up. I literally couldn't care less. All right, let's go. We brought my back, so the comeback is on. Woo! Dembele and Belotti. All right, they got Belotti as well. Yeah, even Newcastle have a pretty decent side. Manalas is good as well. But we got to Heath Chong. Bang! You like that? It's all about to Heath. Who we were actually considering sending out. On loan or even a transfer. Proper transfer. Gadi, does your uh, mother watch your videos? No, she does not. I'm a fucking alien, bro, says Jazeel. Gadi, I'm a dog man. Feeling publicly attacked. Save by McLeod. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty big dog man as well. I, I love dogs. <clears throat> Feeling publicly attacked. Now, a new Seven Deadly Sins uh, season coming out soon. Get rid. By the way, haven't watched the new AOT season out of 10. How good is it so far? There's a lot of um, build up and there's a lot of uh, like how to say it. it it's slow pace. That's for sure. It, it's a slow burn, but I think it's going to really explode in the next episode or two. So that's the way to explain. It. I mean, if you've watched the other seasons, you have to finish it. Like, yeah. how could you not finish it? You have to finish it. But uh, in terms of compared to the other seasons, I don't know where, it, where it's ranking so far. For me, though, there's, a, there's, there's just... You know what it is? The anticipation is so... Like, it's so suspenseful. I can't wait to watch the next episode. So, in that regard, it's really good. But there's not that much, like, action that's happening at the moment. 
You might do a Man United career mode. Nice. Sign Adam Johnson. When we, uh, we need a stream where Guardy plays FIFA with his mum slash dad, says Keaton. Uh, that's probably... Uh, I'm pretty confident in saying that's never going to happen. For various reasons. Adiemi. Oh, great ball. Look at Lingard with that run, man. Great run by Lingard. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't turn into anything, but just the penetration from Lingard there is fantastic. Um, suspense, says Johan Martin. Yeah, there's a lot of suspense in terms of... Well, I, I don't know. If you haven't watched the show, I don't want to really spoil it. But in terms of what's happening right now, there's certain characters that are meeting others, and, and there's certain things that are about to explode and, and, and happen. So, yeah. Oh, nice dink over the top there. Ooh. It's never going to happen because his parents left, says Quinn and Joey. Um, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. The new season gives a lot of perspective uh, to other characters and their morals. Yeah, that's that's the part that I'm liking so far. Is um, specifically someone like Reiner, right? How could you... And I never really... You know what? I never really hated Reiner or what they were doing. Because I always thought they were doing it. Because when Reiner starts... Okay. Anyway, if nobody's watched the show... If you haven't watched the show, just block your ears for like two seconds. When Reiner first uh, is explaining his his side of things. Or his, his countryman's side of things. You already get this idea of it's just two people on the on different sides of, of a battle here. Like, you already get this idea that Reiner is, like, they already build his character in a way where he's carrying a lot of weight. And he's doing it because he believes that it's the best thing for him and his people, right? You already get that sense on that aura already. But now you even, so you could, I never really hated Reiner, but people probably did. But now it's like, how can you hate him when you're, like, getting this perspective on his life? And how things work on this side of, of, of things. You know what I mean? That's what I like what they're doing. Because the show has always been like... There's no real good or evil. It's just people making decisions. It's very... Oh, wow. Marco Royce, man. Seriously? You want spoilers about AOT Season 4? I can tell you what um, the next fight will happen. I already have read the manga. No, why do? I don't want any spoilers. Uh, of course, I'm watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood at the moment. So I kind of don't want to watch 50 animes at once. That's why I'm waiting, says Jon Martin. That's perfectly fine. I'll fly out and play FIFA with Guardi. I'll replace his mum, says Sam Marriage. Nice. MFs who think Esconite is stronger than uh, Meliodas angers me. I don't know who either of those characters are. Gazeel, that's offensive. He doesn't have one, sadly. <laughs> says Quinn and Joey. Bruno better than Pogba, apparently, according to Jamie. <clears throat> Quinn, he says uh, he has one. He said so. What are you guys talking about? Quinn, he does have a JF, mate. What are you guys talking about? Do you think Pogba will sign for Juventus, says Sorgatilla? Um, I don't know, to be honest with you. I, I know he wants to leave. I don't know where he's going to go or, or... I don't know even, I don't know if, he, if he's going to go. I know he wants to leave. That doesn't necessarily mean that he will leave. Those are two separate things. Adiemi. Ooh, good tackle there by Almiron. Marco Royce, man. Are you serious? I disliked Reiner since he wouldn't die. <laughs> I always liked him. I always liked Reiner from when uh, he was depicted as one of the rest of them, one of the gang. I always liked Reiner, but even when he, he did the turn, I was kind of like, oh, he's a sick cunt. You know what I mean? I kind of always, I, I don't know. I always have a soft spot for the bad guy. I don't know why. I always think like, oh, he's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Like even in wrestling, man, I always like the heels. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm an asshole as well. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I always like the heels. Not always. Sorry. There are heels that I just don't like because they're just bad wrestlers or bad characters, but yeah. Royce at Newcastle? Yeah, Royce at Newcastle. I'm telling you guys, these Premier League teams are stacked, like proper stacked. You know who I was thinking about the other day who doesn't get talked about enough? Andre Schurler. Where is that guy now? Where, where is he at the moment? Is he retired? Man, he was a hell of a footballer. No, don't go down. No, 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 no. Oh, referee, fuck off. Seriously. Ah, oh, referee. Save! Not that it matters. We're not getting back into this game, but... Oh, and kept alive by Baka, and then he leaves the ball behind. Oh my gosh, what's he doing? I don't think we're getting back into this game. See, where's my foul? Where's my foul, referee? Do you know what I mean? That's the problem here. Where's the equality? Where is the love? Bang. Go on, Adiemi. Come on, man. You got some pace about behind you. Uh, he retired, I think. Gardy, read my last comment, says Jazeel. He did retire, says Jamie. Really? Man, he was a hell of a footballer. I'm not going to lie. He's a hell of a footballer. Go. 
No. Wing God, go. Oh. Um, honestly, if you're going to post spoilers about an anime that I'm watching, um, do me a favor. Fuck yourself. Don't come back to the channel. If you're going to post spoilers on the, on the, on, in the chat, do me a favor. Don't ever come back to this channel. Just do me a favor. Yeah. If you think it's cool to spoil things for other people. Um, yeah, don't come back to the channel. You're not, you're not welcome on this channel, to be honest with you. Um, Reiner, uh, was de never really seems to be 100% on the side of the bad guys. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, Berthold had zero character development. I mean, Berthold was obviously like a, a nervous, uh, nervous guy. You know what I mean? Like, he was always a, a nervous guy. I don't even know if that if that spoiler is true. I didn't actually read it. I didn't read it, but I knew that he was... All I saw was uh, die. So I don't know who he was um, claiming is going to die, but uh, I, I blocked him. So. I don't know if it's true or not, but even if you're faking a spoiler, you're not invited on the stream. And that's a nice equalizer as well. Uh, Hyper JJ, I know Guardi better than you, uh, says Jamie. What? Nobody knows me better than anybody. You guys don't even know me that well. Um, like, you guys watch me on streams and stuff, but you don't really know me. Why are people pissing off Guardi? You know what? I don't really understand, like, the point of it. I don't know. Maybe this guy is, like, uh, sitting there, like, jerking off to the fact that he spoiled something for me. I don't know. It's really childish. In fact, it's really small dick energy, to be honest with you. Like, Wadu, Wadu, if you're still here, you must have the tiniest penis in the world. Because that's just fucking stupid, to be honest with you. Uh, hey, I'm IBS, what's going on? Hey, I'm back. Sorry, I'm late. All good, man. I wish I could ban his whole, uh, his whole, whole, um, IP, to be honest with you. Oh, sorry, um, yeah, his whole IP address. I wish I could just block the whole thing so he doesn't make any other accounts, to be honest with you, but unfortunately, you can't do that. I'm sure he'll make another account and come back. Easy, guys, it's just an anime. Uh, Jazeel, you know what it is? If you're on his side, you can get blocked as well. If you're on his side, you can get blocked as well. Ease up, just ease up the guy, just ease the guys up. No, Jazeel, I don't think so. I'm not going to ease anybody up, no. I'm not going to ease, ease anybody up. If you're here to spoil anything, it doesn't have to be an anime, it, it could be anything. If, you, if you're going to, if you're going to spoil anything for someone, do me a favor and fuck off. Um, Ajmal says Liverpool, King of England. All right, Raphael Leclerc is unsettled, so we're going to bring him in. 72 rated. Woo! Ah, oh, 72 rated. What a player. Um, wait, wait. Not development plan. Promote him. All right, we're going to bring him in finally because he's finally unsettled. We were waiting on him to be unsettled. We were waiting on him to be unsettled. And he is unsettled, so we're going to bring him in. Um, Vilis Luk Lukovs. Uh, we are talking about which anime says a shish. Uh, it doesn't matter at this point. Hey, what's going on, Kyle's uh, Gaming? And what's going on, Adam05? Lordy, Lordy Raid. Lordy1701 Raid. Queen Lordy Raid. Lordy Raid. Yo, what's going on, everyone? What's going on, everyone, from uh, Lordy's channel? I gotta be honest. Please don't kill me. I don't know who Lordy is, but thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that so much. How you guys going? What's going on, uh, Cameron? Cameron Hall, Breakout Gamer, Adam05, Kyle's Gaming, and Lordy1701 themselves. What's going on? When you end, can you raid True Gamer? Uh, sure. I don't really raid anybody, but we could raid if we really wanted to. We could raid. What's going on, everyone? Uh, keep it positive, legend. I understand, says Marco Vanderpop. Um, like the vid before you go. <laughs> yeah, true. For those of you that are raiding, can you please like the video before you go? <laughs> Help the stream out. Hey, Lordy, what, what do you do? Like, what, what kind of content does Lordy do? Maybe you guys aren't even going to be interested in FIFA. By the way, I didn't even see that last player. I just rejected him. He could have been really good. I just rejected him. I want to see the Arsenal challenge to Saw Godzilla. Yeah, we'll do the Arsenal challenge soon as well. We're still 11th. We're not in really... Lordy is track the Tom. This Cameron Hall. I don't know what that is. 
Mikos Papoutsis. All right, let's bring him in. Where's Mikos Papoutsis? 65 rated at the moment, and he's uh, got the 85 potential. FIFA content, bro, and other games. Oh, well, that's sick. That's sick, Lordy. Well, thanks for the raid, man. I appreciate it. All right, so we got to get rid of some players, which sucks, because I don't know who to get rid of, to be honest with you. Who the hell is Track the Tom? My bro used to watch that. All right, we've got to get rid of Boris, right? He's, he's, he's 59 rated. Man, Boris has actually increased so much. All right, Thibaut Maureen, you got to go. I'm sorry, 61 rated. I'm sorry. Peter Hewitt, you got to get, okay, get out of here. Let's see. We'll make some room in the uh, senior squad. Uh, Cameron Hall says, why am I banned from him then, bro? Who's banned from who? Uh, Jazeel, if you spoil anything, you're a horrible person, says Jamie. I agree. I agree. Unless the thing is like, unless the movie or the show is like 10 years old, you know what I mean? Like literally, like you should have watched it by now sort of thing. You know what I mean? This guy wants to be promoted. I think I might actually reject Amir. He's not even 60 rated, so he'd be the worst player in our team. And his potential is not even above 90. So we're going to release this guy, unfortunately. not it's, He's not for us. I'm sorry. Not for us. Can you see my content? Says Sorgodzilla. Can I see your content? Probably. It's all good. Just wanted to help you out, bro. Hope you're okay. Hey, thanks so much, Lordy. I'll check you out, actually. Hold on. Let me get your channel. Um, Let me get your channel up. I'll check you out after the stream. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Yo, have a look at Lordy chilling with 1.27k subs. Nice. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Um, just don't talk about him who pissed off Gardy, says Ashish. Uh, like the OG Star Wars spoils everyone knows, even if you haven't watched it, but anything else. Yeah, I know. If, if it's something from like 20 years ago, right? I, don't, I can't even give you an idea of what it would be. Um, I don't know. Okay, for example, like if you watch Naruto, right? Like if I spoiled something about Naruto, like at the beginning, like Sasuke and what he does. I'm not going to say it because maybe someone here hasn't watched Naruto. But like if that was the case... Um, and I, and I spoiled what Sasuke does, then it's like, what, it's like, you know, you haven't watched it by now, like, you know, if you were interested in Naruto, you probably should have started watching it by now. It's alright, uh, don't need to, bro, you seem like a nice, uh, bro, drop the sub, keep up the good work, and I hope 2021 is good for your, you and your content. Man, what a nice guy, man. What a nice guy. Thanks so much, man. I, I wish, uh, the best for you as well, you and your channel, and I hope it grows. Uh, you put players on balance or do you use development plans? Uh, Joshua PM of the UK. First of all, it's an honor to have the Prime Minister here. Second of all, I... Um, oh, Aston McDonald. What's going on, man? Uh, second of all, I hate manga readers, says Hyper JJ. Yeah, me too. Uh, second of all, I in, in the youth squad, we do. In the youth squad, we do development plans. But, um, but in, in the senior squad, we keep them on balanced. Yeah. Hey, bro, I'm back. What's going on, Amar? Can you see my channel, says Sorgodzilla? <clears throat> can I see your channel? Yes, I can I can see in the chat, if that's what you mean. I need some water. I can't believe I haven't had one swig of water this whole stream. Check Lordy's first vid on Track the Tom, says Cameron Hall. <laughs> okay. Uh, the only anime manga uh, mangas I read is the hentai comics, no cap, says Jazeel. Jazeel loves his hentai comics. See my videos. Oh, do you upload videos, Sorgodzilla? Okay, hold on. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Let's have a gaze. Sorgodzilla 07. Let's have a gaze. Uh, <sighs> Your last video was from five days ago saying last video for 2020. Duos with Nicholas. Oh, whoops. <clears throat> I accidentally clicked on a video. Yeah, I can check it out later. 2 nil down, I'll jump in. Uh, just dropped a like and sub, bro. I'll be back. Hey, no worries, Lordy1701. Uh, you can just come and go as you please, man. And uh, thanks again. I appreciate the support. Oh, what a ball. No, Edison. Uh, manga readers reading a fight scene like... <laughs> yeah, I've never been one to actually enjoy uh, enjoy mangas. For me, it's I gotta have it like visualized, like in, in animation. I don't know why. If it wasn't a super like, if it was a, maybe more of like a political one or like it wasn't super actiony. Wow, that's a beautiful goal. That's a beautiful goal. If it wasn't really like action based or fight heavy, then I'd be like, yeah, maybe I could. 
Um, but probably not. Probably not uh, with the ones with action. Lordy1701 says, have a good day, everyone. Stay safe. Much love. Hope I see you in the future, man. Hope I see you in the future. And thanks again for the raid. Much appreciated. I don't know if any of your boys actually stayed or if they're, if they're still here or not, but yeah. But see you later, man. I appreciate the raid. Thank you. Um, do we class Pokemon as an anime? Yes. Yes, we do. Then it is your favorite anime. Nice. Uh, I read the manga. <laughs> says I can change. You see a queen. Lordy says, like, Carl's Gaming. Carl's Gaming is still here from Lordy's channel. I've read one manga before just to see what happens next. See, I was really tempted to do that with Attack on Titan, but I just waited, man. Because, I don't know, back in my younger years, I definitely would have read it because I just always wanted to know what happened next. But I've noticed with TV shows and with anything, really, any kind of movies, and I'm, I'm happy to wait now. I'm, 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 I don't mind the wait. I don't have to binge. You know what I mean? Even shows that come out every week, like, I don't have to binge. There's other things to watch. Um, there's other things that I enjoy. Like, I don't have to, to binge. Or, or find out what's next. By the way, 2-2. Two, two, that's beautiful stuff. The first goal was better, but yeah. I subbed, by the way. Oh, thanks so much, Carl's Gaming. Much appreciated, man. Peter Richter says, Yo, what's going on, Peter? Good to see you. We're nearly at 50 likes, boys. Thanks so much. How long do you think you're going to stream? Uh, we'll probably do another three-ish hours. Probably two and a half, three-ish hours. Somewhere around there. Um, I'm still here from the raid. My man, Carl's Gaming. Beautiful. Uh, it was, uh, for SDS since the season was trash, and then, what's SDS? And the new season was coming in an entire year, so I couldn't wait. What the hell is SDS? The only manga I would potentially read is Hunter Hunter, uh, because I've, I'm only up to date with the anime, and I don't know if, it, it, first of all, I don't know if the manga's ever gonna continue, but I don't ever think the anime's ever gonna continue, so, I would probably read that, but then the, the manga's just, like, basically discontinued. Like, it hasn't had a new chapter in, like, what, over a year and a half now, so... Or about a year and a half, so... I probably wouldn't start reading it just because I wouldn't want to then get up to date with the manga and not know what happens. The only the only way I would do it is if the manga continues, but the anime's not going to continue, because I kind of want to know what happens with the new continent and stuff. Yo, we're absolutely melting through this, uh, through this defense right now. We're absolutely melting. It was my first anime, so I had to. Hey, bro, I'm sad. You're not going to call me your boy Pluto. Ah, oh, Pluto. Why did you change your name, though? Your boy Pluto. Would you say Naruto has a lot of fillers? Yes. And they're not good. <laughs> you have PS4 or PS5, says Ajmal. This is on PC. I don't have neither a PS4 nor a PS5. Uh, anyone else have to do schoolwork at home? I love tier 4, says Keaton. Uh, no, I don't, I don't have that. What's a raid, says Jamie Robinson. Okay, so basically, like, when somebody ends the stream... They go to a channel and, and they take all their viewers with them and, and they raid. Like, that's what that's what it's called. They raid. Do you know Chani Sports? Yeah, I've known Chani Sports for a long time. I knew him... I knew of him since he had, like, 30, 40k subs. So, yeah, Jamie, for example, if I was to end this stream now and we saw, like, Flick was raiding, we could go raid Flickify's channel together. Like, we'd all go to the chat chat and we'll, sp like, spam Guardy raid, even though he's not live right now. And yeah, that's the idea of a raid is it's, I think, to share viewers and stuff like that. We might go raid someone one day. I don't know. Maybe if you guys have like a career mode content creator that you see that is live when I'm ending the stream, maybe let me know and we'll go raid them. But it's just not something I remember to do, to be honest with you. <laughs> also, what about the comeback here against City? How about the comeback? Jao Cancelo. Oh, good defending by Backer. Fantastic defending. And off we go on our bike. Jaden Bentley's on the left wing. What? Why is Bentley on the left wing? Adiemi. Tries playing it through to Thornton. Thornton going to get past Yedi with absolute blistering pace, but a great block by Yedi. Mason Green will go. B Ford is live on Facebook. We're definitely not raiding B Ford. Oh, no. No, Guardi legit bullshitted and talked through his comeback. I actually have not even paid attention while playing the game. And I've noticed, you know what? Sometimes I notice that that's actually... I play my best when I'm not paying attention. Have you guys ever played that? Like, played like that? You, you, you play your best when you're not paying attention. So, I don't know. Like, you play your best when you're watching a video and you're barely concentrating on the game. You're almost in like an autopilot kind of mode. You guys ever get that? You guys ever get that? Like... He has a two gook career mode of just youth academy players. So someone named himself one of the players he signed. Then I did for the player. Wait, what? 
Uh, I think Death Note is the best anime if we talk about suspense and the two main characters outsmarting each other. I still have to watch Death Note. I've, I've never watched it. I still have to watch it. It's definitely on the list, man. It's definitely on the list. There's just a lot of things that I have to get through. Black Clover came out of nowhere. It was just suggested by Hyper JJ, and I started watching it. I love it now. I really like Black Clover now. Asta, I want to see Asta. Like you got, kind of got to get used to these like screaming and stuff. But once you get past that, like it's actually really good. Bang! Oh wowie! Thornton drives a wide. I play FIFA during your streams, and I play better, says Hyper JJ. Death Note is my number two. B40 is only good with player career, but I hated how he quarreled and made a big fuss with the guy who did the same thing with GTA. Wait, what? B40 is really quick to accuse other people of stealing his content without giving him the benefit of the doubt. But then when he gets called out for stealing other people's ideas, he just says it's a coincidence. He's the biggest hypocrite on the platform. Bar none. I cannot think of a bigger hypocrite on the platform. He steals Beat Monus' video ideas, and then he claims it's a coincidence. But when somebody accidentally makes the same content as him, he'll claim that they're stealing it, and doesn't even give him the benefit of the doubt. Just call calls him out publicly on his Twitter. Oh, no! Basically, he named himself Van Vliet, which is a player he promoted. And I did the same, says Peter Richter. Okay, cool. Um, do you like the ultimate team? No. Asta be like, I'm going to be the Wizard King every three fucking seconds. Yeah, legit. <laughs> it's kind of... You know what? He's he's like a meme, but it's... Yeah, it's in a good way. It's a meme. I like Asta. I would say my favorite character... I'm not sure if it is Asta, to be honest. I'm not sure who my favorite character would be so far. It's not Yuno. I still need to grow... Yuno needs to grow on me a little bit. Like, I don't mind him, but he, I don't like him that much. My favorite character is probably like... Hmm. I actually don't know. I've not even considered that. I don't know who my favorite character would be. Can I tell you a joke, Artie? Go for it, Keaton. B40 is an effing idiot, says Jamie. <laughs> and Jamie... The other Jamie says B B40 is overrated. Two Jamies going at it. I, my favorite character is Luck. Yeah, Luck is pretty funny. I don't know. I, I'm not huge on Luck. I'm trying to just think. I don't know who my favorite character would be right now. Oh, wow. Good play, but good block by Backer right at the end. Great defending right at the end. Last ditch tackle. He's also sick at fighting. Yeah, he is. He's actually a beast. My favorite character at the moment is probably... Who is, um, who is Yuno's superior? I forgot his name. Who's... It's Yuno with, um... With, uh, Mimosa, and who's, who's the other one? B4 Lancer's good content, NGL. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not talking shit about his content. I, I would, I, I, I wouldn't talk shit about his content. I think he makes fine content. Um, I think he makes fine content. I'm not, I'm not talking, to, I'm not talking about him as a, uh, as a content creator. I'm talking about him as a person, and that's two different things. And you have to disconnect one from the other. Yo, we're winning this game on 28% possession. Kira, who's Kira? You can't raid Goldbridge. He has too many people trying to get attention. Yeah, I know. Yeah, if we raided a big channel, you would he wouldn't even notice, notice us. Even if it's like 20 of us or 30 of us, he wouldn't notice us. We could try. Where did you meet B-Ford? Um, I met him through... Okay, so when he first started his channel, a lot of us picked up that he had a new channel. Like, a lot of us noticed it because he was getting insane views for his subscriber count. Like, B-Ford grew to 100k within... I would say his first year on YouTube, I think. It would have been his first year, year and a half on YouTube. B4 had 100k subs. Like, he exploded. And um, there was a couple of the... I'm not going to name names. A couple of us... A couple of the guys were, were jealous, to be honest with you. We, we didn't realize how... We didn't know what he was doing with the algorithm that was garnering so much success. Um, so, there was a few people in, in the group. I'm not going to name names. But there were a couple of people that were jealous of his success. Um, which is natural because when you're grinding for years and, and you haven't got the the success that some kid does that comes in his first year, that's just natural. You're gonna be you're gonna be a little bit jealous, or at least you're gonna wonder what you're doing wrong. Um, oh, what a goal! Good finish by Thornton. Let's go celebrate with the fans. Hey, Sen, what's going on, my man? Um, let's go celebrate with the fans. So yeah, naturally people were jealous, but I knew about B-Ford since he had, I don't even know, maybe 1,000 subs. I've known of him since a very long time, and we started communicating with him and talking with him 
probably a month into him having his channel. Like, we had a group chat back in the day on Skype uh, that he was involved in. So, hey, Vladimir says, hi, Garfi. What's going on, man? It's me, Garfi. 30 plus people watching, 50 plus likes on the stream. What's going on, guys? So, yeah, we, we, started, we started talking to B Ford. He was in the chat from, I don't know. He probably had one, two, three, four, somewhere around there. Somewhere between one and 10,000 subs, we started talking to him. So, Kira in Japan means the dead light. Garfi, so, uh, so, can someone sum up what I've missed today? I'm sure someone can sum it up, yeah, in like dot point form. Hi, Garfi. Hi, Keaton. It's either Grady or Garfi or Garfield or... <laughs> it's always one of those things. Grady is the one I get the most. I'm surprised nobody's called me Grady in a long time. I don't like him because his general football knowledge is pretty bad, yet he's one of the most famous American FIFA YouTubers. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, your knowledge of football has nothing to do with uh, your success on YouTube and, and your FIFA content creating. Unfortunately, what can I say? I think B4's roleplay series is kind of cringe. I mean, man, you know, at the end of the day, he, he claims that people steal his ideas, but that was AA9 skills' thing. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, everything on YouTube is just a recycled version of something else. You know what I mean? Like... You, copying ideas, and this is not just YouTube. This is in any... Oh, man, that should have been five. This is in any art. This is in music. This is in film. This is everywhere, guys. You will always get ideas from someone else. Always. And that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. Very few people are original. What you got to do is take someone else's idea, put your own spit on it, and make it yours. You don't just directly cop that, copy that idea. You make it yours. So in a way, I think B Ford has made the role-playing thing his. I think he's I don't know if he's actually changed anything compared to A9 skills. But um But at least he he's made it his own. You know what I mean? Like Jared was uh, his was pretty um original. I mean, people had done something like rebuilds before, but no one had ever branded them as rebuilds and started smashing out team after team after team. You know what I mean? Because back in those days, episodic content was 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 what everybody did. It was Kareem Mode Episode 1, Kareem Mode Episode 2, Kareem Mode Episode 3. Like what MGH does and stuff like that. That was the norm. Nobody ever thought to themselves, let me do a whole ass video series, right? Where it's just one uh, season... Uh, sorry, where it's just one career mode in a whole episode, in one video. Nobody ever thought to really do that because we thought, nah, people are not going to want to see that. People are not going to see long form content. People like short content. And Jared just went for it. And Oh, what a tackle by Smalling! And um, Jared went for it, and he was successful. Good on him. Jared's original. Niran, with his, with his football talk content. That's not original. People have been doing that for ages, talking about football. But he made it his own. He put his own spin onto it. And now, Niran is one of the most watched uh, FIFA slash YouTube channels in the world. So it's like, you got to put your own spin on it. So when, when people claim about stealing ideas, that's perfectly fine. It's whether or not you can put your own spin on it or not. I don't know how I got into that tangent, by the way. Before runs out of ideas when he does his career mode, he's like, my girlfriend dumped me or I crashed my supercar. Yeah, he does like to clickbait the uh, the girlfriend and the death, doesn't he? I remember that. Hey, doing, Gardy? What's going on, Mauro? I feel like I've missed some people as well. Sen is in the chat. Dope Gaming is in the chat. Um, no need to apologize that you're late, guys. Vladimir's in the chat. What's going on? I think rebuilds are really good. I think so, too. I think rebuilds are one of the best things that happened to the career mode scene, to be honest with you, because it kind of fought against the episodic sort of formula where you go career mode episode one, two three, four, and you're slowly losing viewership over the series, right? Uh, Ashish asks if I've worked with S2G. No, I've never had the, the privilege of working with S2G, uh, S2G no. Near in his class, near in his class, yes. Um, Gadi, is your favorite Black Clover character the guy with steel magic or glasses? The guy with uh, glasses, what's his name? Feist, he's, not my, he's probably not my favorite character, but I like him. I don't know who, I don't think I have a favorite character at the moment. I'm still working it out. More AA9 skills is an idiot. Hello, what's going on, Faisal? Uh, we got 50 plus likes on the stream as well, so thanks so much for the support. I used to love Visa, but he came a bit annoying. Yeah, I've never liked Visa. I've never, there's something about Visa I've never liked. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but I've actually never liked him. All right, we're going to eat the Kiwi, boys. It's Kiwi time. It's an hour and a half in, and we're finally eating our Kiwi. He's pretty irrelevant nowadays. I mean, he does seem like that kind of a character. BCHD is just a Jared HD ripoff, really? Maybe raid FNG or Jared HD. I don't even think they stream on, on, on YouTube. 
I think Niren's on Twitch and Jared's on Facebook. Jared has signed a contract with Facebook. Faisal says, um, sorry I haven't been on the streams. A lot of my sleep is horrendous. Hey, Faisal, man, no need to apologize, guys. Seriously, no need to apologize. All right, Boris Sean SC, he's been sold. He's, uh, he's released close with Matt. So we're going to have another spot in the senior squad. We're still in ninth. <clears throat> How? We've been losing games after get. Oh, no, wait, wait. That month was actually pretty good. We're actually pick picking out points. Um, Keaton dropping those Kiwis in the chat. Lingard needs to go to Sheffield United in real life. Should we raid Mundo Sporto? I don't know who that is. Guardi, I've not seen much people do Icon series, man. That Jamie, are you for real, dude? Wait, what? Oh, we never brought in Mikos? Okay. I thought it might have been Leclerc. I was going to get scared for a second. Jamie, you need to stop talking about the icons, man. Seriously. Please stop. Every single, like, every single day, it's about the icons, man. Stop. By the way, good night, boys. Hope Bradford aren't relegated when I come to the stream tomorrow. Jan Martin, I promise we're not going to be relegated. With six games left in the season for us, we're not getting relegated. Um, You know, it didn't notify me that you were streaming. Hey, what's going on, official DTT Chrome? Really didn't notify you. But you, you guys know when I'm streaming, right? You don't need the notifications. You know when I stream. Am I right? Uh, what do you think about Man United laying a bid on Grealish? Did they actually? Guardi, do you think Grealish would end up at Man United in real life? Maybe. Lamau, we're losing games. Actually, no. This month has been pretty good. I don't know. I remember we were losing games on games, man. I don't know. That just seems to be a memory. Also, we're bringing Leclerc onto the bench. The newest wonder kid. Just sim the rest of the season. We can't get Europa and we can't get relegated. Just Callum the sim. Um, yeah, we may as well do that, Jazil. You, you might be right about that. Or maybe I'll quick sim. But I don't know. I like... Um, I don't know. I want to get some results on the board as well. I don't want to just sacrifice all these games. You know what I mean? I forgot. <laughs> That's all right, official DTT Graham. You haven't missed out on that much. God, are you still annoyed at me for mentioning the icons? Yeah. <laughs> Not annoyed, man, but just... I, I, I understand that you've suggested that before. I understand that you suggested it. I know that's what you want. I've told you I'm doing it. I told you I'm doing it. So just calm down. Uh, I, have an, I have a video idea. Where would your team finish if they had uh, one former player? It's like, where would Arsenal finish if they had Henri? Something like that. Sounds like a HITC uh, sport video. Do the Arsenal Invincibles cream mode after this game, please, to Sogodzilla. No, Sogodzilla, I don't switch the saves in the middle of the stream. Sorry. Arsenal will either be tomorrow or Saturday. I don't just I don't just switch the, the, the save in the middle of the stream. Sorry. Zlatan would kill Goku. I'd say Burkamp, not Henri. Really? You think Arsenal right now need Burkamp more than they, they need Henri? I actually think they, I think they need Vieira more than they need anybody, but yeah. Or like um, Tony Adams or something. I don't know. Irish guy goat. Sam Marriage. Who's Irish guy goat? We made Grealish. Come on, you. Come on, you. What's the P stand for? Either that or a midfielder. Yeah, Vieira. Yeah. Arsenal tomorrow, I say, Gardy for a change. Yeah, definitely tomorrow. Some, tomorrow's either Arsenal or the realism mod one or the other Zlatan will end the world says Keaton Brickles less Saturdays be for the challenges like the Arsenal Invincibles challenge uh Jazeel I'm not going to dedicate a specific day to it because I'm kind of tied down to it I I just stream what I want to stream guys to be honest with you I don't I don't like having a set schedule of uh, this is on this day this is on this day like we might have one day in the future dedicated to like a variety stream where we play something else other than that um, I'm just going to stream what I, I, I stream. I mean, we, if we have two series going at the same time, we'll do alternating days. But other than that, we're just going to stream what, what I want to stream, to be honest. Guys, Gadi is in charge, says Sam Marriage. Exactly. This is my channel, and I do what I want. All right? P means pies. Come on, you pies. Ah, like Maggie's, I see. Um, all bowed down to Gadi, says Sam Marriage. No, no need to bow down. 
No, no, I like hearing what you guys want to want to watch. Don't get me wrong. I like hearing what you guys want to watch, but there's some things that I will agree with and some things that I will not agree with. My Fitbit, the tip touch screen is is not working anymore. These things are such pieces of shit to be honest with you guys. If you ever want to if you ever want a Fitbit, don't get one. The touch screen just doesn't want to work anymore. How do I turn this thing off and on? Is there even a way to do that or do I just let it run out of battery? Because uh, he came on loan to Notts County, and since then, uh, he was in and around the Villa first team. Maybe Beckham on the right? No, I think United need Roy Ke uh You think Vidic or Rio? No, I was going to say Keane. I was going to say Keane. Inter just offered me 9 Golan and 101 mil for Delit. Do I accept it? That's quite a lot of money. It depends on how good Delit is and if you're willing to sell, your sell Delit, to be honest with you. Um, let's go for, uh, is it just me or is it just me that thinks that Manchester is black? For Salford. Oh, I see. Wait, what? Have you tried turning it off and on? IT crowd. Uh, honestly, I have no idea how to turn it off and on. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, so it's not the touch screen. What? It's not the touch screen. Touch screen works, but the main menu where you can go from steps to zone minutes to all those different things, that's not working. DND &D, sleep. Okay, if I go sleep, screen wake. Let's go sleep. What does that do? Oh no, that's just sleep mode, I see. Screen wake. No. I can I can press and hold. And the touchscreen works, but then, like, on the main menu, the touchscreen doesn't work. Oh, no, we're two one down. No, oh, throwing away points to try a restart, says Alex Rayner. I have no idea. I have to look it up how to restart my Fitbit. Okay, it's 3-1. Fuck it. I don't know how to restart a Fitbit, to be honest with you. Can you guys let me know? I'm really stupid when it comes to tech. I'm a boomer, guys. Come on, I'm 24 years old. I don't know how tech works. Fulham just scored. Yeah, you're right. Fulham did just score. We lost 3-1 as well. Spurs in the Carabao Cup final, says um, Ashish. Well, we're going to join them. It's going to be United versus Spurs final. Are we just watching Gardy fuck with his Fitbit, says Sam Marriage? Yes. That is literally what you guys are watching right now. Oh, no. Oh, I thought I gave him a negative one. <clears throat> What's Gardy talking about? Chat. What's a Fitbit, says Sen. Sorry, if you don't know what a Fitbit is, I'm sorry. GGMU. Gardy, do you think you're every... Every... Wait, what? You're every going to use the silver play button one day? Oh, am I get to, gonna get it to 100k? Do you think you're ever going to get the silver? Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll get 100 100k subs one day. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I think I will. Like a smartwatch. It's like a, it's something that tracks your steps and your heart rate and things like that. Yeah. It's a poor man's Apple Watch. Well, I don't use an Apple phone, so there's no point in getting an Apple Watch. If I had an if I had an iPhone, I'd get the Apple Watch. If I had an iPhone, I'd get an Apple everything. My everything I have would be Apple. Canada with the international management. No, we don't want that. Player chat. Jackson Hunter. We'll get to it soon enough, Jackson. Oh, wait. Does he want a new contract? Let's go and see who needs a new contract or who wants a new contract. Who will win the league this year, says Alex Reyna? It'll be Liverpool, I think, still. I still think it's Liverpool. Is anybody not... Oh, okay. Is anybody not happy with their contract, though? Yeah, there's a few people not happy with their contract. Let's go through and sort it out. So, McLeod wants a new contract. He's our starting goalkeeper, 76 rated. Of course, we're going to give him a new contract. He's on 2K at the moment. Excuse me. Why is my thing glitched? I couldn't... Um, Flick has disappeared again. For some reason, I couldn't click A. Like, I couldn't get into this. All right, contract negotiate. Because I want to see what he's on. He's on 2K at the moment. So let's see what, he, what we can give him. Guardy, should I play Pokemon Gold or Silver? You should play Heart Gold. Or Heart... Or Soul Silver, sorry. Not Heart Silver. Heart Gold or Soul Silver, they're the best. Uh, important first name player, which he is. Or should I delegate these? Let's give him a five year extension on his four year contract. No? Okay, no extension. <laughs> uh, Lugia is better. Got, uh, Pokemon Silver. I can't play Gen 4. Why? Alright, disregard the release clause. He wants 5.6k. Should I be delegating these contracts?
Should I be delegating these contracts? Probably. He's still not happy with his contract? What a dickhead. He just signed it. Why'd you sign it if you didn't like it? Delegate renewal? But I gotta see what they're on. No, you know what? I don't want to... Uh, actually, no, let's delegate the renewal. 6k. Okay, done. Who else is not happy with their contract? Donahue, what do you want? You can get 11k if you want. He wants 17. Done. Why is he... Oh, no, he's happy with his contract now. All right. Paul Farrell, you probably don't deserve a new contract. You can have 6k. Eight? Okay, you're done. He's still not happy with his contract. Why'd you sign it then? Joining Derby County when the transfer window opens. That's on loan. Billy Hammond, you want a new contract? You can not have a new contract, apparently. Uh, Duarte De Silva. You can have 22k. He's, okay, he's gone up to, like, neutral. Leonidas, the captain. You can have 37k. Oh, he's pretty happy with that. Okay. Uh, Sergio Lopez. This is Premier League money we're throwing around now. 27k. Lamptey. You can have 32k. Bang, look at this. We're getting everybody happy with the contracts. Gabriel Larauri, you can have 7k. Bang, he's content. Boris, you're joining Admiral Vaca, so I can't give you a contract right now. Y Jabu Joma, who I've not used once, I don't think. You can have... Oh, no! Oh, okay, he, he said no. So Heath Chong, you can have... 27k. Dylan Wallace, you can have 8k. Woo, look at that. All right, uh, Lorenzo Leroy, how dare you wear the number eight? Get that off you. Get that off your skin right now, sir. You don't deserve to wear such a number. Guardi, I don't have a DS emulator since I play on Chromebook, so I can't download it, so I can't play Gen 4 and Gen 5 games. Okay, that sucks. Well, yeah, either way, I don't know. Gold and silver are both good. I don't know what the um, exclusives are on each, to be honest with you. I don't remember. So you're going to have to... Uh, you're going to have to let me know what the exclusives are. Otherwise, I don't remember. Is, is, is Growlithe exclusive to one of them? Go with the one where Growlithe is exclusive. Actually, isn't Hounder and Hound Doom? Isn't that exclusive to one of them or no? Or are they always in the game? I'm playing play Silver, says Keaton. Keaton says Silver. What have I missed? Hey, what's going on, Michael? Good to see you, my man. My name is Dylan, says official DTT Chrome. I don't know. I like your name. I like DTT Chrome more than Dylan, to be honest with you. What start are you choosing? Yeah, that's a good question. What start are you choosing? Let's go, Bentley. You probably don't deserve a new contract, to be honest with you, but we'll give you 40k. Um, Venez, you just literally became a senior squad player, but you can have 15k. He's still unhappy with his contract. What a dickhead. Rafael Agudelo. You can have 1.7. He's pretty happy with that. Escobar. He's joining Vitoria Guimeras. Or Guimeras. Uh, how come? I don't know. I like the name official DTT Chrome. What's wrong with that? I like it. I mean, if you really want, I can call you Dylan if, if you really want me to. David Vailant, he can have 7.5k. I don't know how you can sign a contract and you're still unhappy with the contract. How is that possible? Anyway, Fontoya Marquez, he can have... He's actually proved himself a lot. He deserves a pay rise. Jackson Hunter, this was the guy that originally sparked the whole thing. We'll give him 5.5. I don't understand. How do you sign a contract and you're still unhappy with the contract? And then our man, Ellis Thornton, you can have 60k a week, my friend. Keep him happy. You know what I mean? Uh, the team that I planned uh, currently is Typhlosion, Togetic, Heracross, the Shiny Gyarados, Dragonite, and I don't know the last one. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I see. Fire, Flying, Bug, Fighting, Water, Dragon. Yeah, I don't know what you need, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't think you need any Grass. I don't think you need any Electric. Okay, we're going to calendar sim a week at a time here now. It's hard to tell. Do you know Pepe? Yeah, I know Pepe. That's a good team, says Keaton. Spurs beat the real-life Brentford. Sorry, says Michael Manzola. That's fine. I don't really care. Why would I care about Brentford? All right, monthly scouting report and a violent loan offer. Okay, I like that. Loan to buy. We're going to do that to just loan as well. Guardy, look at Buendia. Thornton is a beast. Get Umbreon. Buendia? Okay, we'll look at Buendia, sure. Gabriel Pedersons. Let's bring him in. Um, Brahim, no. And Ferhat, no. And then the last one from Stipe Babich. Paul, oh my god, I can't say that name. Uh, Lucas, I can't say that name. 1.6 million already, okay. That's interesting. Look at these names, man. Okay, Marek Fiala, that's actually kind of easy. There we go. 
What major country had the worst international tournament for the past 20 years, says Michael Mazzola? I got no idea. I got no idea. Let's get back to work, says, uh, let's, says me to Jackson Hunter. All right, let's take a look at uh, Buendia. Somebody wants to see Buendia. Is Rhyperia in Johto? No. Rhyperia got introduced in Sinnoh. In uh, Diamond and Pearl. Buendia is at Roma. He's 83 rated. 27 years of age. Can't pronounce names from uh, coming from Garfield, says Sam Marriage. How, uh, Gardy, how is Lecoq doing? Um, Lecoq is good, doing well. He's growing. Slowly. Um, <laughs> no, where is he, to be honest? Where is Lecoq? There he is. 72 rated Lecoq. He's alright. You know, his biggest problem is he just doesn't have pace. He just doesn't have pace. That's his biggest problem right now. I mean, 78 is not terrible, but not great. Um, it's not great. Verhag as well. This goalkeeper looks interesting. I think he's from Belgium. And Arezzo, obviously, we signed. How about Brahim Diaz? Gadi, train him. Train who? <sighs> train who? Gadi, I have got to go see you. Hey, see you later, Keaton. Thanks for, so much for dropping by, man. Much appreciated. You know what we do have to do? Hey, has Brent been in the chat today at all? I haven't seen Brent at all, I don't think. We got to go through and do all these guys that are balanced. We got to do... We got to do the... Uh, we're going to give him just normal goalkeeper. We got to go make every, every... Make sure everybody's got a development plan. Ready to go on them. Four weeks, four weeks, four weeks, three weeks. This guy looks pretty good. This guy looks pretty good, man. Not going to lie. Um, let's do... You know what? Let's turn him into a winger, shall we? Because then we can increase both pace at the same time. Should we do that? It'll only take two weeks. Yes? Are, are we doing yes? We want to turn into a winger? Because I think the development for the winger position, you can do both pace at the same time. But in, in the midfield position, left mid instead of left wing, you can only do... You can only do one. So I'm going to turn him into a winger and then train both his pace stats at the same time. Um, Pedersen's is balanced. Let's go to P Pedersen and see what he's got. He's got pace and dribbling, so he's a cam. That makes a lot of sense, I think. Five weeks for Dynamo, so we'll give him that. Marek Fiala is a midfielder with only pace and dribbling. Okay, so we're going to try and maybe increase something else. We'll do inverted, probably, yeah. Increase his shooting or something like that. Uh, and then Vilis Lukovs. He is a pace merchant. He is literally a pace merchant. I'm going to turn him into a winger as well, I think. Hey, actually, what what support midfielder does both? Okay, let's turn him into a support midfielder. Or should we turn him into a winger as well? We're going to turn him into a winger as well. Let's do that. Get Jack Harrison. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hey, TJ Ryan's in the chat. going, TJ. Good to see you again, dude. I wanted to put a Tyranitar to make my team unbeatable, but you can only find him on Mount Silver. That's so frustrating. You know what's even more frustrating? You can't find um, you can't find Hounder and Hound Doom until you finish the the um Johto side of things. You don't get Hounder and Hound Doom until you beat the Elite Four. I think that's even worse. Be honest, that's even worse. All right, let's sim the next week and see what happens. So, 2-1 loss to Southampton, and... Oh, we didn't get the result against Wolves. That's okay. Hold on. Train Lecoq to bring his pace up. Yeah, we could do that, to be fair. We could... I should just do that. I complain about his pace, but I could actually fix it if I wanted to. Um, There he is. Let's go to his development plan, and let's increase his pace. And so that we could do that by going with... Wait, what? I thought the wingers had an option where you could do both. Okay, let's just increase his acceler. Oh, actually, let's increase his sprint speed for now. And we'll also get his shooting stats up while we're here. Well, actually, no, let's get his dribbling stats up as well. Wide winger. Um, What's everybody saying? Scout Brahim Diaz. Get Jack Harrison. A pace merchant. That's not very pacey. Yeah, I know. Train Lecoq to bring up his pace. What's up, DTC Chrome? Uh, Kyle says, no, it's not. It's so good. Sign Messi. Wait, what's what are you talking about, Kyle? Guess who's back? Back again, says Team Games. Hey, doing sand. Guardi, you don't understand. You don't get Tyranitar till after all of Johto and all of Kanto. No. You can go to Mount Silver after Johto, can't you? I swear you can go after Johto. Let 
Maybe I'm wrong. Is it? It's Professor Oak. Is it Professor Oak that opens it up for you? I think it's Professor Oak opens it up for you after you beat Johto. No, am I wrong? Like you can go to the grassy area of Johto in that outside the 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 outside of the cave. Am I wrong? I might be wrong. You might be right, Hyper Judge. I trust you. Carl, this is uh, Bradford, not a big club bait. No, no, Carl's right. We're going to sign Messi. Hold on, hold on. No, no, Carl's right. We should sign Messi. Why not? Ah, he lets you go in after you beat the Kanto gym leaders. Are you sure? Is that really the only place you can find a, 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 a Lavatar? Really? That sucks. Are you sure that you can't... You know where the dragon gym is on the way down? Are you sure you can't find him in those caves? At all? I swear to God you can get him earlier than that. Hold on. No, no. Kyle is right. We're signing Messi. Kyle is absolutely right. You guys have no... Amb He's a free agent? Has he been a free agent this whole season? That was a meme, by the way. I was going to go and offer like one pound for Messi, but... Has he been a... <laughs> Has he been a free agent this whole time? I, I don't even think we have 67 to 100k, to be honest with you. I was going to meme. I was just literally going to offer one pound for Messi. Look, we could bring him in, but we're not going to, guys. Bring him to the Ford? No, we're not going to, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If we bring him in, I'm only doing it to trade him away to another team because he, he... I don't know why he's on the free agency, but we're not bringing him in, guys. I'm sorry. Nah, I'm not going to do it. How is Messi a free agent? I don't know. I've never seen that. What I'd give to see Messi, Itachi, Brusa uh, scolding Messi? No, nah, we're not bringing him, him in. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to burst all your bubbles, but we're not bringing Messi to Bradford. I'm sorry. I wonder where he'll end up, though. I'm just going to have him there just to see where he ends up. That was funny. I mean, I did not expect that. I was going to go off a one position for... Uh, I was going to go off a one pound for Messi. And be like, yeah, we'll sign Messi. We'll sign him. And then offer one pound. But yeah, that's... Uh, we can't get him to Ivy Lane, <sighs> says official DTT Chrome. I've got some uh, changing positions here in the youth squad. Including Nem Nem Nemechek, who's now left winger. And he goes up a rating, actually. Nice. And then Lukovs as well, who's 47 rated. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I already feel like getting rid of this bloke. All right, Eliadis has to go as well. He's only 84 potential. You got to go. Sorry. And I think Lascaris as well. 85 potential and you're only 50 something rated. I'm sorry. There's no room for you. My apologies. This left back looks like he's doing well. Sim Simfiwe Goniwe. I like the name as well. You got good pace. You got good pace. Good, good physical as well. No? Yeah, just good physicals in general. I feel like he's going to retire this season, really. Um, okay, I've planned my team. Typhlosion, Ampharos, uh, Togetic, Shiny Gyarados, Heracross, and Dragonite. I never like using that Shiny Gyarados. I don't know. It's like too big of a gift. It's too big of a gift. I don't know. I don't like it. Shortlist Ansu Fati? No. I don't understand why a Barca Youth Academy player who now gets game time for Barcelona, would leave Barcelona to go play for Bradford City. Why does that make any sense? I have no idea. We're going to change the kits. We're going to make sure West Brom's playing something that doesn't clash with our kit, which is probably this. Just in case. Actually, I'm quick simming these, aren't I? Why do I even care? Let's quick sim it and see what happens. She should be a W, right? Yeah. Fontoya Marquez with a win. With a goal. The winner. I, I've never used it before. I've always had a water type by then. Yeah, I always used to get... Uh, I don't know who I used to get. Actually, the water types are not that clear cut in... In gold and uh, silver. I think I used to get like a lantern. From memory. Not always. I always try using different Pokemon, but yeah. I've, I have to go. No worries, Soul Godzilla. All good. I hope I see you again. Hope Maybe when we're doing Arsenal, you'll come back. You feel like he's going to retire this season, Sen? Yeah, maybe. Whoa, look at Bamford. He's shining in the dark. He's glowing in the dark. Yeah, maybe we... Uh, maybe he is retiring Messi. We'll keep an eye on that. If we, I'll sign Messi's regen. I've got no problem signing Messi's regen. I'm not going to sign Messi, though. Last game of the season is United at home. Guardi, should I go to sleep? Uh, Sam Marriage, you should do whatever you need to do. 
Sign me, says Tim Games. Okay, done. I'll sign you up, Tim. Once you're in the game, I'm going to sign you up for sure. WTF is uh, um is after happening to FIFA? Wait, what? The screen is dark. You sign Messi's regen a bit too often, says Sen. I've done it once, I think, Sen. I've done it once. Look, it depends. I might not sign him. I may not sign him. Is anybody playing their last game for us? Hey, Brewster's back. <gasps> let's give him a game. No. Okay, let's put him on the bench. We'll sub him on. Yay, Brewster's back. Has he lost rating? No. That's okay. He's a bench player anyway. No. I want to play Leclerc in this game with uh, Lingard. And who else, man? Let's give some youth players a run, man. Let's give some youth players a game. Let's give Verhaga a game. Ver Ver Haig, Verhaga a game. Let's give... Who else got promoted recently? Are these guys any good? Escobar is actually not that bad, to be honest with you. 68 rating is not that bad. Venez will put on the bench. Let's play Arezzo as well. Uh, actually, you know what? With Brewster coming back, I'm not going to play Arezzo, unfortunately. Lecoq. We'll play Lecoq ahead of uh, Nelson. Sergio Lopez can get a game. Two or three hours left. Um, Yeah, just about two hours left, I'd say. Somewhere around there. Gabriel Larauri can come on the bench. Once too many. I've beaten Fire Red and Leaf Green in Gen 1 in, in general over 10 times. Yeah, Hyper JJ, I, I've beaten it more than that. I cannot even put a number on how many times I've played uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green. I'm actually thinking when I do a variety stream, it'll be a Fire Red Leaf Green. Uh, maybe like a randomizer or something like that. Like a randomizer Nuzlocke or something like that. Um, I've played that through that game so many times. I know how to go through Rock Tunnel with, with no flash. I almost know it off by heart. Although I haven't played the game in ages, so maybe I'm, I'm a little bit rusty. I used to be able to go through it off by heart. I don't know what's going on here. What else do I want to do? Donahue can play, I guess, for backer on the left-back position. Um, Farrell, I don't know. I'm getting over Farrell. He's good. Don't get me wrong. He's good, but he's just not growing. because I guess because he's not playing, he's not growing. But we'll play him, whatever. We'll play him for Smalling today. I just want to get some other players some game time here. I mean, we're not getting relegated. We've got nothing to fight for. There's just literally nothing going on in this game. We'll put Lorenzo Leroy on the bench as well. Maybe give him a run. Um, anybody else? Anybody else that you guys want to see? Any any of these plays that you guys want to see? Uh, start Lecoq, says Tim Games. Messi being a free agent and a lot of players going to the Prem in FIFA. That's so weird. Play Chong against his former club. Not a bad shot. Uh, I'm still here, by the way. Just feel uh, to be quiet today. Jazeel, no need to uh, explain yourself, man. All as long as you're enjoying it, all good. Play Chong against his former club. That's not a bad shot. Vanessa's trash swap with Arezzo. JK. Uh, Jazeel, uh, Mess was a free agent. I'm going to leave Gardi. We're gonna go watch some Clone Wars. Hey, enjoy yourself, Sam Marriage. Jamie, I know I saw Kyle. Um, told him to buy him. Jamie, I'm still waiting on your vids. Arezzo. I've been here. I just don't comment, says Jazeel. What the hell? I logged into my gold ROM and I see a team of Tauros, Crobat, Meganium, ho o -Oh, Dragon, and Quagsire. That's a pretty good team. I remember when the chat was like, you will get relegated because of uh, your rock bottom. Yeah, after like four games, everybody said I was going to get relegated. Sucked in. I didn't get relegated. Maybe Dumich can go on the bench. But then Brewster's there. Maybe Dumich can play instead of Adeyemi. Why not? Adeyemi, you've done... Actually, Adeyemi is like... Is he fighting for a golden boot? He's way up there. Nah, we'll play Adeyemi. Not that we're going to score a bunch of goals here against United, but let's just see. Gardi, play Arezzo for Matteo. For Matteo? Woo, Dumich. Wait, you want Arezzo on for who? Matteo. You know what? Let's just get rid of the defenders. We don't want defenders. Let's bring on Dumich and Arezzo and have attacking options. Plus, Leroy can play center back, so... Let's do that. Let's bring on Arezzo. We have three strikers on the bench. You like that? Three. Um, they're playing Dylan Levitt. So that Lamella, that shows how much they care. I don't think they I don't think they've got too much riding on this game either. I think I'll, I'll check the league table. I think Liverpool may have already won it. To be honest with you. I don't know. It just seemed like Liverpool were doing the best out of everyone. Um, Gardy, how about for a variety stream? We do fire red and leaf green and do a versus and see who can go further in the game by the time the stream stream ends. Um, I probably wouldn't do that straight away, Hyper JJ, but I would do it. 
Um, I'm not sure who I would do it with though. I don't. It wouldn't necessarily be with you, Hyper JJ. I'm sorry. I would do something maybe like me and um. Maybe me and B Monus or something like that. I don't know though. How would you have both screens on at the same time? He could screen share, and I could record his screen. But I don't know how live that would be or how how easy that would be to. It's hard to do it live. I think. I think I could be wrong. Bradford is doing really good, says Jamie. Yeah, it is. Leonidas is going to get injured, isn't he? No, nah, please. He's not going to get injured. Stop that. Why are you swimming? Uh, I don't know. I just want to swim and make my substitutions when I want. Lecoq, Lecoq and Leclerc in this game, by the way. Varches United, rip in the chat. <sighs> I mean, Hyper JJ, if I did... Uh, if I did... I mean, I could, I could do it with you, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you could just play along. When I'm doing my own one. I don't know if I want to do a versus straight off the straight off the bat, you know what I mean? Leonidas and the 300 Bradfordians. <laughs> this is Bradford! That works, doesn't it? Building those muscles by swimming so much, says Mateo. Exactly, it's all about the swim. It's all about the swim. What is a good uh, YTSL creamer, says Alexander Klein? Is that Youth Squad? Uh, I don't know. Go with teams that like uh, are known to have a good youth team, like Ajax. That's what I might. If I do a youth squad thing, I'm doing it with Ajax. To be honest with you. Uh, why are we using VAR in names? Says Jamie. Guardi, I was listening to you on my AirPods. They died. Um, then you said something, and the volume was max. So my dad came in to say I need to have a shower. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, man. Varford City. Tim, WTF, you shower as punishment, says Jazeel. <laughs> Maybe he showers before he sleeps. Hey, Emperor Jiggles, what's going on, man? Also, we're 2-0 up here. We're dominating. Leonidas and Thorturnius versus Xerxes. Yes. Who is that? Who is Xerxes? <laughs> I don't know who Thor Thorntonius? What kind of god was Thorntonius anyway? Xerxes, um from memory? He was like he was a leader, wasn't he? I'm sure, I'm sure, um, I'm almost positive that Sen knows, like, his whole breakdown. But I believe he was a, a leader of some sort. I don't know who he's the leader of, though. Uh, he was king of Persia? Okay, there you go. He was the king of a Persian empire. There you go. I'm surprised I made it this far into the stream without leaving, says Hyper JJ. He's that Persian guy. Ah, that Persian guy, yeah. Boys, we're nearly at 60 likes. We're nearly at 60 likes. You're absolutely dominating. We're also going to make some substitutions. We'll make some substitutions. JJ, because Gardi talked about anime, I, it kept you entertained. <laughs> yeah, Jazeel, that's probably right. Hey, wait, we can't bring him in? Get the hell out of here, man. I want to bring Brewster on. All right, we're going to make a double striker substitution. We're going to bring on Dumich and Arezzo. Why do they let me put him on there if he's injured? And then uh, I give... I, don't, I guess we'll give one of these guys a shit. I give... We'll give Leroy a game, man. Venez and Laraudi have played games. Leroy has not played a game before for us. So let's bring on Leroy. Leroy Jenkins. That Persian guy, literally the king. Yeah, literally the king. Yeah, I knew he was a leader. Penalty for Rashford. He's going to miss. Told you. Me when Guardi's talking about Bradford, says Hyper JJ. Let's go. You know Adiemi plays for Michelin, that Danish team that beat Man United once? I did not know that. I thought he played for a German club. Varchester United, Manchester Varnited. I like Varchester United more than Manchester Varnited. 
Hello there. What's going on, Football Fan 23? Sounding like Obi Wan Kenobi. Hello there. Um, I did a song. Go up, says official DTT Chrome. You did a song. Oh, the comeback of dreams by Manchester United. I don't know. Maybe they're fighting for something in the league as well. Maybe this is an important um. Vardrid or UEFA loner? Vardrid all day, says Michael Matsola. Uh, misses my epic Leroy Jenkins. I didn't even know you knew what that meme was, man. That's too old for you guys. That meme came out before you guys were even born. Two two. I take a draw against United. To be honest, on the last day of the uh, of the season, that basically encapsulates our um our season. Really, like we were a competitive Premier League side. Look at that tenth. We were tenth, boys. Dumich loan offer. Ooh, for G from Genoa. I reckon he'll get some game time at Genoa. You know, I think that's a good idea. We'll loan him out to Genoa. I think that's going to be very good for him. Plus, with uh, Brewster coming back, and we've got this new uh, striker. What was his name? Um, what was his name? <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about. What's his name? Not Brewster. Where is he? Am I- Where is he? Am I blind? Arezzo. With Arezzo coming in as well. Uh, I think it's probably good that Dumich gets some- some time away at another club. It's probably older than me since it's 2005. Yeah, it probably is older than you. I could be wrong though. So let's take a look at who won the league then. After all of that, was United ever in the running? No, they were never in the running. Liverpool had closed it out. 10 points clear of Manchester United. Manchester City, one point behind United there. So I guess that draw got United the uh, the second place. And then Spurs pip Arsenal to fourth. Whoa, Arsenal, what a recovery from them, man. They were below us at one stage. Um, but they catch up and they take fifth ahead of Chelsea, who are in sixth. So there you go. Uh, Leicester, seventh. Everton, eighth. Villa, ninth. Ourselves, tenth. Newcastle, 11. Sheffield United, 12. Palace, 13. Fulham, 14. Wolves, 15. West Ham, 16. Southampton! They survived! <laughs> oh, yes! They survived. I told you they would. 18. Brighton, West Brom, 19. And Norwich, dead last. So they're all gone. Um, Thornton scoring all around me. Team not... So, team... So, wait, what's the uh, actual song that, uh, you know, that I'm singing this to? I was born probably a month before the meme was made, says Jazeel. Gardy, who was your favorite player to use this season? Um, Honestly, I don't know. It's between Thornton and Adeyemi. They were both such clinical strikers. Speaking of clinical strikers, Mohamed Salah, 33 goals. Goes ahead and wins himself a, um, a golden boot. Sterling with 25, Kane 24, Lukaku 23, Thornton 23, and Adeyemi 22. So they're both in the top six there. But who scored more goals in all competitions, guys? Do you think Thornton beat Adeyemi in all competitions? I think we were going to see who won between them. Look, Thornton has a one goal advantage in the Premier League. So did he win the goal? Did he beat, did he beat Adeyemi? What do you guys think? Did he beat Adeyemi? Just curious, if he doesn't want to answer, I'm not going to uh, uh, push. Dude, I can just uh, hear echoes of you. I have you on two different things, says Football Fan 23 Sen is supposed to know everything. Thornton beat him. Thornton won with 28 in total. No, they just they don't play any other competitions, guys. It was a trick question. I mean, they do, actually. To be honest, Adeyemi got a Carabao Cup game and an FA Cup game. And Thornton did get an FA Cup game, but neither of them scored. But they basically both play just, like, league games. Because we rest for the Cup games. Or we play different teams for the Cup games. Thornton was 35. No, nah, unfortunately, they don't actually... They didn't play that many... We got knocked out early as well, by the way. We got knocked out really early as well. Anime House Part 5 is out. What is Anime House? Uh, 11 goals, 16 for uh, for Lingard, by the way. Great campaign from Lingard, I have to, have to say. Thornton with a comeback. Yeah, he did end up winning. Adeyemi was leading for the longest of times, but Thornton with a great second half of the season. Anything else you guys want to see before we wrap up? I do want to take a look at the championship, by the way, before we get to it right at the end. Um, youth player unsettled. Ooh, lucky I stopped simming. Oh, the Dumich loan offer was rejected, which sucks. We've got some youth scout reports available. 
Um, Midek, he looks okay. Nothing special. I'd probably reject him, to be honest with you. Anything special here? Ooh! 800k, Saeed Ben Zekri. Okay, he looks alright, and he looks like he's versatile as well. And then last but not least, Stipe Babic and his... Uh, actually, no, it was Viljan Mublundel. Uh, sorry, usually we leave Stipe Babic to last, but he's got nothing for us in Latvia. So we're going to have to pick some new countries, but in the meantime... Demirci wants to leave, so we're going to promote him. Um, Min J. Ro wants to leave. Oh, it's this guy, the center defensive mid. Okay, we'll promote him as well. And last but not least, our man, Alexiu Varda... Uh, oh, our senior squad's full. Uh, okay, I don't know if we can release anybody at the moment, to be honest with you. I don't know if I want to release anybody. But I don't think we can anyway, so if I try releasing Eskil... We've released too many. Okay, we're going to just have to reject this guy. He's only 60 rated and he doesn't look too special. So we're just going to have to release this guy, unfortunately. But I think we do have some players leaving on, on transfer deals and stuff like that at the start of the next season. So did Liverpool win the league? Jamie, yes, they did. 10 points clear of Manchester United. Guardy, watch Anime House episode one after the stream. Uh oh, no. There's more. Duma Mafosa. No. Is he good? No. He's not that good, to be honest with you. He's, not, he's 64 rated, but he's just not that good. Um, well, if he can wait until the next, uh, until the transfer, until January, sorry, until uh, July. If he can wait until July, then uh, if not, then that's fine. Wait, actually, let's take a look at the championship. They still have to do their playoffs, but their league might be finished. Do Cameroon and Senegal. We're going to do Senegal for Xander. Xander uh, told me to do Senegal yesterday, and I didn't listen to him. So let's take a look at the championship. We can't, unfortunately, take a look at the playoffs. But in terms of who's returning for sure, it's Burnley and Leeds. How boring. And then Cardiff, Bournemouth, Derby, or Watford are going to be coming up with him. I kind of hope it's Derby, because I think Billy Hammond is going out on a loan to Derby. So it'd be nice for him to be loaned into the Premier League. But what do we think, boys? Out of those four teams, who do you think is coming up? What's everyone's prediction? Out of uh, Cardiff, Bournemouth, Derby, and Watford, who do we think is winning the playoffs? I'm going to predict... Hmm. I think most people say Bournemouth, to be honest with you. Um... This is a, a yes or no question for everyone. Can Hyper go a stream without talking about anime? No, it's impossible. Um, Gardi, what about the player with 70 rated, says uh, Jamie. Come on, Cardiff. Hello, King Gardi. What's going on, Spike Claps? Good to see you, my guy. How have you been, man? Come on, Cardiff. Bournemouth, Bournemouth, Derby. I'm going to stay quiet for the rest of the stream, says Mateo. Guess who's back? Totally not late. Hey, your boy. How's your daughter going? How's your daughter going, man? What, what happened with those complications? Is everything good? Team Game says No. Reds Gaming says Leeds. No, Leeds are automatically through. Out of these four teams, Cardiff, Bournemouth, Derby, and Watford, who's going to come up? I I think I, I'm going to... I think Dortmund is the safe... Uh, Dortmund. I think Bournemouth is the same safe pick. I'm just going to go... I'm just going to predict Derby. I'm just going to predict Derby because I want them to come up. That's why. That's it. Uh, what about the 70 rated one? Uh, we already um have brought him in. If you're talking about Leclerc. Okay, so Duma Mafosa decides to terminate the contract. That's fine. That's fine. Youth players come and go. Perfectly fine. Speaking of youth players come and go, we need to get a new scouting report. A new scouting going on. Um, first up is Stipe Babic, who's going to be going to Senegal. Actually, no. Let's, tell, let's send Viljan Mur to Senegal. Oh, there's no Senegal. Hey, Jim Ryan. What's going on, man? Boys, we're nearly at 60 likes. Gotta have to have a shower because I was meant to be having a shower, but I went to watch you instead, <laughs> says Tim Games. She's good. She's back home. It's uh, my birthday tomorrow, so I'm going to get pizza because of virus and celebrate she's back. Yay! That's good, man. I'm glad that it's all good. Are you guys going to be monitoring her, though, like making sure she's okay and stuff? Tim, I don't think he could see it, says Jazeel. What's this? Hungry, you said uh, you would do hungry. Did I? Okay, we'll do hungry then. If I said it, then I'm a man of my word, aren't I? Where's Hungry? Which one of these is Hungry? Hello? Which, which one of you is Hungry? Hey, there's Hungry. 
Wait, I knew where it was. I knew where it was. Don't worry about it, guys. My geography is on top of the... Yasin Al Mukhtar says hi. What's going on, Yasin? Joshua PM in the UK says maybe get a better scout. You know what? Next uh, next season, we could probably invest in better scouts. But I don't know. These guys are characters now. Maybe not Ben McCormick, but Viljan Moore is like a, a hero. Ben McCormick, maybe he can go, to be honest with you. Sen, we did Algeria last time. I suggested it. Yeah, we've done Algeria. I think we've done, uh, to be honest, I think we've done Morocco, Algeria, and Egypt. So we've done the north of Africa. What about Trinidad? They're not in the game. Otherwise, I probably would. I probably would. We, yeah, we've done the north of Africa. We've done Nigeria. I get a feeling we've, we've done South Africa. I get a feeling we've done another one of these, but I can't remember. We've nearly cleared out Africa. What's my budget right now? We've got like 1 million left. Australia, we've done. We've done Australia and New Zealand. We've done all of Asia. So we've done all of Australia, all of Asia. We've done all of the UK. We've done all of North America. And we've done, nearly done all of Africa as well. There's still a lot of European countries, especially here. We haven't done a lot of these, I don't think. Like, we haven't done Romania. We haven't done... Uh, we've done Slovakia. Um, we've done Latvia. We've done Estonia. Even though they're not here. We've done Bulgaria. Spain, we've done. Uh, we've done Switzerland. I believe we've done Germany. We've done Belgium. We've done the Netherlands. I believe, yeah, we've done France. Definitely done France. Because we've got Leclerc and Lecoq from there, I think. We've done Albania. We've done Greece. I think we've done Turkey. We may or may not have done Croatia. I don't know about Italy, though. We've done Spain and I think we've done Portugal. I could be wrong, though. Go to Nigeria. We've done Nigeria, I'm pretty sure. Have you done Serbia? I don't think we've done Serbia. Maybe someone can remind me if we have, but I don't think we've done Serbia. I should have written a list, man. I don't think we've done Serbia. Can someone please confirm? If you remember us doing Serbia, let me know. I don't think we've done it, though. I can't remember doing Serbia. Guardi, I'm a bit concerned, says Tim. How come, Tim? What haven't you done? Do Russia. We've done Russia. Okay, we'll do Serbia. And then the last one is Stipe Babic. Since you'd get at least one decent youngster, says Sen. Last one is Stipe Babic. And let's go to... I think out of these ones, we've done a lot of them, to be honest with you. We've done a lot of these ones. We've done uh, Estonia, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, I believe. Engl all of these we've cleared out. And Iceland as well. Man, we don't have that many countries left. Russia, we've done. Your boy, we've done Russia. In South America, we haven't done a... We actually haven't done a lot of South America, to be honest with you. Like, I don't remember doing... Venezuela. I think we've done Colombia. I don't remember doing Ecuador. We've done Peru. We haven't done Bolivia. We may or may not have done Uruguay. Japan, we've done, your boy. Have you done Denmark? Yes, and we have done Denmark. The one that I can't think... The, can't, the one that I can't remember from here is if we've done Finland. That's the only one here I'm not sure if we've done. Finland. We've done Sweden, we've done Norway, and we've done Denmark. I'm just not sure we've done Finland. So my ex's mate has just said I'm fit. What do I do? Ah, oh, you get with her. Venezuela? Do Venezuela? Okay, let's do Venezuela. You get with her. What are you talking about? What do you do? Why am I getting notifications from Words with Friends, man? Um, what about Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll scout in the Atlantic Ocean. We'll try and find as many fish as we can. Um, you have done Finland. Remember Boris? I think Boris was a free agent, wasn't he? Actually, no. Yeah, Boris was from our youth uh, academy. That's right. Or was he? I thought Boris was from the free agent. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Anyway, we're doing Venezuela. So there you go. Anything else you guys want to see before the season ends? Let me know now. Let me know now or forever hold your peace. Because my friend said she only likes me because of the Southampton Academy. Tim, it doesn't matter why she likes you. Get it in there, son. What are you doing? Uh, Boris the Russian-Irish Finn. <laughs> hey, Teku, what's going on, man? What's going on, Teku? Boys, we're nearly at 60 likes. If you haven't, go ahead and uh, like the stream. Get us to 60. Hello, football fans, says Teku. Man, Salah, 33 goals in this campaign. That's insane. 
All right, nobody wants to say anything else. Let's go then. Let's go. Player returns from loan. We've got so many players returning from loan, which is insane. We've got a lot. We may have to start selling some of these youth players, by the way. Some of them, if they're not good enough, we may have to start selling. What's going on, Teku? All right. Next season. Here we go. We're on our way. How long till the end of the stream? Uh, we've got at least an hour left, Tim. Gardy, can you take a look at Lyich? Sure. Sure. Um, your boy says, Gardy and your Barcelona crewmate don't sell to Stegen. He goes up to a 96, but I forgot to renew contract and went to Bayern for free. Uh, the, Bayern, the Barca crewmate's done. The Barca cream mode's over, man. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing it anymore. It was fun while it lasted, man, but it was it was a one-season thing. We, we, we won the, the quadruple, and then that's it. I don't have anything else to prove in that save. Or in that, uh, in that career mode. I'm a one-season wonder, man. I'm a one-season wonder. Gar uh, I forgot, Soz. Hey, no need to apologize, man. All right, so let's take a look at... Um, the, on the second, let's take a look at who comes in. Or who's leaving? Let's take a look at who's leaving as well. Barca is done. Uh, sorry, got to go because I got online tests tomorrow. Online lessons tomorrow. No worries, Spike Claps. Uh, good luck with your lessons, man. Thanks for dropping by while you were here. Joshua PM of the UK says, I came here because Brent was talking about you because I saw a YouTuber talking about mods and he said you. Yeah, well, we, 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 we will be doing mods, Joshua. Yeah. I've got the beta from... Um, leaves on loan, leaves on loan. So Boris is the only person that's left. We may have to sell some more players, boys, for our youth academy. To have more spots to bring them in to the senior team. The only reason I'm not going to bring in... Um, they're both called Gula. The only reason I'm not bringing this guy in is because he's a goalkeeper. We have plenty of goalkeepers. Joshua PM of the UK. We will definitely be doing a modded career mode soon. I've got the beta from FIFA himself or FIFA, whatever you want to call him. I don't even know how to pronounce I should ask him how he wants it pronounced. Why did I keep that guy in the scout report? Um, we will be doing that at some point. Uh, uh, maybe on the weekend, I think. Marcos Pinto, or maybe even tomorrow, will do a modded career mode. Santiago Acosta, Carlos Rubio, Manuel Solar, Albert Diaz. I'd correct you with the Leich pronunciation, but I have no clue how I can explain that LJ sound. Is it Leich? It's kind of like Spanish double I, but it's a bit more rough. Leich. Ben Woodburn is available, and so is Sergio Camello. Is he any good? Let's just scout these guys. We may as well, right? Is uh, Matteo Mori any good? No, he doesn't look that good. Ruben Garcia? Oliver Torres. Wow. Free agent. Insane. We'll have to have a look at what happened with Messi as well, by the way. I can't believe all these good players become free agents. I know not all of these are free agents, but I can't believe good players become free agents. Doesn't make any sense. What kind of team doesn't renew the contract of one of their good players? And then he doesn't get picked up by anybody else. <laughs> Matt Macy's a free agent. We were looking at him like seasons ago. Robinho. We were looking at him as well. Um, Teku, what do I do? All right. So, wait, what? What do you mean, Teku, what do I do? Uh, Tim, if you, don't want to t uh, if you don't want her, tell her. Get out of my way. Uh, you're as flat as a plate and no ash dates, please. Oh my gosh, Mateo. Uh, Jamie, show off, dude. Uh, Jamie, show off, dude. I got knocked out of the tournament because I put my trust in Salah. Mateo, I like that, says Tim Games. Wait, Tim, you don't want her? Languages rarely have that LJ sound like Slavic languages have. It's like the L version of N. So it is Liyayich. Li Liyayich. Is that right? Liyayich. Or just, is it just Yayich? <laughs> he's still playing. He's 32. He's the Real Sociedad and he's re retiring at the end of the season. Uh, sell Bentley now. We need to put a lot of players on the sell, on the sell list, boys. I'm sorry to say. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the squad hub, right? 
as a, a, a as a professional would do. What am I doing? I'm not at the squad hub at all. I'm not even on the right tab. We're going to go through by position and we're going to start selling players. For example, Artom. Sorry. Wait, actually, you know what? Let's think about this reasonably. This guy's got to definitely go out on loan, right? For sure. Yunus Dedmichi definitely has to go out on loan, right? He has to go. Now, we have Yagudin, Verhag or Verhaig, and Pian. Now, this guy is probably the most valuable. How often do we actually rely on our second goalkeeper? And if we had to, there's not that big of a difference between Yagudin and this guy. So I actually think we should sell Yagudin. Try and get more money. Our backup goalkeeper is still 70 rated. And he's probably going to grow this season. And also, I don't like him wearing the number 12. He can have the number 96. Uh, don't sell Thornton. We will not sell Thornton. Now, in the left back positions, we have Baka, Wood, and Donaghy. I don't mind that. Donaghy can play center back. So what I'm going to do basically is sell Yagodin and loan Demirci. And we'll have these guys as our backup goalkeepers. We won't sell Thornton unless we got a great offer for him. Okay, center back. Smalling, Hammond, Farrell, Juarte, De Silva. Okay, we're going to go five center backs. That's fine. We only got five center backs. They can stay. Lopez, Mbula, Keralt, and Lamptey. Three right backs. And Bula Keralt can fill in at center back, so I don't mind having all three of them. Defensive mids. Hey, why are you wearing number eight? The disrespect. You don't get number eight. Banana. Anyway. Malambi can stay, obviously. Laraudi can stay. This guy's the guy on loan. We just, just got him now. Okay, to Heath Chong, I think we're going to sell. Jabu Joma. Dylan Wallace we're going to sell. 21 years of age, 68 rated. Dylan Wallace is gone. If you're 21 and you're not 70 rated yet, you're gone. I'm sorry. Uh, Alexiu. Okay, so center mids is where we are stacked. Proper stacked. 18 years of age, 62 rated. He's already on the transfer list, so he's going to get sold. Uh, Korniakis, I think, will keep. Catenio at 19 years of age, 69 rated. He needs to start growing. I think Lorenzo Leroy has to go. 18 years of age, 63 rated. You have to go. Sorry, you're not good enough. Michael Whitehead. Yo, is this Whitehead from the first batch of youth players? Jesus. He has really not lived up to the expectation, has he? At all. Eskil Johansson has to go. He's already in the transfer list. These guys, just, there's nobody wants to sign these guys. That's the problem. We got players on the transfer list that nobody wants to sign. We'll keep Whitehead for now, but he's very close to a sell. Olivsen at 20 years of age. Again, 70 rated. Same position, uh, same uh, situation as Whitehead in terms of the age and rating. Uh, he's been a letdown since then. Yeah, he has. Mikael Olivsen, I think we'll keep for now. But again, very close to a sell. Venez stays. Leclerc obviously stays. 17 years of age, 73 rated. Bentley stays for now. And Lingard stays. But that's a lot of cams. But they can play center mid in other positions, so. In terms of right mids, we've got Juan Ma Sanchez, who's going to stay for now. Agudelo. He's on the transfer list already. And Barry Reynolds, 21 years of age, 72 rated. Baza. You're very close to a sell. Um, Reese Nelson. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll keep all the wingers. And then strikers. We're going to sell Bamford. That's for sure. Brewster, Thornton, Adeyemi with Arezzo on loan. And then Hunter and Dumich. I think Hunter has to go. I think Hunter has to go. 21 years of age, 66 rated. I think he has to go. Dumich, very close uh, to a uh, to a sell. But he's a regen. So we're going to try and loan him out and get him some game time. And that's what we're going to do for now. For now. But if we get offers for our bigger boys, for, um, for our, our bigger players, then we're going to accept those as well. So get Bamford out of here. Yeah. We're gonna get him out of here. If you sell Arezzo, you like the uh, you like boys and Arsenal, says Matteo. No, we're not, we, he's already loaned out. We can't sell him. He's already loaned out. Stick a development plan on Dumich. You probably have says Sen. I don't think we have to be honest. I think he's on a balance. Okay, so we got oh my gosh, straight from the get go, we've got a Reese, Reese, Reese Nelson, Jesse Lingard, and Ellis Sassuolo with a hundred mil. <laughs> Oh my, look how much we can get for Ellis Thornton. Up to 
70 million. The only player here that I'm actually kind of okay to sell is Lingard, to be honest. Um, maybe he makes way for Leclerc. Maybe Leclerc takes his spot. 170 is a bit too much. Hey, man, that's what the scout is telling me. They have just offered 100 million. See, the only problem with a team like Sassuolo, they probably only have this much money. Um, we'll negotiate, but I don't think this will go through. Luca Horn says sell Thornton if they give you 130. We'll start at maybe 150 as, as a starting point, I think. And we'll see if they're even willing to negotiate. I have a feeling a team like Sassuolo doesn't even have the 150. They barely have the 100, I think. So we'll see what they say. 150 and we'll see what they say. They're going to stick to 99.8. That's what I thought. I didn't think they had more money than this, to be honest with you. I think it's a bit of a... I think it's a bit of a, sh a, a shoot and hope from Sassuolo. It's a bit of a, it's a pipe dream for them to get somebody off Thornton's car, but they're not going to increase it at all. So I'm going to reject. They're not serious about negotiating, so I'm not going to um I'm not going to even entertain it. I I I didn't think Sassuolo were going to buy him. Reese Nelson to Bologna. It's not a bad it's not a bad uh, uh, offer or a bad play to get rid of. In terms of wingers, we don't have that much coverage, but we do have coverage. And Jesse Lingard in the cam position, he's actually playing center mid. He's probably the, the player that I'm most likely to sell. He's coming off a very good campaign. I don't think Lingard's ever going to be worth more than this again. So I'm willing to negotiate and try and get 20 million for Lingard. I think 20 million is a good price point for him. What is our budget? Jazil, I'll have to check that after this. I'll have to check that after. Guardian, my ex's mate who likes me is fit, but she's a gold digger that is putting, uh, that is putting me off here. Hey, Tim, if she's fit, she's fit. Just don't do a long-term thing. You know what I mean? How old are you, Tim, anyway? I think they'll go for 20, won't they? Let's go 22, actually. Let's try and milk this one. 16-7 plus a sell-on clause. I don't want no sell-on clause. I don't want no sell- Just give me my 20 million, all right? 20 million and you got a deal. 20 million and you got yourself a deal. All right, there we go. 20 million. They agree. Uh, 65 is the budget. Is it? No, we, our budget is 48 million. Uh, yeah, Gudin is a bit surprised. I'm sorry, I can't guarantee you games. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad we agree. Hey, Gaffa, I have to say, I was pretty surprised to hear you're going to sell me. A move might be your best option. And Patrick Bamford, it's the best thing for you. Um, you're 16. Tim, all I'm going to say, man, is... Uh, is get it in. That's, that's all I'm going to say, man. That's all I'm going to say. You don't have to buy her anything. You just make her think you're going to buy her things. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the best person to listen to, Tim. If I was in your position, I'd be cleaning up. I'll tell you that. If I was in, a, if I became a professional footballer, forget about it, boys. You'd see me on. I'd be like Mason Greenwood. I'd be in the news, man. I'd be, I'd be a girl after girl. I'd have a different one every day. Although he has a girlfriend, doesn't he? Put ben Bentley on the transfer list. Get, uh, get them cash. Okay, we had one more offer, and it was for our man, um, Reese Nelson. What does everybody think about Reese Nelson selling? What does everybody think about Reese Nelson selling? Yeah, Tim, my only advice is don't fall in love with her. If she's a gold digger, don't fall in love with her. But man, you can still get something out of it. That's all I'd say. Mboemo, right wing French. 33 million. I know how to get cake, says Mateo. Okay, we're going to go for 33 million for Reese. You reckon those? I'm going to go 35 for Reese Nelson. He's had a good campaign, to be honest with you. If you sell him, get some big cash for him. I'm going to go 35. Sen says, if I were a professional footballer, I can't even imagine what I would do. No, me neither. Me neither. No, don't... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Teku, no, no, no. Try for a month and see if you like her. No, 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 no. No. If you know she's a gold digger, no. You don't even give her that opportunity. You're not there for a relationship. You're there for uh, other reasons. Let's put it that way. Let's go for 32. 32, say two. Where's he been? Okay, they really don't want to give me 32. That's perfectly fine. 32 million, they don't want to do it. That's fine. Uh, okay, so Lingard's the only player that we're potentially getting rid of now. And you know what the best part about Lingard is? I don't think we even have to sign anybody. If we sell Lingard, we've got like a couple players that could fill the hole there. We could obviously sign someone, but we could also just give our, our youth players a, a go. We could give our 17-year-old, 73-rated beast of the cam, Raphael Leclerc. We could just hand him the keys and say, you're a center midfielder now, son. Go for it. Uh, no, not the heartbreaker shit. I mean the median stuff, says Sen. 
Oh, you'd be. I'd be down for. I would. I wouldn't even care. I, I would be so comfortable in the media. I'd be like, hey, what's going on, boys? I'm just a sick cunt. I'm watching you in my garage. I'm in my garage because I am doing a late night workout in my home gym, says Tim. Nice. You got to put the work in, right? All right, Lingard's been sold. So Lingard is off to start the Rem. Can we just have a, like a moment for Lingard here, man? Because he was really good for us. Two seasons with us. in the champ One in the championship, one in the Premier League. And I got to be honest with you guys, Lingard, I think, in a way, kind of turned this team around in, 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 in a... In a he was he was an older, experienced player who um, who came in, gave us a bit of direction, gave us a bit of stability, and really just glued this team together. I got to be honest, Lingard was a good signing. I think Lingard was really good for us. I'm kind of sad to see him go. Not gonna lie. Uh, so Patrick Bamford to Brentford, we're just gonna accept. I don't even care what the offer is. We're gonna accept. We got a loan to offer for Artyom Pan or Pian. I'm actually gonna accept it. I'm actually gonna negotiate this one, I think, and a swap deal for Adiemi. Wow, Sassuolo want all our players. I'm going to reject that. I'm going to reject... Actually, who's this guy? Munir? He looks all right, to be fair. He looks all right, to be fair. Got to stay healthy for after lockdown. I'm sick of eating healthy, says Tim Games. Actually, I don't know. I might, I'm. Let's go with... First of all, let's go with Artyom. And let's negotiate. It depends on how much they want to give me after they loan him. Lingard is gone uh, to the team he should be at, says Jamie. Bamford transfer offer? Yeah, he's gone. Bamford is gone. Don't worry about that. All right. So, loan to buy. I don't mind the loan to buy. It just depends on how much money they're willing to give me after. So, they want a two-year loan deal. Wow. Uh, I'd rather get the money earlier. So, let's go for a one-year loan deal. The wages are 60-40. That's perfectly fine. I don't mind about that. And then, last but not least, is the transfer. So, they want to give us 2.4 million. I, I was kind of thinking more like five. But let's go four million. See what he says. You probably storm out, to be honest with you. Knowing the CPU, they just storm out. No, he wants a 2.45 with a, a sell-on clause. Okay, look, I don't know if I actually get the sell-on clause or not. I don't know if I actually get the sell-on clause or not. But I... You know what? No. I'd rather sell him now. If I'm going to sell him, I'd rather sell him now instead of loan and then sell. If I'm going to sell him, I'd rather sell him. And now with Adiyemi, you know what? If they give me like 30 million plus this player, I wouldn't say no. Let's have a look. I wouldn't mind this player, but I kind of want more money with it. I want like 30 million with this player. <laughs> like I, would, I wouldn't mind the player. He looks okay. Like... In terms of he's a left mid, he's kind of young. Maybe if we go without the player. Remove exchange player and then we'll go like 60 million. What do you reckon he'll say? You reckon he'll storm out? I reckon he'll storm out. Um, We don't need the sell-on clause. 60 million flat. Oh, shit. Yo, I was not expecting that. Boys, I was not expecting that. Are we saying goodbye to Karim? I think we're saying goodbye to Karim here. 56. Oh, that's a good offer, boys. I think that's a good offer, to be honest with you. It's up to him whether or not he wants to move now. He's an important player, but we can find players like him. I mean, he's been, good. He's been a good servant, but... Um... Sassuolo, man. They want one of our strikers. They couldn't get Thornton, so they're going after Adiemi. He was worth like 80 million? No, I don't think he was worth 80 million. Do it and bring Arezzo from loan, says Matteo. No, Arezzo is only 70 rated. What are you talking about? No. No, honestly, honestly, Brewster could probably take that spot. Like, he's pacey. He's good. But the only thing is, yeah, we probably need to sign someone else because we don't have that many strikers. If you have enough money, go for Jonathan David. He's a beast, says Luca Horn. Yeah, first, let's take a look at what actually happens with these deals. So, we've got another half week. We have Brewster, though. That's true. We just need to sign, like, a backup, but we could even have Dumich as a backup, to be fair. Um, Bamford has been sold, and a loan offer for Mats Verhaag um, from Stad Standard Liege. Okay, we're going to, uh, obviously, do this just as a loan. No offer to buy. Try playing Thornton as a lone striker. That's also a possibility. Yeah, Sam, that's actually a really good idea as well. Try to go for a one-striker system. 
Although we've played 4-4-2 this whole time and it's worked for us, so. Go for Mason Greenwood? Yeah, nah, done. We'll sign Mason Greenwood. Glenn Jacobs died. I don't know who that is, B. Yannicka, to be honest with you. No one jumps out to mind when I... Okay, so he has gone. All right, so 52 million added to the bank. Sassuolo get themselves a fantastic striker. Yo, th this guy was a free agent. Oh my god. This guy was actually a free agent. Get out of town, man. That's, that's a shame. This guy was a free agent. What, ben Woodburn's a free agent. We'll probably bring him in. This guy was no joke a free agent. Fuck off. What, Kane? No, Kane didn't pass away. Did he? Where did you see that? That's a joke, isn't it? Uh, what's going on, Bryant? Um, Daryl says, how many games did you win, buddy? Uh, I don't know how many games we won. I don't even know what our record was. We came 10th, though. That's all I know. That's so unfortunate. That guy was a free agent. He would have been perfect to bring in as like a backup for... Uh, or as like a replacement for um, Adeyemi. Check Josh Sargent. Spurs beat Brentford 2-0. Uh, who do you reckon will play them? Hey, what's going on, Shreyas? I reckon it'll be Manchester United. Okay, so they've accepted the loan. Okay, so one-year loan for Mats Verhag. That's not bad. He flopped at Palace, Mateo. Who's that? Read my last comment. Search Sorloth. He's good. Like, he's like good, good. Uh, just spend it on Suchek for the midfield, says Jazil. We've got 120 million now. Yo, who's this guy? Also, we got to say if Messi, um, if, if Messi retired, we've got to look at that. You reckon Messi uh, retired? He did. Messi actually retired. Let's take a look at his regen. Let's see um, if he's any good. Or where he is. I don't know where he'd be if he was a free agent. I don't know where he'd be. To be honest with you. Wait, is he a... Uh... Is he right wing? It's uh, maybe this guy. Wait, is Messi a right wing in this game? I always forget. Wait, is it this guy? He doesn't look that good. He's lone listed though. Search Sorloth, please. I want to see his rating. I don't know if it was any of those three guys, to be honest with you. Um, Sorloth. Alexander Sorloth. He's got a 64 million release clause at Bilbao, so he's probably good. Give Brewster a chance. If not, if he's not good by a striker in January, check... Si yeah, I'm happy to give Brewster the first, um, the first team spot, man. He's a free agent, FFS. Yeah, so wouldn't he still come up if I did this? If he was a free agent, wouldn't he still come up if I did this? Oh, 21, that's why. 83 rated already? Good thing we sold Reese Nelson, huh? <laughs> Good thing we sold Reese Nelson, eh? This guy's got a freaking first team spot ready to go. I didn't do it. I didn't make him old enough. I only went up to 20. Why is he 21 already? That's kind of ridiculous. Let's give him a prospect role. <laughs> uh, hopefully he picks his own wages. Although this is recommended 80k. Five years. That's perfectly fine. Thomas Chavez. Weird name for an Argentine. Let's offer him 100k. He walks into that team. I doubt he's Messi's regen though. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean you doubt that it's Messi's uh, regen? Oh, Nelson isn't sold yet. Wait, did we not sell Nelson? Maybe we didn't. Maybe we should, though. <laughs> Maybe we should sell Nelson, though, now that we've got this guy. 
Uh, Gardy, who did you sign and sell? I missed the loss, says Bryant. Uh, we've just started Bryant. We've sold Adeyemi. We've got Yagodin with a transfer offer. See, this is exactly what... Instead of a loan and then a buy, I'd rather this. So, three point... We can get maybe five million for Yagodin. All right, let's go. Bill Bow bringing in a Russian. Uh-oh. Regens don't usually come at 21 that high. So, you think it's Di Maria's regen? But it's a free agent. It had to be Messi's regen. Okay, let's go for 5 million here. Done. All right, yeah, good in for 5 million. Um, no, we didn't. Okay, I thought we did, but we didn't... I must be mixing him up with Adiemi. We must not have wor worked out an offer for... Uh, or a deal for Reese Nelson. Hopefully, we get another uh, option to sell him or, or a chance to sell him. Another good thing about this regen is he can actually play striker. So, at the end of the day, if we really want, we can just do this. Put him up here. So, like, at the end of the day, this guy's versatile. He's quick. He's kick and shoot. He can dribble. He's physical. He's actually... He's five foot eleven actually. So, yeah. At the end of the day, he can play striker, which is good. There you go. Wait, right wing... Yeah, right wing striker and center forward. There you go. So, it has to be Messi's regen, right? Surely. Unless it's unless it's Di Maria, but I don't think so. so who else could it, who else could it be? Uh, Sen, it is Messi's region. I, I just can't imagine who else it is. That's all that comes down to. Nobody else has those positions, I don't think. If you position change Chavez, he will be eighty six. Says Joshua PM of the UK. You reckon? You reckon if I make him a striker, he'll go up to 86? Hey, FIFA David, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Okay, so Yagodin's been sold. We got a Chong transfer offer, which we'll accept. 4.8, I don't really care. I'll accept whatever it is. And an Ellis Thornton transfer offer from Hertha Berlin. Hertha Berlin. Marco van der Pop says, look if he has the potential to be special. Who's this? All right, let's negotiate it, boys. If it has plus three at the top with no development, it means that's what his real rating will be, says Joshua Pim. I thought that that's what his rating is. 140 million, try 140. I say you should, Guardy, says Jamie. I should what? All right, let's go 150. Ask for 125? One th I don't think they'll storm away off 150. 109. Okay, they're sticking to 109, I think. So we'll remove the sell on clause and we'll drop it to 140. Just to show them that we're still here. We're negotiating. We're dropping 10 mil at a time. Don't sell, says your boy. I mean, we got to negotiate at the end of the day. Gardy, you be too greedy. Not really, Jazil. 140. They might storm out now. 119. All right, what about one... They'll probably storm out after this one. They're going to storm out, huh? What do you reckon, guys? 125, 130. Wait, do regions just spawn at an 83, says Sen? I have no idea, Sen. But he ha this one had to have. 130, 125. Guard, you should just change him to a striker. Why? He might... What if we What if we change him to a striker and then we sell Reese Nelson and he plays up right... End, ends up playing right wing? I don't have to do anything just yet. Uh, who would you buy to replace him? Chalmers says 125. Jazil says 125. Luca says 125. Honestly, if we're going to go 125, we may as well accept 119. If we're going 125, we may as well accept 119, right? This is the trap that we always fall into, isn't it? Who would you buy to replace him? I got no idea, to be honest with you. I'm the one that usually adds another 5 million and you guys are the ones that laugh at me when they storm out. Now you guys are saying just add 6 million on top. Why don't we just accept then? Little money counts. Messi's regen is just Fontoya Marquez with a plus 8 overall boost. Don't sell, says your boy. And 2 inches of height. The only way I'm going to counter again is if I want to do 130, but I don't think anybody wants me to do 130. He did his job, just sell him, yeah. As a replacement, Jonathan David is perfect. I mean, all good things come to an end. He spent his 21... He's, he spent until... Uh, up until he's 21, he's been here. But he's going to go to Hertha Berlin, of all places. Anyway, good luck to him. He thinks he can do better in Germany. Good luck to him. 
If he, that's if he, even if he wants to go. All right, wait, propose new. Wait, yeah, okay, there. Propose new transfer. Wait, no. Yeah, accept. There it is. Depends on who you're going to buy for him, says your boy. Don't worry, man. We got the money now. Hertha Berlin of all places. Oh, well, maybe he'll reject it. You never know. So apparently there's interest in Danny Ings, which we don't care. We're not buying Danny Ings. Uh, Nelson development schedule, Thornton transfer offer. Yeah, good then has been sold. Okay. Uh, Rodrigo God says, no, guys, all good things must come to an end. All good things must come to an end. Buy Haaland? You guys are crazy. I'm not buying Haaland. There's literally no chance I buy Haaland. I'm sorry to say. Um, all right. Thornton has been sold. So is Chong. And a loan offer for Dumich. Okay, let's get this Dumich thing out of the way. This is a good loan for him, I think. Ghent is a good loan, loan uh, place for him. Man. Ellis Thornton, boys. That's it. He's a Hertha Berlin player. 111 million. Hertha Berlin's trying to do something in Germany, it seems. They're trying to build something in Germany. Good luck to him and good luck to them. This might not be the last time we see Ellis Thornton in Bradford. He could come back at some stage. But for now, he's no longer our player. It's been an absolute pleasure to have him in the club. And I wish him nothing but the best. Uh, okay, so... Moving on now, because we've got to move on with our lives. We have a grand total of £241 million in the bank. That's insane. Um, that's great British sterling, by the way. That's proper pounds. I'm talking real money here. Uh, look to see Thornton on the transfer hub just to see, says Joshua. What do you mean, just to, sh just to see? Alexander Schmidt. All right, so at the moment right now, we've got Chavez and Brewster up front. Never was a one-club player, says Sen. Yeah, I, it just never felt like he'd be... Why is fucking Fontoya Marquez there? Okay, we'll have Larauri there. We'll have Malambi there. These guys can close both... Actually, you know what? Let's put Venez there. No. Malambi's a center defensive mid already, so... Um, Dumich is so far here, but he's probably going to go as well. So we do need another striker. Has to be said, we do need another striker. Chavez, I think I'm happy to play him as... Unless we want to play one striker up front. Um, then we probably don't need another striker. But if we want to play two strikers up front, we probably do need another one. I think Jonathan David might be cheaper. Look and see how uh, he will go up in rating, says Joshua, PM of the UK. Yeah, we'll have Thornton on the shortlist, I guess, just to see how he's developing and stuff like that. Thornton. Ellis Thornton, 21 years of age. He is obviously a Hertha Berlin player now. He was six foot as well. That's the good thing about him. Sign Mbappe, no chance. He has a high rating and younger than Brewster. Who's this? Jonathan David. I want to go through my shortlist as well and clean it up a little bit. Where is this guy? There he is. Uh, 87 rated from Bayern Munich. I don't know why he would leave Bayern Munich for Bradford. So we're going to go with no on that one. We're going to go with no on that one. <laughs> um, let's go to our shortlist and just see who's in there and clean it up a little bit. So by strikers, Ivan Tony, you got to get out of here. I'm sorry. Danny Ings has just moved to... Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Actually... Oh, I, I messed it up. Still going? Yeah, Michael, we're still going. All right, so we're going to get rid of all these players that we don't want to get. Like, Chuba Akpom, you're not good enough anymore. Leia Seca, I don't think he's good enough anymore. Maybe Arp. Maybe Arp. Maybe Arp, actually. Because if Jonathan David is their starting striker, that means Arp's kind of been left for, uh, left for the reserve. So let's scout him up. So we're doing realistic now, says your boy. Uh, we've always done somewhat realistic, yeah. It's always been somewhat realistic. Why did you sell Lingardinho? I don't know. TJ Ryan says, how you doing? What's going on, TJ? Maskud says, sign Malin. You reckon Itachi would keep in touch with Thornton? Or would he just be like, F off, you were meant to uh, reject it, you prat. Uh, I'm not sure, Sen. I think the relationship is fine. Jolson Fernandez. I gotta, I gotta re-scout all these players. Goncalo Ramos. I don't know if these guys are any good anymore. Because they're not, like, even scouted. So I've got to go re-scout all of these guys. What about Lataro Martinez? We could look at him, yeah. We could look at Lataro Martinez. Convert him to a striker. I need to re-scout all of these guys because I don't remember what their rating is. I wish there was just a re-scout button. I've talked about this before. But there should just be a re-scout button, man. Uh, Fernandez. Jolson Fernandez. Gardi, get Diego Jota. Gardi, I asked the girl if she was a gold digger. She said no. What are you doing, Tim? You don't ask a girl if she's a... Tim, who gave you that advice? That's not what you do. Why would... First of all, who would admit that they're a gold digger? 
Mecha and Vrusai. Okay, Mecha, Vrusai. Wait, no, I went out of the wrong. Oh man. Okay, Mecha. My best mate. Okay, he doesn't know what he's doing. Don't listen to your best mate anymore. Don't ever listen to your mate again. That is the worst piece of advice anybody's ever given anybody. You never ask a girl if she's a gold digger. What? My mate paid me to do it. <laughs> so you're the gold digger. What about Richarlison? Ah, uh, we could look at Richarlison, yeah. Velasco, Garcia. I gotta look up all these guys. I'm sorry, because I need to know their ratings before I get rid of them, because they might be good. Alan Velasco, is that his name? Yeah. Scout him up. I'm sorry, this might be a little bit um this might be a little bit boring this part, because I just gotta literally go back and scout them. I forgot what the other guy's name was. Garcia, okay. Garcia. What's his name? Le Levi Garcia and Kasumu. Okay, Levi Garcia and Kasumu. Levi Garcia. Levi Garcia. And Kasumu. Okay. Uh, Abraham is a scout. Alright, we'll get to Kasumu in as well. Let's have a look at the rest of the shortlist. I'm sure there's more that I haven't uh, scouted. Let's take a look. So after Kasumu, there's Downs. Bakuna. I think Bakuna's no good. Salvador Vidal. Okay. But let's see if my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see if my memory is any good. <laughs> Downs, Bakuna, and Salvador. Downs first. Flynn Downs. Bakuna. Uh, that's Juninho. And the other one was Salvador. I don't know. He's not, uh, was it Salvador Vidal? Alright. Uh, Mateo keeps saying Soloth. I've already scouted Soloth. I don't know why you keep saying uh, Soloth. Sorry. I don't know why you keep saying his name. I already. You literally saw me, me scouting him. Were you not watching the stream? I scouted him. Can you scout Bakuna? Yeah, I'm, I'm scouting him. Yeah. Uh, Grunwald, Norman, and Mendez. Grunwald, Norman. Is that a good pronunciation, by the way? Grunwald? It's Maximilian. I remember this guy. I remember this guy's a free agent and we nearly got him. 30 plus days? Why? Uh, Norman is with two M's at the end. Uh, two N's at the end, I think. Yeah, Norman. And I forgot the last one, so we're going to have to go back out. <laughs> Mason Mount. All right, let's have a look. We're nearly there. We're nearly gotten everybody rescouted. I can't get rid of it. Oh my gosh. No, we're not. We're nowhere near. Okay, these guys can all go. We don't need center backs right now. So anybody that's a center back can just go for now. Because we don't need any of these guys. Okay, so also we don't need goalkeepers. So bang, 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 bang. Get rid of all these guys. We don't need any of these in here. All right. Nuno Mendes is the last person we have to scout. Okay, cool. Nuno Mendes is literally the last one, guys. Nuno... Mendez. Okay, sweet. Now they're all getting scouted. We're going to get their ratings back into the the shortlist and stuff. But while we're in the shortlist, let's get rid of some of the players that we're probably not good enough to actually come into the club. So anybody... Oh, no. They're all like... Yeah. Okay. So like Jack's got to go. Oh, no. See, this is the annoying thing. It always takes you to the top again. I don't like that. And I guess these guys can stay. Oh, no. Torres got picked up. He's not a free agent anymore. So we'll get rid of him because I was only going to get him because he's a free agent. Suchek is 29 years of age, 86 uh, rated. I don't know if I bring him in. Thornton is there for the gags, obviously, to see how he's increasing. Danny Ings we don't want, and he's also just moved. Troy Parrott, probably not good enough. That's about it, I think. Try and keep this as, uh, as small as possible. I like the idea of, um, of ARP. Can you scout and sign Matundo? Maybe. My told mate just told me to piss Bo uh, Portsmouth fans off. For a tenner, easiest tenner I've ever made, I've ever earned. S Andrea Pinamonti. Luca, you're just suggesting uh, Inter players, aren't you? Look up Thiago Di Giallo. Um, what position are you looking for, Gardi? I'm not sure we're really... We're kind of maybe looking for a striker at the moment. Maybe. And a centre mid as well. Maybe. Also, Smalling might need to get replaced at some stage. It's something to think about. We're also one month into our transfer window. We're nearly coming up to some Premier League games, so we got to keep an eye out on that. We might have to make some moves soon. Um... All right, let's go. Okay, so monthly scouting reports. We've got a Dumich loan agreement. Beautiful. So we got Dumich going out on loan to Ghent. I think that's a really, really good uh, deal for him. And Yunus Dermici going on to... Oh, that's a great deal, I think. 
heavily leaving. Which, is that Belgian? Are they Belgian or Austrian? I think that's a great move for him as well. All right, two-year loan deal for our goalkeeper from Turkey. And obviously, Dumic goes as well. Um, Boadu, striker from AZ. Thiago Dejalo, he's a center back. Okay, here's a tongue twister. I shot the city sheriff. Say really fast. I shot the city sheriff. Um, do Josh uh, Sargent sign regens? Uh, you, you can't have the whole team just full of regens, guys. Okay, Thiago de, de Jalo. Okay, let's look at this guy. Oh, he looks way older than 24. That guy looks like he's 40. <laughs> he looks like he's 40, no joke. Uh, boys, the gym session is over, so I'm watching the stream full time. Let's go, Tim. Um, okay, so what was the what was the suggestions that you're all giving me? Josh Sargent, I'm not, not, I don't actually like him in game. I've used him before. I'm actually not a fan of him in game. I'm actually just not a fan of him, to be honest with you. Andrea Pinamonti, Jesus. That's like a proper, you only know that name if you're, wait, is he a, like a, is he a um, popular Karimo name? I only know him because I played a career mode with Inter once. Easy? Easy like a Sunday morning? Eberechi, easy. He's at Real Sociedad. Yeah, we could bring him back. Bring him back to England from Spain. 83 rated, probably does a job in midfield. That's not a bad shout. I don't think I've ever used him as well. Rabi Matando, I don't know about that. Boadu. Myron Boadu. 84 rated from Lazio. 50 million he's going to cost. Myron. I think I've used him before. Plozek. Oh, yeah. Did I rescout him as well? He was on the transfer list too. He's on the short list. We've got to scout him as well. Why do my scouts take so long to scout? It's so annoying. Is it because they're not good? Do I have to go and get new scouts from the GTN? Is that what it is? Do I have to get new? All these new? Let's get some... Let's get Lance Bird in here. Let's get Anton Jankovic in here. Do you know what I mean? Should I replace these guys as well? Yes or no? Should I replace these guys? Hudson Odoi? Kante? Mason Mount? Search Gull Branson. I know him IRL. Do you really? Why do I feel like Klozek is going to flop? Well, we have to sign him first for him to flop, so... IRL not in game, says Sen. Lautaro Martinez? Yeah, we'll replace him. Okay, let's replace... Actually, how do you replace these guys anyway? Do I have to... There's no way I have to go back and... and I have to recall them first? Oh my god. Let, okay, let's recall them first. And then let's go manage. Fire. Okay. Fire. And let's get some five stars in here. Or at least a four star, yeah. Whatever it is, just give me something. I don't mind. I'll take the four stars. I don't mind. So then, I don't know. Do they just take over where... Okay, no. We got to do some... Um... Oh, we got to take them to the countries? Oh, I see. We got to put them at countries. Uh-oh. I don't know what countries we were doing. Let's obviously go England. England's obviously a country we want to scout. What other leagues should we scout? Roman, you can go to... I don't even know. What other countries would an English team be scouting? France? I don't know. Um, Anton, you can go to... Let's just go to the big... To the, to the main ones, right? Germany. Let's just go to the main five. Lance Bird, you can go to Spain. And then one of these guys is going to get fired as well. Wait, you do not have scouting instructions. Yes, I do. I want any position first team quality. But I don't want him to be over like 29 or 28. And then I want the exact same thing, any position, but promising. And that can be whatever age at, at all. I don't really mind. Netherlands is also good. Yeah, you do not currently have any scouting instructions. Wait, what? Yes, I do. Piss off. Yes, I do. Um, By Aki. Scout the parts. Okay, La La Lance Bird, whatever the hell his name is, he's gone. He's gone to, uh, to scout. But are we scouting all those players that I searched? Please tell me I'm still scouting all those players I searched. So like, for example, what about Hlozek? We just literally wanted to scout him then. Is he still getting scouted or do I have to redo that? No way I have to redo it. Oh my gosh. And it still takes the same amount of days. Oh, wow. Don't spam Bakari. That's okay. 
by Anthony. Who is Anthony? He's a right winger from Ajax. I actually like that move, but I don't think we need a winger. Unless we give him Reese Nelson. Shall I give him Reese Nelson? I actually like that move. He's just chilling in Ajax. Sign Jimmy uh, Ditchfield. He's a hidden gem. Martinez. Uh, buy Aki. I don't, I don't want to buy Aki. Thiago De Jalo. I think we're already scouting him, but I, I think it's messed up all my scouting things now. I think I've messed it up, boys. I think I've messed it up. I think we got to go re-scout everyone. He's not even on my shortlist. He looks old, though. I don't know. Uh, yes, Guardy, do it. Maybe Ryan Gravenberch. No, he's really overused. By Trincao, no. Sign Kudus from Ajax. Hmm. Kudus. Mohamed Kudus. He's at, uh, Valencia now. 63 rated. If you buy Anthony, you can convert Messi's regen to a striker. We, I don't think we have to do that. Yes, Guardy, do it. I'm new to the... Uh, this stream looks good. What's going on, Sam? Johan says he's 24. Yes, he is. By Doku? No, we don't... First of all, I don't know why we're getting suggested wingers of all positions. I don't really understand. At the moment, I'm, I'm not quite sure why wingers are being suggested. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, sign Kamara, the one from Fulham. Kamara. How do I know which one's from Fulham? Is it Abubakar? Whoa, this guy's a free agent? Alright, let's scout him up. <laughs> I didn't even know who I was looking for. Uh, Musa by King Lingrad. Uh, the people I'm suggesting can be converted to a striker, says Rodrigo God. Okay, but why don't we just buy a striker? Guardi, please search for my mate Gull Branson. Whoops, not Bull. Which one, Frederick or Siva? It must be Frederick. Is it this guy? Yeah, he looks alright as well. Pietro Pellegri says Michael Mazzola. That's not a bad suggestion. Gary, please search for my mate. Oh, I already did. Said him. Uh, by Isaac. By Lingrad. Who's Lingrad? Yes, it's him. Okay. Well, he's a free agent, so I'll scout him up. Why not? Why not? Hopefully, I want more offers for our scrub players, to be honest with you. By Jovic. I want to get more offers for our scrub players, but it's not happening. We've got Crystal Palace soon. We need to get some signings on the board, but... I thought we'd get some of our... Can you check Yunus Musa? Is that the center mid from Arsenal? Dermici has been loaned out. Dumic has been loaned out. And a transfer for Reese Nelson from Leverkusen. Okay. So I think they'd be more willing to pay that 35 than uh, Bologna were. So let's get the negotiation started. Of course, we've got Messi's regen to play right wing now. We also have Fontoya Marquez. Uh, we've got Lecoq by Macias. Center de defensive mid Kamara uh, is the one on your shortlist from Fulham. If he's on my shortlist, then why do I have to scout him? Hey, Brooklyn plays his back. All right, 35 million. Let's see what Leverkusen say. 28? Okay, that's not bad. Let's go 32. I think they'll accept 32. Just a couple of extra millions in the bank. 32 million. Leverkusen say yes. There you go. If Soloth scout report finishes, would you sign him? Uh, how do I... I have no idea what kind of player he is. I have to see his statistics first. Nehuen Garcia. When was I scouting this guy? When was I scouting that guy? I don't even remember. Anyway. Um, I don't know what's happened with all those scouts, though. Because we've got new scouts and stuff. What I gotta do is... These guys are player scouting. And these guys are area scout. That's the problem. That's why it's taking so long. Because we don't have good scouts scouting the individual. Ah, uh, see, this is... I've completely messed it up, boys. Thanasis Moskopoulos. Uh, Kangin Lee, no, I'm not gonna... Statistics? Yeah, check the statistics. Now, I should have good scouts scouting these players, right? So, Sorloth, first of all. Let's go. let's just take a look at Sorloth first. Alright. Bang. He's only gonna take six days. See, there, that's much better. That's much, much better, okay? Who else? Who else was I meant to be scouting? I don't know. Probably a bunch of players. Bakuna. Juninho. Hey, he just turned 27 as well. Bam. 12 days. Look at that. Look how quickly. We should get a center back as well at this point. 
Um, probably, Jamie, yeah. Probably. Macias? He's actually good. He's Mexican, isn't he? Jose Juan? He's actually... Uh, Jose Juan, sorry. He's pretty good. He's at Barcelona as well. He's that good. Oh, Arp. I want to look at Arp. I want to look at Arp. Yeah, oops. Jan Fiet Arp. I want to look at him. He's going to take 12 days. All right, we may have to play our first Premier League games without our... um. Without our squad kind of uh, ready to go, you know what I mean? Tangai Nyanzu. This guy's from... Yo, that's a shout. That's a good shout. That's a good shout. I'm, I'll bring him in. To be honest with you, I'm already set. We're, we're bringing him in for sure. We're already signing him. No one uh, suggests any more centre-backs. We're bringing in Tangai Nyanzu. By Nathan Aki. Musa is that right, ming right wing from Valencia. I think I used this guy in a Valencia career mode that I was doing. And I converted him to a centre mid. I think. Could be wrong. He's more... For me, he's more of a centre mid. To be honest with you. Gardi, have a look at Jovic. Sure. 26 years of age. Uh, at Chelsea. 85 rated. There you go. Um, get Niakati from Mines. What we can do as well... Um, is maybe look at Premier League strikers that are not starting for their clubs. Maybe there's a good Premier League striker that's not starting for their club. We could sort of sell it as, you know, Timmy. Oh my gosh, Timmy Abraham. You know what I mean? We could sort of sell it like, oh, he's not getting enough game time. He's upset, so he's moving to Bradford. You know what I mean? We don't want anybody too old at the same time. We want someone like within a decent range. So let's take a look. So we'll go. Okay, so Dominic Calvert-Lewin is at City. Wow, that's interesting. That is actually very interesting. Keep that in mind. Who else is at City? Do they still have... They have Alexander Isaac? They have Aguero still? Look at look at Man United strikers. Just chilling. All next to each other. Imagine seeing your sons, Timmy and uh, Tammy. Exactly. United also have Thiago Moraes. They also have Ibrahim. Look at how many strikers United have. I guess that's not changed. They always sign strikers. Richarlison is at Arsenal. Patrick Schick. Is that Burnley, though? I don't think... I think he gets game time at Burnley. To be fair. So, they don't have... So, City don't have Gabriel Jesus anymore. So, that kind of ruins it. I was going to sign him because they had Gabriel Jesus. Chelsea have Timo Werner and they also have... What was his name? We just scouted him. Luka Jovic. They got Werner and Jovic. The City one is the most interesting. They've got Aguero. But they've also got Calvert-Lewin and Isaac. Do you reckon that Calvert-Lewin's not getting enough game time? I wish there was a way to check. He seems very happy, but you never know, right? He kind of... Because Calvert-Lewin kind of... I want to bring him in, but... Can I get away with it? Like, um... <laughs> can I get away with it? Let's go Man City. Just... I want to see what else they have in terms of strikers. So they got um, Aguero's 81 rated, so he probably doesn't play. So I don't know. I think I, when we played them, Isaac played against us. But who knows? Maybe Calvert-Lewin is their starting striker. There's no way to really tell. There's no way to really tell if who's their starting striker between Isaac and Calvert-Lewin. Look at Matundo and Badgie. Swap Bentley for Havertz with some cash, says Jazeel. No. Uh, also, I'm not signing Rabi Matundo, but I kind of want... I mean, I'm not buying him, but I kind of want to see what his rating is. And he's got Real Valladolid. Maybe we do bring in Rabi Matando, actually. Maybe. I thought he'd be still at, in the Bundesliga or something. Who's that Zapatia guy? Who? Z Zapa. Who, this guy? Just some Spanish striker. We'll scout him up. Can you look at Leon Bailey, says Chalmers? I'm not really interested in signing him, but we'll take a look at him. I'm not really interested in signing him. He's at Juventus, 85 rated, 26 years of age. He seems to be doing well, so no, I'm not going to sign him. But it was good to see that he's at Juventus. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Look at Badgie. Whoops. Max Ahrens is at Bayern. Badgie. Which one? You guys got to tell me which one, man. If there's so many of them, you got to tell me which one. Let's go with Yusuf. I assume you mean Yusuf. Is it Yusuf? Seku Koita striker from Salzburg. 
Guys, we're nearly at 70 likes. If you haven't liked the stream yet, please let me know. It is? Okay. He's a camp. You got to tell me which one, by the way. If, if there's a player that you know there's several of them, tell me which one, please, because otherwise we just sit there waiting. Um, Seku Koita. He's not bad. Damn, he looks quick as well. He's not bad. That's a good shout. I'm telling you, Josh Sargent will be really good for you. No, I don't like the way he feels in game. I just don't like him. Simple as that. Guardian, my girlfriend cheated on me. Saw text on her phone to another guy. Says your boy. Okay, now your boy. I think you're capping about everything. I think you're capping about your daughter and you're capping about now your girlfriend as well. Guardian, where did Tammy Abraham go? He's at Monaco. See, if I haven't, if I hadn't used Tammy already with Newcastle, I'd definitely bring him in. But we've used him before, and I don't really want to use him again. Sergeant is overrated. When Gardy is old, he'll be watching Southampton vs. Man United. He will say, "That is Tim from my old streams." Says Tim Games. Hey, I'm not gonna be an old man. What? You could be playing within the next five years. I'll still be, but I, I won't even be thirty yet. Your boy's the new Sanchi P. Yeah, your boy the Kappa. It was first, it was uh, Agapi, then it was S Sanji P, and now it's uh, your boy. Your boy, the Kappa. Yusuf Yaziki can play Cam or Striker. Look at Esposito. No, I don't like the way he feels in game. Look at Aronson. Whoops. Brendan Aronson. From Philadelphia Union. An American. Okay. Lol, I tried to get you with that, but I do have a GF and a daughter, though. Ah, uh, your boy, I don't believe any of it now. Scout Fabio Silva, I don't like the way he feels in-game. I don't, I don't really... I mean, last time I used him was probably a couple of FIFAs ago, though, so maybe he's changed. I don't know. Maybe he's changed. We'll scout him up. Evan Lisson looks... Look at him. Is it Evan Elson? Sorry, yeah. Whoops. Uh, Gardy, what about Mason Mount? Nah, not interested in him. Yo, this guy looks all right. Is he real, though? Is he real or is he fake? Is he a real, real person? You can never tell with the Brazilians. Pablo Alcacer for no reason, says Chalmers. Okay, yeah, let's bring him in. You know who we need? Does he still play? He doesn't, does he? You know who we need? You're rude. Oh, he's retired. Benteke. No. I'm actually your boy's daughter, says Sam Marriage. I get the feeling I'm pissing people off, says Tim Games. What do you mean? By Saka, I believe he's fake. No, we're not going to buy Bukayo Saka. Are you serious? Oh, he's at Atalanta. Yo, the return to the Premier League? The return? Wilfred Bonnie? Yeah, we need Bonnie. You know what? We do We do know of one player that we definitely want to sign, okay? And that's um, Nianzu, whatever his name is. There's one player that we definitely know we want to buy, so let's go in for him. Now... Let's try and get rid of a player that we're trying to sell regardless. Uh, who would that be? I have no idea, but let's try and let, take a look at what we've got. In terms of midfield, I know there's a lot of scrub midfielders that I'm trying to get rid of. So like, Eskil Johansson, I'm trying to get rid of him. So let's just offer Johansson and 25 million and see what they say. Like, even if we're paying full price, as long as I get rid of one of the players, they're not going to want him, are they? Gardy, I have a daughter on GF. How do I prove it? I don't believe you regardless. Uh, player swap... You could prove it. I don't know how you could prove it, to be honest with you. Let's give him Lorenzo Leroy plus 35 million, which is just 1 million less than they're asking. Look at that. That's a good offer. No, they don't want Lorenzo Leroy. I'm single, my guy. <laughs> says Tim Games. How old is your daughter? Says Sam Marriage. Um, yeah, Tim is your boy's wife, says Sam. Wow. Just throwing Tim under the bus like that. Okay, what about 36 million in general? Okay, let's go 30 for Tangai. I might be pissing off um, Strasbourg at the moment, but let's just see. 35? I'll take it, probably. 35 mil for Tangai and Yanzu? I'm going to accept. Your boy just swear down on everybody on the world's, uh, in the world's life? No, that, does, that literally doesn't mean anything. That literally doesn't mean anything. Let's see what, what, what he wants. Does he want prospect? Important, okay. That's not that bad. Important first team play is pretty good. I was his best man at the wedding, says Sen. Yeah, I believe that. All right, five years for Tangai. Let's bring him in. Five years is, is good. He's accepting that. Release clause, that's fine. Just pick your own wages, man. Whatever you want, let me know. 36K, done. How do I prove it, says your boy? I, it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't really matter if we believe you or not. You really shouldn't care if we believe you or not. Check on Ben Rahama. Ben Rama. 
Mukert J. It says Ju. What's going on, Mukert J? Who just says J O O Ju. What is your daughter's name, says Tim Gibbs? I'll retract my message then, says Football Fan 23. By Jota, Santiago Thomas. All right, we've got one player in the books, boys. One player has been signed, and that's Tangai Nyanzu, who's going to be replacing Chris Smalling. Joate to Silva, man. It looked like he could be a starting center back for us. But uh, as soon as um, as soon as we brought in Smalling, his development's been overlooked a little bit. But that's the way that football goes. It's just the way it goes, man. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't go. That's the way she goes. All right, there we go. Just like that. We got one signing in. Nice. Me a couple of streams ago, invest in scouts. Guardi now, get some good scouts. I must have sent a good message back then, says Sen. I do remember you telling me to do that, actually, Sen. I just completely forgot. How long left on uh, Sorloth scout? Well, we haven't moved at all in terms of dates. So let's go and move to just before the Palace game. See what else is cooking. See what else is going on. We got Nelson sold officially. So that puts us in a dilemma now where... Smalling is playing right wing for some reason. No. Uh, that's not going to happen, obviously. So, well, let's put Lecoq there. Who's slowly growing in pace. Let's put Fontoya there. The problem becomes now... If we want to put Chavez at striker... Uh, sorry, if we want to put Chavez at right wing, we need a striker. If we put Chavez at striker, we need a right wing. So, that's where we're at the moment. Evanelson from Porto and Zolas from Power. That's where we are at the moment. Now, I don't mind the idea of Sorloth, to be honest with you. I don't mind the idea of Sorloth. I just kind of want to see if the scout's done on him, or is he on the shortlist? Bakari says by Lingard. Bakari, have you been watching the stream at all? Have you have you been watching the stream at all? This guy's worth twenty four million only. Strength finishing, he's tall. He's slow, isn't he? No, we play counter attacking football. We can't have a slow strike. I'm sorry to say. Dutch supporter here. Hey man. Shout out to you. Shout out to the Netherlands, man. I'd like to go one day. I thought Xavi Simons would be a little bit better now, but he's not. Um, shout out to the Netherlands, man. I can't wait to go there one day. What part of the uh, Netherlands are you from? Amsterdam, Rotterdam. I'm guessing one of those two. By Raf or maybe you're from like a village from somewhere. Um, Santiago Thomas by Rafinha. Mateo says, no. No, I don't want no slow striker. No, we want pacey strike. This guy, by the way. Just a well-rounded... He could be a nice backup. So could Gull Branson, or whatever his name is. Gull Branson. Are these guys getting scouted, by the way? I think they are. You are welcome here in the Netherlands. Ah, oh, thanks so much, guy. Nearby Amsterdam. Okay, cool. What was their names? I've completely forgotten their names. Babakar just comes and says, buy someone. Oh, okay, so he hasn't been watching the stream. Did he know that we had Lingard or no? He didn't know we had Lingard. Kamara and Gull Branson. Okay, Kamara. I just want to make sure they're getting scouted. Seven days remaining. Okay. And Gull Branson. Gull? Frederick? Yeah, Frederick Gull Branson. He's 31, but... Okay, we got to scout him. Okay, he wasn't getting scouted. Okay. What's going on, Jim Ryan? He says hi. TJ says uh, Inyaki Williams. No, I never really liked Inyaki Williams, to be honest with you. I don't know why. I just never was a fan of Inyaki Williams in this game. I don't know why. He's also 30. I'm back. Who did uh, you buy, says Jazeel? No one at the moment. All in favor of Lecoq being number 69, say aye. Tim's trying to get a movement going here. All right, I guess we're going to have to play this Palace game <laughs> with like a couple of men down. Sturge you with a transfer offer. Wow. I don't want to sell Leonidas. I don't know how else to say it. He's the captain of the club. I don't want to sell him. He's probably the only player I'll do this for, but we're just going to reject. He's probably the only player I'll do this for, but we're just going to reject. God, you're being quite a pace merchant, says Mateo. We play on the counter. That's why. Like, we literally play counter-attacking football. That's why. Also, let's take a look at what number Nianzu got. He got given 14. All these youth players come and take all the good numbers, and then there's nothing left for everyone else. And Bula Keralta's taken five. We're going to give Nianzu number five. Hey boys, sorry I've been so inconsistent. I've had a lot going on lately. Hope everyone is having a good day. A good 20, 2021 so far. Pat, no need to apologize, my man. Good to see you, by the way. What's going on? How are you? It's good to see you, man. I hope everything's going well with you as well. 
Um, Juanma on the bench as well. It's a bit, it's a bit thin for this first game, boys. We're a bit thin for this first game. Not gonna lie. It's a bit thin for this game. So Palace, it, this might be a bit punishing. This might be a bit. Uh, the first few games of the season might be a bit rough, boys. But as we know, it's not how you be. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. All right, as we all know. So, I think this will be a kick clash if I have to jump in, but whatever. Let's take a look. Let's see how this team goes. We'll probably get battered here by Palace, to be fair. We'll probably get battered here by Palace, to be fair. Sorry, I'm just responding to a message. I know, Jazeel, I'm starting a movement system game. 2-1, uh, we win, you reckon? I don't know. Palace have got a pretty good team. Lacazette, Maguire, Weigl, Camavinga, Bracalo. It's a good team. Um, Pat asks, Tim, how's your GF? Uh-oh. He's single. He is single. Um, Gardy, don't have a fire cell. No, we're not having a fire cell. We've sold, what, a few players? We're not going to sell everyone. <clears throat> we're not selling everyone. Calm down. No need to, no need to get worried. No need to panic. We're not signing, we're not selling everyone. We got rid of some players who I think we got good price tags for at the end of the day. And players that I didn't mind letting go of. Also, Chavez has taken the number 9, which I don't mind. We can give him the 10. He is Messi's regen, but... I don't know. That's up to you guys. Should we give him the number 10? That's up to you guys. I don't really care. That was Ellis Thornton's number, by the way. Uh, one of the best cities to go in Australia on holiday says Marco van der Pop. Uh, Marco, if you're here to sightsee, I would say Sydney is good for the opera house and stuff. If you're here for nightlife and restaurants and things of that nature, I, I definitely recommend Melbourne. Melbourne is by far the best in Australia. Um, yeah, definitely by far, but then, um, you know, Queensland is nice. There's, there's the Great Barrier, yeah, Great Barrier Reef is up there. There's good, um, good coastal lines there, rainforest as well there. So yeah, I, I, you can't go wrong really. Um, Uluru is in the middle of Australia. So that's a bit of a trek. I don't know if you really want to go in there. There's no real major city around it. It's just literally a big rock in the middle of Australia. Perth, not really much to see there. It's more chill. I would say Melbourne and Sydney should be at the top of your list, to be honest with you. I was in Perth for uh, I was in Perth two years ago. Says Mukert G. Yeah, Perth is chill, man. Perth is chill. It's a small city. Not much goes on there. It's chill. Bro, can you recommend a team in English Division Four for an RTG? Let's see. Let's see how this feel. Uh, this team feels. Let's see how Brewster feels. Let's see how uh, Chavez feels. Let's see how everybody is doing. This is obviously a different... I can't believe out of all the players that have survived, Bentley is still here. Bentley, of all people. Alright, let's look at this Chavez guy. Is he any good? Oh, he's got confidence, that's for sure. Got family there? Oh, nice. That's a good spot, man. If, if you're gonna, I think if you're going to live there, Perth is not bad. Especially if you don't mind a bit of a quieter place. Um, it is nice. It's I can't deny it. It's nice. I've been there. I have family there as well. I have cousins that live there, so it is nice. I got cousins that live in Brisbane, Perth, Sydney, here in Melbourne. I got cousins all over the place. Um, sign Eric from Leipzig. Someone already used that one earlier, Patrick Bamford. I'm sorry to say. Someone already used that before, so I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm aware of that one now. What a tackle, <laughs> Leonidas! What a tackle. Oh wow, they take the free kick. Okay. Why do you need a two-man wall in that situation? It's like literally impossible to score from there. Chavez wins the header and off Brewster goes. Of course, back from a UCL injury. Sorry, UCL? Back from an... <laughs> back from an ACL injury. Yeah, he's back from a Champions League injury. Uh, he's back from the uh, an ACL injury. Uh, so he missed literally all of last season. Oh, basically all of last season. A UCL injury? What the hell am I talking about? Seriously. What the hell am I talking about? 
Sign Tiago Thomas. Rodrigo God, I probably will not be signing Tiago Thomas, but thank you for the suggestion. I'll I'll scout him up. Remind me when I'm not in the middle of a game of FIFA. Oh, Fontoira. Beautiful. Boom. Leclerc. Out wide to Chavez. Chavez. Ooh. Still has the ball. Plays it through. Brewster turns around on his left. He goes for it. And a good block by Egan. <clears throat> oh, he got timed out. Poor Rodrigo. God, man. He just wants me to sign Thiago Thomas. Oh, Chavez is right-footed. Okay, that's something to keep in mind. Nyanzu got up for the header, but it wasn't good. What's the weather over there, says TJ Ryan. At the moment, we're actually in Melbourne. It's actually quite cold for summer. But it is summer, so it should be hitting nearly 40 degrees Celsius sometime in the next month. It should be cooking up. We've just had a really weird, like, cool change, and it's just stuck. Like, it's been really weird weather, but it should be warming up in the next couple of weeks. And, and in Melbourne, we get every single day in summer is over 30 degrees. Like, it's uh, it's just like that. Sydney's the same. All of Australia, we get, like, over 30 degrees, near 40 degrees Celsius. So, at the moment, though, in Melbourne, the weather's bang average. It's, like, in the 20s. And we've actually had, uh, we just went through, like, five days of, like, continuous, like, clouds and rain. Leclerc. Oh, he did well. That wasn't the best counter. I think we should have had a goal there, to be honest with you, with the way we were attacking, but the pass wasn't good. Leclerc actually keeps it alive on Toyota Marquez. Has Fleming outside on the left. Fleming. Bang. Bentley misses. I am just focusing on my football. That is the most important thing to me. Hey, Tim Games, that's exactly the mentality that you need to have, man. That's exactly the mentality that you need to have. In Ireland, 16 degrees is a lot, says TJ Ryan. What do you mean? It's raining kangaroos in Australia, RN, says Mateo. Yep. Second season syndrome doesn't exist in Bradford, says Sen. The Bradford crewmen will not be the same without Thornton, and Bradford will be relegated this season, and they will never be promoted to the league, Premier League, until Thornton is back at the club, says Teku. Um, I don't know about getting relegated, but we I agree with that we're not going to be as good as we were with uh, Thornton, but that happens to football clubs all the time. They lose their best players. What can you say? These things happen. We lost two. We lost our, probably our two best players of last season in Adeyemi and Thornton. We've lost both that striker partnership that combined for 50... What was it? 55 goals in the Premier League between the two of them. So, yeah, we're definitely going to look like a different team. That's for sure. I agree with that. We won't be as good. I doubt we come 10th. But have a look at this. Okay. Don't look at that. But we've still got a lot of potential in the team. We've still got a lot of potential in the team, boys. Sounds like the ben that Benfica thing, says Sen. The Thornton curse. We've still got a lot of potential. There's still a lot of positives about this team. I'm not worried in the slightest that we're going to get relegated. We might not be 10th, but I don't think we're going to get relegated. Good tackle by Lamptey. Fantastic slide tackle by Lamptey. Timed it perfectly. Chavez. The Brewster. Bang. Plays it out wide to Leclerc. Go on, Chavez. Continue that run. Dinks it over to Chavez. He's right-footed. Takes a touch and pokes a pass that on his debut for Bradford City. This young Argentine who's got a lot of potential about him. A lot of talk around this young kid. And he gets a goal off of a beautiful assist from Rafael Leclerc. Who's, of course, a young player through Bradford's youth system. Came over from France. Beautiful. Nice little chip through ball there. Chavez, one little touch on the chest and pokes a pass with his left, I think. I think he poked the pass with his left foot here. Let's just take a look. It is. With his left foot. Uh, Jazeel says, yeah, I'm going to say overall, not going to say every name. Bye, everyone. See you later, Jazeel. Showing people with uh, midlife crisis. I don't need friends, of course. I have my gang of kangaroos. Really? It's warm for us when it's 16 degrees. Really, TJ? Nah, man. 16 degrees for us is... Um, it does get colder in winter. Winter goes down to about, you know, you're looking at like 10 degrees and stuff like that. Um, it doesn't get super cold in Melbourne. We're, we're pretty fortunate to not have like zero degree days. It does happen here and there, but it's not a regular occurrence. But uh, no, for us, winter is around the uh, 10 degree mark on average. And summer for us is all the way up into the to the low 40s even. You can have easily, you can have easily back-to-back -back days of 41s, 42s. Um... Yeah, the most I've ever seen in Melbourne is like a 44 degree day. So, one of the hottest days in Melbourne. I remember it. It's fucked. I, I'm not someone that likes that much heat. That's kind of ridiculous. I don't even like 35. Like, that's too much for me. Good ball. 
Oh, Leclerc. Look at him go. The 17 year old from France. Oh, and the big stage, the big moment got to him. Raphael Leclerc, 17 years of age. And unfortunately, it got to him. He shoots it straight at the keeper. Itachi Brewster, not happy with him. But it is a 17 year old who's starting in the center midfield. Wow, Leclerc nearly had a great goal off of a great run. How unfortunate. How unfortunate. Guardy, watch out for Ellis Wrath when he comes back uh, to chat. Oh, yeah, true. I can't wait to hear him when he comes back. All right, let's bring on... Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're probably going to take off on Toyota, and we're going to put... We're going to try Chavez at striker and see. We're going to see what happens at Cheve uh, with Chavez at striker. Um, we'll also probably bring on... Venez for Leclerc. Not, actually, you know, he's got some pace about him, Leclerc. Pace and dribbling. He looks like a really... He looks like a dynamite player, to be honest with you. I'm going to take Bentley off for Venez. <laughs> Bentley can come off. I can't wait to get a transfer offer from... I hope we get a transfer offer for Bentley, to be honest with you. I can't believe we haven't got one yet. Chavez, get up. He's six foot. <sighs> oh, he's 5'11", he's sorry. I think he's 5'11". Guardy, check that channel out, says Sen. What is it? I'm sorry, Sen, and it's iFlow. Uh, Rodrigo, no need to apologize, my man. You just wanted me to sign Thiago Thomas. No need to apologize. Just There's no need to spam it. That's all that it comes down to. If you're sending it and then you send it like 10 seconds later or, or, or 15 seconds later, that's fine. But if you just send it one after the after, after the other after the other, then you're going to get timed out, which is unfortunate. No need to apologize, though. It's good to have you back, Rodrigo. God. <laughs> All right. Lecoq. Le Lecoq. The guys, that ca they came from to France together. Oh, Venez. Long shot. Ooh. Lecoq and Leclerc came from the same uh, French... Youth Academy. I don't know what city they should be from, but they, they've known each other for a long time. They've got a bit of chemistry, Lecoq and Leclerc. Because they did come from the same scout report, by the way. It, they did come from the same same scout report, so we'll act like they're from the same city. I'll take a draw here, in all honesty. But, there's still opportunity. Chavez, who's found himself now centrally, playing a striker position. Lays it through. Leclerc again! Oh, he's gone down. No penalty has been blown. And Leclerc again had an opportunity if he got the shot off away. Oh, no. Oh, Bracalo. Off he goes. Tangai Nyanzu with a coverage. Lamptey on the right-hand side has to deal with Carlos Fedez. And he does. And that's going to be a 1-1 draw to start off the season. We get a point on the board. Lecoq and Leclerc are the Lex squad. The Lex squad? Yeah. Le squad. They're from Nice? Okay, sure. They're from Nice. All right, let's remember that. Lecoq and Leclerc are from Nice, guys. Remember that. That's that's a promising start, boys. Thomas Chavez, the number nine. Two goals. Uh, sorry, one attempt. One goal of two attempts. I cannot even speak. My youth player is called Long Sausage, says Mateo. No, he's not. Long Sausage. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, Negan? My youth player is called... Oh, I already read that one. Gaga, what do I do? have to do to become a moderator? The first step is to not ask for moderator, Rodrigo God. That's the very first step. Your Palace are so lucky, by the way. Hey, that's a very promising result. Uh, promising performance, I should say. Not the result. The performance is very promising. I'm really happy with that. Now, we've got to make some more signings here. Hey, Adomba! What's going on, Adomba, man? Long time no see. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. The players are starting to step up. Well, when when Ad when Adeyemi and Thornton aren't carrying, the rest of the team has to step up. Absolutely. All right, let's go to the end of the week and see what's going on. Did I forget my kiwi? No. I ate it like two hours ago. Wolf Doggy says, I'm new. No, you've been here before, Wolf Dog Guy. Come on, you've been here, Wolf Doggy. Can we see your budget? Okay, Negan, but prepare to hold your... Don't be drinking anything when you see this, alright? 215 million. Are we signing on anyone? Yeah, yeah, we're going to sign someone. Yeah, yeah. We are. We are, we are, we are. Trust me, we need to sign a striker. For sure, we need to sign a striker. I just don't know who. 
I just don't know who. I like the look of this guy. I also don't mind these two. Boidu looks okay. This Ellis Thornton guy looks all right. I don't know. Ellis Thornton, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. He's also wearing the number 20. I don't like that. Poor Ellis Thornton. He's wearing the number 20. Up is the guy that I'm kind of waiting to see where he's at rating-wise. Sen says, Wolf Doggy, remember. Uh, Wolf Doggy, welcome. No. No, Wolf Doggy is not new. No, don't welcome him. He's not new. No one remembers me apart from Gardy. There has to be an Australian player in the squad. There is. There actually is. Venez is actually Australian. You wouldn't guess it from the name. But we scouted Australia and this is the best thing we could find. Venez. Or Venz or whatever. Um, Wolf Doggy, I remember you, man. Just because of the name. Because <laughs> I kept <laughs> I kept missaying it. And I didn't realize it was actually meant to be Wolf Dog Guy. I kept saying Wolf Doggy. Um, okay, in terms of striker, where, is Arp even getting scouted? I swear to God, if he's one of the ones that isn't getting scouted, I'll be so mad. He's not, is he? Three days remaining. Okay. All right, soon. Don't forget to sign Thiago Thomas. I'll scout him, but I'm not going to... I don't think I'll sign him, to be honest. Depends how good he is. <sighs> Jesus, he does not look 22. All Australians are called Guardi, but they're undercover. Australia's not even a real place, because if we were in Australia, we'd just fall off the earth. If I'm in FIFA, would you do a Southampton save, says Tim? Absolutely, Tim. I'll do a Southampton save even if you're not in FIFA. Well, imagine if you're in FIFA. If you're in FIFA, I would do a my player with you. In goals. Are you serious, Tim? All right, this guy's pretty good. I might get this guy in as just a backup. What do you guys think? Moy is better. Moy is probably also like 32 at this stage or even older. He's not even playing. Yeah, he's probably retired. This is five seasons in now. Bring in my mate for the memes. Um, yeah, I'll bring in your mate as well, whatever his name was. Gull Branson. He's only worth 1.4. This guy's worth three, so he's better. All right, we'll bring him in as a backup. Why not? Why not? Tiago Thomas low-key looks like Big Bear from GTA. San Andreas. That is so obscure. All right, let's say a uh, prospect. Uh, but there's no one with my surname, says Sandwich, on the game. All right, rotation, that's good. That's perfect. That's perfect. Three years? Okay, I don't mind that either. That's not bad. Well, don't do a release clause. He wants 41k. That's perfectly fine. Get his bonus different. Have you ever played Football Manager, Guardi? I'd recommend it as you like Karimo so much. Much love from the UK. We have also just been put in another lockdown and can't leave the house. Hey, Flying Pig Lover, welcome back to the stream, man. I feel like, I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Um... Look, I've played Football Manager, but I played a couple of hours and I had to get my Steam refund because I, I just, it's something I think I'll enjoy more on stream, to be honest. I, it's, I just can't get into it. I don't know why, but I'm willing to try it on stream if you guys teach me how to play it because I don't know how to really do everything. So maybe one day. Yeah, maybe one day I will. Uh, my green name got stolen. Sam Marriage. Oh, how did that happen? You've played GTA San Andreas, right, Guardi? Yeah, of course, man. I grew up with C GTA San Andreas. Actually, I grew up with Vice City, but... Yeah. was a joke two accounts oh yeah you're back on your original account <laughs> but why all 
I'm waiting on ARP at the moment. What other position do we need? I'm waiting on ARP at the moment. You know who I really liked? So if we keep Chavez at... Sorry, if we play Chavez at striker... Maybe we bring in Anthony. Hmm. Flying Pig Lover says, Football Manager is so good, I can sink way too many hours into that game. Uh, to say it's uh, addicting is an understatement. I've heard that from everyone that loves that game says it's addicting. Um, check out Juan Macias. I did. I don't know if he's still getting scouted, though. Yeah, he's 84 rated. We checked him out before. Um, okay, so if we do if we do Anthony and play Chavez at striker, we could still bring in up and just have that free agent. I like this guy. I don't know. There's something about him that I just I feel like he's good. I don't know what it is. I feel like this guy's uh, he, this guy's speaking to me. I don't know. It's either him or no joke. I bring in Bukayo Saka and then play Fleming at right and put, put Saka, and put Saka on the left. But I've used Saka, haven't I? What did I use Saka in? I played, I did sucker, I did sucker somewhere, I don't know. Okay, we'll do Anthony. I've never used him before. Do we want to get rid of anyone? We got the money, we may as well just buy him out, right? We got the money. What? They didn't do any negotiating. I just basically offered his price and they gave him. All right. Sorry, I have to respond to this message, otherwise I'll die. Uh, Tim says, I just feel worthless and a waste of space at Southampton. Don't you dare say such a thing, Tim. Are you serious? You're working hard. You're doing your best. All right. You're dedicated. You want to get the spot. You just keep working. You just, Tim, all you got to do is, is focus on the things that you can control. There's no reason to, there's no reason to beat yourself up over things you can't control. You control what you can do. You control your work ethic. You control your attitude towards the academy. That's it. That's all you could do. Everything else is out of your control. Don't even worry about it. Don't stress. You only focus on the things that you can actually control. All right? Things that you're in charge of. Things that you can determine. I'm really happy with the signing, by the way, Anthony. Whoever recommended him, good stuff. I forgot who recommended him. Good stuff, though. Unfortunately, Lecoq kind of loses that spot there. The Fontoida. The super sub. Anthony or Nerez? Uh, no, we've got, we've got Anthony. He looks good. 24 years of age only. I just feel like I don't belong there. Well, that's not up for you. That's not up to you to decide, Tim. You're there for a reason. You're there for a reason. And that's because you're talented. That's because you're good enough to be there. Right? Am I right about that? I mean, why else would you be there? All right, what number are we giving to Anthony? I feel like he deserves a seven. And honestly, Bentley wearing the seven is just starting to piss me off now. Because he doesn't deserve it. Also, who's number 10? Kamara? No. Uh, what, what number do we want to give Anthony? You guys can pick. You guys can pick any number for him. And I don't know about Kamara wearing the number 10 either, by the way. It was you, Rodrigo God? Nice. If Southampton didn't take uh, your other way, what? If your other way. Anyway, Tim, you don't belong. You can always leave. If they're treating you bad, uh, leave that shit, says Sen. Give him 21. 10, says Bakari. You reckon 10 for Anthony? Okay. I was going to give him 7, but 10's fine. Tim, you might not become the next Yashin, but you can do your best and be the best goalkeeper you can be. Exactly. If Southampton don't take you, 
other lower clubs will, says Jamie. I mean, you just got to do your... You just got to put in... The, you guys can't focus on things that are out of your control. At the end of the day, you just got to do... Um, you, got to, you got to focus on things... The club ain't doing anything. I'm just behind the rest of the keepers. So, Tim, all you can do is work hard. That's it. All you can do, Tim, is work hard. That's it. That's the only thing that you're in control of right now is how much work do you put in? What attitude do you bring to training? How many hours are you putting in? That's it. That's it. That's all you can control. Where you are in the pecking order, that's not up for you to decide and that's not in your control. There's no reason to stress over that. Trust me, do not focus on things out of your control. It's, it's not healthy. Focus on the things that you are in control of. Make Kamara number 47. That would make him AK-47. <laughs> That's not bad. We'll actually play him in this game for Chavez because he's tired. Um, also, maybe play Lopez in this game. We'll play Venez in this game. We'll give some people a rest here. Give some people a rest. I was uh, out with a broken finger, so I'm massively behind. But in five hours a day, I still can't get it right. Tim, you just got to keep working. You just got to keep working. I'm like, it's, it, there's no... And I'm not, obviously, I've never been a professional footballer. So I got... I've not really been successful in anything. So maybe you don't want to listen to me. But believe me, if you put in the hard work, it will take you places. And that's all you got to do. And again... Don't focus on things you can't control. Oh, good goal by Leicester. Um, that's also Kamara's number in real life. Is it actually? Uh, I play for real. I play for Madrid. Says Rodrigo. God, yeah, me too. He's wearing that in Amsterdam. Says and who? Number thirty-nine. Nah, we don't want to give him number thirty-nine. Alex Moret at Leicester. I use this fake account and I use uh, Translate Google. Says Rodrigo. God, yeah, I believe you. He's like a brick wall. Who, uh, Meret is a brick wall, is he? Okay, we might jump in if this uh, if this goes to 2-0. Because Leicester look like they're shredding us at the moment. Look like they're absolutely shredding us at the moment. It's also Kamara's number in real life, 47. Maybe we will give him the 47 then, if that's what he wears. Oh, fuck off, man. A header, really? I'm Rodrigo? Really? I believe you. And are, are those Rodrigo's kids in the photo? AKA, sorry, your kids in the photo? Is Anthony onside here? He is. He got himself back onside. Nice. Tim, if uh, people are better than you, that means you got to work extra hard to keep up and to do the best you can. Just keep working and don't give up. Even though it can be unfair, says Matteo. Good advice, man. Like I said, just... You're in control of what you can do. And what you can do is work hard. That's it. All it comes down to. That's not how you spell Rodrigo, says Sen. Joke. Jake's Jokes all around. Yes, sir. Says Rodrigo God. It's not how you spell Rodrigo, but it's a, it's an account to keep his anonymity. So why would he uh, spell it the right way? You know what I mean? He's doing it on purpose, Sen. He's doing it on purpose so we can't tell it's the real Rodrigo. Because he's spelling it a different way. Football is mysterious. If there's a yes or no or a maybe... Oh, Wendell. That's a goal. Oh! The back pass! The referee doesn't even count it as a back pass. Good stuff, ref. Go on, Kamara. <laughs> Did you see that? I fouled him on the way out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Doku. Plays it through to Taliska. Uh, effing else, so many uh, layers of mystery here, says Sen. Hey, Punk and Disorderly says, come on, city. Which city? Bradford or Leicester? They're both cities. Doku through to Sanson. The Doku. The Lopez. Oh, sorry, to Window. <laughs> Looking at my own players. Go on, Fleming. I need you to join the attack here. Your blistering pace. Venez plays it through to Anthony. Speaking of blistering pace, he's got some pace about him. Good little one-two with him and Brewster. He's a left footer here, Anthony. You've got to put it on his left. Good defending by Gabriel. And the ball just spills out. How did it just fly out like that? How did it just fly out like that? That doesn't make any damn sense. Straight up, that makes zero sense. How did it just fly out like that? 
Oh, here we go. Give me that ball. Oh, Leonidas. What a player. Uh, Leclerc through to Brewster. Plays it out wide to Fleming. Fleming chips it over the top to... I don't even know what's going on now. I don't know what is going on in this game. Venez, nice touch. Plays it through to Raphael. <laughs> what is going on in this game? Oh, it spills out to Venez. Go on his left. Oh, what a save by Moret. Oh, wow. The the tomfoolery nearly uh, sent it to us. Nearly gave us some uh, good luck. The absolute EAs nearly gave us a, a bit of fortune there. Nearly graced us with a goal. Unfortunately not. Leicester really in command of this game, though. Uh, Anthony has to wear 39. He loves that number. Really? Does he actually? Okay. Uh, uh, if, if, he's, if that's a number that he wants to wear, like, it's not just because he's a young player. Like, if he actually wants to wear 39, then I'm going to give him 39. I thought it's just he's, he got 39 because he's just a young player that's just joined the team, so they gave him 39. It was his guest number in professional football. Brewster, the Leclerc. Oh, wow. I thought Franco would maybe go for the other one. It was his first number. Oh, I see. Yeah, but maybe he wants to move on from that number, you know? Like, he just got given 39 because he was a youth player. Now he's not a youth player anymore, and he's at a new club, and you know what I mean? I don't know. I can give him the... What am I doing? I can give him the 39. It's not a problem. Bang guy. It's still you. You still got it. Bang, just like that. You still got it. Oh, get the, get rid of the ball, finally. Yes, go Kamara. Kamara puts it on his right. Man, this Leicester defense is insane. This Leicester defense is insane. I mean, I'm not playing the best, but wow. Wait, Gadi, are you going to make Messi's region a striker in training now? Uh, We might develop him into a striker, yeah. We may have to. Nice ball. Brewster. Back to Raphael. Plays it through to Lopez. Brewster. Oh, no. The defense is right on my ass, man. New era, says Mateo. No, at Amsterdam, he wears it because he loves that number. Okay. All right. I'll I, I'll give him the 39 then. That's fine. I'll give him the 39. I got no problem with that. What I do have a problem with is our performance so far. I'm, I'm not sure the rain is helping. It's just kind of making everything a little bit shit. But well, we're going to bring on um, Chavez for Brewster. Why is Brewster unhappy, man? Are you serious? And that's about it for now. If he likes, if he <laughs> said and stop it, uh, if he likes that number, then uh, we'll we'll give it to him. If, if that's the number he wants, that's the number he's going to get. And we'll give AK 47 as well. Guardi is Lecoq on the bench. Uh, I don't think he is actually. I think he's losing his bench spot now that we've signed uh, Anthony. Because I think uh, Fontoya Marquez drops to the bench and therefore Lecoq loses his spot. We really going late? Yeah, this, I'm not going to play too many more games. I would like to trans. I would like to wrap up the transfer window, but also I think it'd be nice if we just leave the transfer window open still when we end the stream, and then so next stream we can just sort of reset and see where what we need and where we want and what we're doing. I haven't been active in the chat, Michael. No need to apologize, my man. Thanks for the nearly seventy likes on the stream, guys. Nearly seventy, not quite seventy, nearly seventy. Ah, oh, good play. The shot was bad, but good play. Oh, man. We're just giving the ball away so easy. It's annoying. <laughs> what are they doing? Get up, backer. What are you doing? Just laying down there. Taliska. Get reared. Beautiful. Go on, Fleming. On a run, sir. Look at the counter-attack potential here. But we just haven't strung the passes together. I'm not sure why. That's better. Kamara. He might go all the way here. Good fin- Oh, Moretz! What a save! <gasps> what a save! You're having a laugh. He really is a brick wall. Oh my gosh. I was going to say good finish. What a save by Moret. Have a look at Gedson Fernandez. He's a young Brazilian wonder kid. I made him 99 in most attacking stats in three to five seasons. Whippage. Go, Chavez. Leap. You know, he's good off headers as well, Chavez. Straight at Moret. No. Oh, we should have a goal by now, boy, surely. Are we going to keep some money for January? Yeah, I mean, we got so much money. I don't think we can spend it all, to be honest with you. I mean, we could. I don't think I'm going to spend it all. It's 
Great ball. What a ball for Taliska. Sturdew not giving up on the play just yet. Taliska puts him on his ass. Plays it through to Doku. And it's three. Ah. <sighs> Oh, well, what are you going to do? Leicester's clearly the better team here today. Even though we should have had a goal on the board by now, I think. Rafael Leclerc plays it back through to Chavez on his left. He's not left-footed, but he does get the goal. I mean, this guy looks good. This guy looks good. So far, he's playing uh, playing well. Guardy stream tomorrow. Yeah, I will be streaming tomorrow. We'll either be looking at the Realism mod or we'll be doing the Arsenal Invincibles Challenge. One or the other. I'm not quite sure which one I'm deciding to do. On his left, but he smashes it. It's a good goal. It's a good goal. Can't take anything away from it. It's 3-1 though, so there's still some work to do. I mean, two more goals in 25 minutes is a possible... Sort of, yes. We've done crazy things before. I'll, I'll put it that way. I mean... 4-3 is, is, is a scoreline that we've seen many times here with Bradford. So you never rule anything out, but I'm just, I'm not feeling it. I think Leicester have played really solid today. They've played really solid today. In defense and in attack, they've just been really, really good. Look at the passing. Look at the play here from Leicester. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. I mean, it's just like... I couldn't even touch the ball there. I couldn't even get to the ball there. Ah. Anyone got a good centre-back for EFL League 1? Says Jonathan. Oh, sorry. So it's Johan. Sorry, I just skimmed the name. My bad. <laughs> My bad, Johan. Uh, good to hear, Tim. I'm still uh, Southampton number one under 16, so I'm a bit happier. Exactly, Tim. Why are you stressing about things you can't control, man? Oh, no. The pa uh, just the passing today's not been on point, boys. Oh, man. It's just not been on point. Good work by Leonidas. Leclerc. Bang. Boom. That's better. Kind of. Leclerc making a nice run. That's beautiful. Get the touch. Sweat. He's offside. Oh, he doesn't raise the flag. Okay, Kamara gets one. He didn't raise the flag. He was offside. Was he not? Of course, losing 4-1 to Leicester. I enjoy these moments as David Liao. Kamara gets himself a goal. That's nice. Um, How is he not offside? I, I don't know. I thought that was offside. Oh, well. 4-2. Makes it a little less... A bit more respectable. I don't know. Good play there. That was good passing. That was a bit more of what I want to see. Good runs. Good passing. That's the counter-attacking football that we've been really living off, really, to be honest with you. We've got to change Kamara's number to 47. Yeah. No way. I was going to say, surely there's no one there waiting for that. Rolls it out to Backer. Who's the left winger? Fleming, go. Oh, my gosh. What the hell, man? Why is he running central like that? And why was the pass going to Venez and not to Fleming? Your strikers are really good. I mean, uh, Kamara's not even a starting striker, to be fair. So, he's not a bad backup. Oh, Taliska, what a run. That's a goal. They played very well. I can't take anything away from Leicester. They played very well. Where's Robbie when you need him to celebrate a Leicester win? They played really, really well. I can't take anything away from them. This guy, Anthony, has been a little bit quiet. I haven't really played down the right-hand side, though. I've found a little bit more joy through the left-hand side. Or more central, even. Here he is. Plays it through. The Venez. The Kamara. Look at their defense, man. Nice. Venez, bang that. <laughs> he did bang it, though. I said bang that, and he did bang it. <laughs> Uh, Guardy, we're getting f the, uh, f if the players don't step up. Hey, boys, remember what happened last season? We lost our first four games in a row, and everybody said I was going to get relegated, and we ended up coming 10th. I'm not bothered at all. I'm not worried at all. You guys overreact quite a bit. I'm not, rea I'm not reacting to this at all. This is fine. We're still learning each other's games. We're not even... The chemistry is low. These boys are just playing their first few games with each other. 
There's positive signs. That's all I can say. There's positive signs. The team's... The squad's not even fully assembled yet, by the way. We've still got pieces that are, still have to come in the transfer window. Given how Brendan Rodgers was, uh, is doing at Leicester, was it wrong to sack him from Liverpool? No. I think they won a Premier League... Oh, wow. I think they won a Premier League and the Champions League because they sacked Brendan Rodgers. So, absolutely not. I don't think that was the wrong decision. 6-2, boys. Okay, Leicester really piled it on at the, at the end there. Jesus. They couldn't let us have a 4-2 result. They had to make it look embarrassing for us. So, 6-2. Not ideal. We have lost 6-2 before to Spurs last season, if I remember correctly. But look at that. I mean, 8 shots, 8 on target for them. They played really well. We had 8 shots as well. So... We had opportunities, they just took theirs, we didn't take ours, it's that simple. I don't think we were out outplayed that much, but they were, I think they were the better team, without too much argument. Um, but yeah, that put, oh, Chelsea are 17th, Jesus. You just got shat on 6-2 by Brendan Rodgers? Hey, Brendan Rodgers is a top manager, what can I say? Let's take a look at ARP. 76 rated. I wouldn't mind ARP, you know, but he's not even that good, to be honest with you. Gardy, who's worse, LVG or Moyes? Moyes by a country mile. Um, next season, because of Corona, not yet. Hope it's a nice card, says Sen. Um, I'm happy to play as a right winger. You've not been playing as a right winger. You've been playing as a center mid, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about, mate. No idea what you're talking about, Raphael. You've been playing as a center mid, not as a right winger. So, yeah. No idea what he's talking about. <laughs> 76 is not bad. No, it's not bad. It's just um, not really what I'm looking for. All right, so let's change the kit numbers real quick. Let's change the kit numbers really, really quick. We'll put Kamara as 47. Apparently, that's what he wears, AK-47, which is free. And apparently, Anthony... Um, Apparently, you need, apparently, Anthony is uh, he's 39, which is also free. There we go. Apparently, he really likes that number. I mean, that that's... What happened to Rafael Leal? I like him a lot. Could have signed him, says Michael. I've used Rafael Leal before at Benfica, so... I'm not really too keen to use him again, to be honest. I try like using other players that I haven't used before. He would have been good back when you are in the championship. Yes, and I probably agree with that. Probably agree with that. We could still bring him in, but I just don't think we need him. Kamara's a good backup striker as well, so... At the moment, the team still does need some work, but we'll worry about that next time. I'm just going to sim to this Fulham game here. We've got a cup game away at uh, Villa and then Arsenal after that to wrap up the month. But uh, that is it for today's stream. We've got a final scout report on uh, Jarlow. He looks okay, to be fair. He looks all right. And a final uh, scout report on Gull Branson. 71 rated. It, honestly, I don't mind. We could bring him in as well as a fourth choice. We could bring him in as well. Can you look at Gedson Fernandez? Says Flying Pig Lover. Sure. Let me really quick look at, look at Gedson Fernandez. We're not going to use him, but let's have a quick look at him. He's 84 rated at Borussia Mönchengladbach. We're, gonna, we're not going to use him. We've used him before. Um, check Graven Birch. We've used Graven Birch before. I'm not going to use him as well. Moy still made a UCL quarter though. Uh, something uh, Jose couldn't do. That's, um, yeah, they had two different squads. Uh, Moyes inherited Premier League champions. Uh, Jose inherited, what did he inherit? FA Cup winners? Yeah, I don't know. Um, two different squads. Two different squads. That's all I say. But uh, I think Moyes is definitely the worst United manager since Fergie. I think that's, I think that's, I don't think there's any argument with that one. I, I, I don't know anybody who would argue otherwise. To be honest with you. Um, but if you want to argue otherwise, that's fine. I just, I've just i never heard anybody argue Moyes over Jose, let alone Van Hal. But yeah. Uh, sorry. I've never heard anybody argue Van Hal over Van Hal, let alone Jose. Jo Jose said uh, making Man United second was a good achievement. It was. It was. It was a great achievement. He shouldn't have been anywhere near second place. Shouldn't have been anywhere near... That, that team shouldn't have been anywhere near second place. Guy, he bribe somebody to smuggle kangaroos to Norway, says Mateo. Yeah, I'll do that. Read my last comment. I just did, Mateo. I just did. If you just... I tell, I'm telling you guys. You guys need to... Uh, you guys need to practice some patience, man. I'm telling you guys. You're young. You're firing up. You want your comments read. You just gotta 
be patient, man. That's all it comes down to. Adumba says, what's up? LVG was a good Holland coach, not Man United. Most iconic LVG moment was when he fell on the floor versus Arsenal. I think that's pretty disrespectful. He won the FA Cup. I think it's pretty disrespectful to say that him falling on the floor is his iconic moment. Maybe it's the most memorable. I wouldn't say it's his most iconic. Um, that's kind of disrespectful, man. He won the FA Cup. He got he got sacked after winning the FA Cup. So, um, Hansi Flick, a goat right now. I was 10 seconds behind the whole stream, says Mateo. Yeah, that's fine, but you just got to be patient, man. I'm going through the comments as, as we're talking. Have a good day, night, uh, night or day, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you later, Tim. Thanks for dropping by, man. I'm going to sleep. It's 1am here. Yeah, I mean, I've kept you guys up late today, but... Um, just over four hours of a stream. That's not bad. Uh, wait, WTF Guardi still streaming. Says, Hyper JJ. Yo, JJ, what's going on, man? We're just wrapping up now. Um, so tomorrow, I think we'll be doing either the Realism mod or the Arsenal Invincibles Challenge. And then I'm not streaming Thursday, Friday, guys. I don't think so. I'll be back Saturday. Then I'm taking Sunday off. So it's going to be a little bit touch and go. Um, but then next week, starting Monday, we're back to the original schedule of 7 to 10. So we're going to do back to three hour streams, back to earlier in the day or in the night, in the evening. So yeah, that'll be exciting. I'm going to wake up at six instead of seven. So my sleep-ins are going to stop. Um, but that's all right. Louis van Gaal's Red Army. Exactly. Uh, thanks so much for dropping by, guys. Thank you so much to HyperJJ, San, Michael, Mateo, Adomba. Good to see you again, Adomba. Johan was here as well. Samuel Perez, Tim Games. Um, there was no Brent today. I don't know where Brent was today. Flying Pig Lover, it was good to see you again, my man. Hope hopefully I'll see you soon as well. Jamie Ahern a slash It's iFlow was here. David Liao was here. Uh, we had a few people here, to be honest with you. So thank you so much, everybody that joined. That joined. That watched. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, yeah? Enjoy your nights. The rest of your nights, if you're staying up, enjoy tomorrow. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, 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 bye